I totally forgot once again. My oh my. HB, he's getting old in his years. What can I say? Huh? That's the sound of half rations tight in those belts. That's right. Hey, all access. Good to see you. Welcome. And once again, hey, Ferenanthus. Good to see you. Welcome. And for those that are just joining us because of my forgetfulness, oh my. I would like to welcome you because after all, we have ourselves a brand new Scorpion. So we need to go ahead and name some of these mechs before we get on in. And on top of that, right now in the command center, we are right on the precipice of yet again, another flare up. This time we have to defend the planet because we are being attacked by the planetary government. I know who would refuse our rule. I have no idea, but it is there and it is available that having been said i didn't even realize that we haven't even named these things yet so what i'm thinking is if we start with this this is our like fire starter fire starter like fire starter proper that has access to all the flamers look at that seven count it that's right seven flamers never have the bunnies ever had so many flamers on one tiny little mech in rogue tech right so we're talking about maybe it's the the Bunner. <laughs> oh god all right i could use some help unless you want me to name all the mechs because this is what you're gonna get okay so let's just let's just get that out of the way the bun fire oh i like it i like it that's so much better than the banner <laughs> mushroom mushroom banner 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 the bun fire all right here we go Ooh. apparently i hugged jemmy and jade and they have little tiny baby kitten furs on my eyelash oh my all right and we've got the kit fox i feel like we should call it the bun pop just because kit pop and kit fox they go together like a glove the Dertz mobile Ooh, i like it can we have the Dertz bun mobile the flambe bun Ooh, bun a q what's oh barbecue <laughs> hey kung fu good to see you welcome we're just currently bunny sourcing our names for some of these mix this kit fox right here has all the tiny ppcs so it's like the baby what what has ppcs that's larger and then this like the baby version right the scorpion yeah yeah absolutely absolutely i think it would probably have to be maybe the bun pc the bun the baby bun the toasty. Ooh, i like it that sounds precipitously small we'll go with the toasty bun it does get kind of toasty in here it is rather zippy and then we got the coyote who's sort of like popeye the bun rex Ooh, like tiny little arms i like it vision i think this one's got one big clan large improved heavy laser that's basically it so this one's got the 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 bicep bun or something yeah oh i'm oh there are no guns here there are no guns here lost core and welcome good to see you uh, we gotta have a hot cross bun the name is too good to miss out on well i'm sure we'll get a lot of opportunities we after all one of our main strategies is to burn the inner sphere so it seems like that's gonna work yeah hp taking everyone to the gun bun fleximus ah uh, sure i don't i don't know how it fits this one but it does have one thing to flex that clan large improved heavy laser one day that thing's gonna get shot off and then i'm gonna have to figure out a new name right and then we've got the death bun mobile does that work will that fit oh my god sure we can spell it like mobile like mobile one although we can fit an e can we have a space there that's bun mobile sure <laughs> all right thank you high five so now that we've caught up and gotten that out of the way let's go in and take a look at where we are at because last time we kind of took ourselves out to chateau we were out in the palace system out here in the free rasa hog republic we are currently allied with the frr and we were actually able to complete an entire flare-up. It seems like they don't want to let us get away because after all, they allowed another one to flare up all of a sudden out of nowhere. And we can participate once again. But that's not going to start for a little period of time, I think. I think we got a little time, 19 days until the fighting starts. So quite frankly, we can probably do a few things before then. Maybe one mission where we'll get mauled a little bit, but then we'll have enough time to recover, right? That sounds pretty good. So I think we should probably get into a warm-up mission. If there's anything we should do, obviously assassinations are awesome. Anything for the FRR, because after all, the planetary government isn't going to like us. But now that, I now that I think about it, planetary government missions are okay too. It's just we're not going to get as much salvage or payout. It's just that if we look at the planetary government mission, we're going to be fighting against them soon, and we're going to be getting our rep back anyway with the FRR, right? But 
Then again, we've got Destroy Base. We've got a battle in an urban environment against Comms. Oh my God, Comstar. <laughs> Comstar. We have an ambush convoy against the Lyrans at one skull, and we've got a capture base against the planetary government. I am very tempted. Planetary government. I'm very tempted by the Comstar one, but it is in an urban environment. This one's in a jungle at least, and we could get cargo compartments. Yeah. Hey, yes, actually. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for the reset for two months. That's an incredible high five. Yeah. If you're joining us right now, we are currently getting into a warm up mission. We're deciding between a one skull ambush convoy or two skull battle in an urban environment against Comstar. Comstar, that might be kind of interesting, but I don't think we'll recover fast enough. So maybe we should do the more cautious thing and do silent contemplation. The Lyrans, they're, we're kind of not on speaking terms right now. So maybe we'll just sort of push that a little bit further. Yeah. Oh, no worries. No worries at all. Well, glad you could make it. Yeah, glad you could make it. We're testing out just brand new stuff that just rolled off of our presses. So it's not like you missed anything. In fact, we now have full names. You're probably wondering, what the heck is this? That's right. We were finally able to get a full Maxim APC from that last mission on the last stream. So this comes equipped with quite a few LRMs, SRMs, a lot more SRMs. And it's not the fastest, but it can carry battle armor into the field, which is pretty cool. But it doesn't have the same firing ports that the incredible IFV has. That having been said, let's go and take a look at what we've got. We got the Bun Fleximus. I think we definitely want to pull in our Depths Bun Mobile. Uh, we got the Bun Zeal, but I'd like to bring in, actually, I'd like to bring in our glorious new little fire starter, right? And instead of the Bun Fleximus, I think it's still good to have access to the Bun Zeal just because of that LRM support that it does bring. Although the Mongoose, Mongoose has the all the pulses in a jungle environment, ambush convoy. Mm, it'll probably still be good to have the Bunzeal available. The Bun Pop has the large pulse. Maybe we'll swap that out instead. This will be our big boy right here. We'll back it up with the Bunzeal. We'll have the we'll have the Bun Goose to intercept and the Bun Fire to burn. I think that's awesome. We've got a Max APC. We've got the Bun Ping Ping. We'll go in and pull Mac out, get him into the IFV right here. So that basically leaves us with Deaths in the Deaths Bun Mobile. Go figure. We've got HB in the bun zeal we've got our bun goose so we need a little bit of speed this thing's got to get close and nasty we've got all the burn we actually have an fcs flamer on here so that's going to be cool 25 percent increased damage and range on our flamer so that's going to be nuts so i'm thinking sank hair would be great we need someone who can drive a v that's amul or antonite since amul has the bandit and cluster probably better for the maxim apc and then last but not least We'll go ahead and get let's get a kin to just because of the evasive pip immune to lock and here we go a one skull difficulty green ambush convoy in the jungle against the lyran commonwealth this is the bunny league's warm-up mission let's go in and take a look at the potential bets will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you've got yet yeah, long as stuff explodes i'm happy preferably on the opponent's side i agree i agree high five after all we do have a flare-up waiting for us in 19 days so we got to make sure that we're back before then and we don't have the most efficient crew and we're in the red so there's a lot working against us so we got to make sure that we can make it through in relatively one piece right so here's the thing we are ready we've got our scorpion in a jungle environment that's going to be incredibly valuable because of that mobility despite the rough terrain despite the trees all of that it's going to blaze a trail right through supporting it we've got our bunzeal if we do recall it has that risk mml on it and then of course it has some lasers on backup but mostly mostly it provides that integral support with i think it has the fire control system predator and all of that then of course we've got our mongoose pretty fast medium pulse lasers now with a kintu in it it's going to be immune to sensor lock we've also got a brand new fire starter this is the first time we're bringing it in not in stock form with seven flamers actually six inner sphere flamers and one clan flamer in the right torso so it has enough burn to at least make the enemy or make the jungle fear the bunny league and then of course we've got our ifv we've got our ba support ppc unit with superior daisy inside and last but not least the new maxim apc with all of the missiles so we got quite a plethora of new things to try out here so hopefully it is the right set of tools for the job so let's see what we got yeah 
Bunnies, we need to stop those Lyran weapon convoys. Let's move up, get eyes on the target, and intercept them. Then we'll extract to the designated location. Good hunting, bunnies. All of them are out. All right, so this one doesn't look too bad. A little bit of open ground here. That's excellent. Reward 100,000. Repair cost 300. Well, I'm hoping that the cargo compartments are going to maybe just pay us out a little bit better, but who knows, right? So we've got the convoy over here. We've got the convoy from escaping here. I like to be as close to the denial zone as possible. Although this does not look so great. Granted, we could climb up, but we're going to have to come up in front instead of coming up behind. But I think some of us might be able to make it. So if we start down in the valley, maybe it's not horrible. If we start on this side, is there another way across? If we come out here, yeah, I'd rather be over here. Even if we're stuck, it's probably only one turn. I think it's probably safer if we start in the water, believe it or not. And let us go. Because even if we're stuck, it's only one turn of careful maneuvering. Hopefully, we'll have some representations above and we'll be able to intercept instead of trying to catch up, which is always like the worst feeling. Yet. But do you do those voiceovers in the bedroom? Say what now? <laughs> Say what now? Uh, I mean, if I had the right stuff in the bedroom, maybe. I don't know. I, I typically practice down here where I have all of my equipment, but but I did, maybe you didn't mean it that way. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Hopefully we're not stuck. Are we stuck? No, we're not. We got this. We got this. Yellow. Oh, there's just that many. Oh, that's grand. Oh, no worries. I do hear them. You can barely hear them. I hear those hovercrafts or Vs or something moving along the way. So who do we have moving first? We got Superior, but he's inside that IFV. We'll go in and hold right there. And then we got our bonfire. That's right. We got our bonfire. It actually has jump jets, which is awesome. So we'll get out of the water and we'll burn our way, burn a path to the front line. So right now, what little we see, we've got a Raptor, some battle damage right here. We have a J27. Excellent. Excellent. We like to see our target in front of us full speed with a bung goose. And let's go in and hold. I've been really busy with the business and costs coming in and out. It's head splitting, but hopefully it works out long term. I sure hope so. I hope so. I mean, when it comes to business, it's always a little wonky in it because it's like it's such an imp integral part yeah. of our daily life. But at the same time, you just want to live. So it's kind of a weird sort of balance to to get right. So I sure hope it works out. The less of a struggle between the business and personal, the better, right? All right, we're moving. We're moving. Fortunately, we can still shoot and support indirect with our IFV. And our Maxim might have a little bit of trouble coming on up because we are a... I think it's a hovercraft. Is that right? It, uh, yeah, it looks a lot like a hovercraft. Pretty sure it is. So it's going to be slow going getting up. But once it gets onto some proper surfaces, it should be okay. And then we've got our new Death's Mobile on its way. It's scary with staff. Yeah, yep. I would imagine. I mean, I don't know how that feels personally, but I can only imagine, yeah. It is a hovercraft. So I guess the question would be, would it be better to start back here or over here? I still think over here, as opposed to trying to come up through here where we're catching up because it's going to take us a while anyway. So I hope it's going to work. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the mechlots sleep tonight. That's right. A we a bumble way, I say. We got that fireball coming on in. Interestingly enough, no other information. We know there's a raptor out there. We've got the fireball, which looks a lot like almond to me. We've got, oh, <laughs> and uh, speak of the devil. They've got the almond killjoy or the almond joy. So we got a lot of candy visions out here. We're coming on up. We got the bun fire. Fortunately, it can hop. So we're just going to move through the trees. Stay low with tank hair. And we're currently in passive guardian ECM mode. So we're shielded. We're kind of letting them do their thing. And we're getting up trying to do hours and jockey for position. So actually getting that full seven. Let's go ahead and do that. Bolt on AMS online. And we'll hold. We have two guardian ECM carriers at the front of our column. And once we get in there, we're going to be able to jam them up and hurt their sensor and detection capabilities. So we got Mac. I don't know if I want to take that shot yet. 0.9 is not very good. 
I just finished watching the second episode of Amazon's Fallout. They've done a good job. Oh, that is really exciting. You know, I didn't even know about it until yesterday when the bunnies were talking about it. Yeah, you're watching over the weekend. That's awesome. That is always good to hear. I am. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's super, super exciting. I might trade. I might try to take this shot here. All right, that's that's worth it. So he's got a streak SRM2. Streak SRM2. Maybe we know. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So SRM more like 12 and a half to 18. And we had a bun ping ping to hold. Yeah. Confirmed. Oh, you saw all four. Holy crap. Are there are there more than four right now? Did they release a whole season or no? Let's see, we got mech mode, siege mode. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, crap. <laughs> So bunnies, I forgot that quads have mech and siege mode. So this is going to take some getting used to. We're, we're slowly climbing here. Why is the bunny man still naked? Oh, am I naked? Oh, you mean my head. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, eight. So you're halfway through, yeah? Have a bribe. Oh my god. Yes, actually. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. If we could show some love in chat for... Yes, actually, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much again for taking care of the bunnies, yeah? And we got our J27. My God, they're really split. Look at this convoy. We've got one above, a centipede scout. So they're scouting above and scouting below. Not sure which direction the bunnies are going to come from. Now they've got to converge. Fortunately, they're not losing out on a lot of firepower out here. Oh, Serini, thank you so much. Bunnies, thank you so much for the redemption, Serini. Of the Neuro Helmet 2.0. I really appreciate it, man. There's that fireball. He's backing up from the edge. He has that streak SRM2 yep. HB in the bun zeal. Get on in. And he barely moves, so I'm hoping that we've got a decent chance to connect here. We'll go ahead and send it. A little light PPC. And a little bit of a whiff, but that's okay. Yeah? I guess, I mean, now your head is covered, but you are still naked. Oh, am I now? <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, there we go get on up take a look at that and hold so we're finally in a position to actually kind of intercept here and their scouts have now sort of started to regroup right to the convoy because they know what's coming now shots down range no impact on mac or superior inside and we shall continue to climb we got dead it's trying to get on up we'll hold I love the fact that Death has an ATM-6 on it. It's kind of ostentatious, but I love it. 4%, and we're going to hold. So what faction are we sucking up to this playthrough? Well, still the FRR. Still the FRR. We are not so grand as to have left FRR territory just yet, yeah? But one day, one day, we'll actually have to choose. All right, come on and ping. A little bit of a whiff there. Is Chappie still alive? I mean, I, I, that's a good question. Commander. I don't remember. I, I've been playing so many different games lately. We'll have to check. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I feel so bad. You ask the difficult questions right off the bat. Like one of, one of the most difficult things I was telling Raven about the other day is like, how do I keep track of where I'm at in all the games being played simultaneously? I honestly sort of catch up on the warm-up mission as to what we've been doing because it jogs my memory <laughs> so if i'm being truthful about it I, I actually don't remember most of the time so i apologize nothing to do with you everything to do with my limitations all right we'll catch you in a little bit yes actually all right there's the convoy somehow we actually have a little more information now that's excellent they've got a j edgar internal combustion a lot of actual convoy v's two j37s two j27s a j edgar a centipede scout car and then of course we've got the almond we've got the raptor and then a hunter way down below so i think that might be the entirety of it i'd be very surprised if they have more i will go and get on up and we've got a potential we've got a nice direct line right here so we'll send what we got stack this poor little guy it is fortunate that HB cannot abandon unconscious squad mates like in some other games. Oh! <laughs> I mean, consciousness is such a state of being and a state of mind. I mean, some say that consciousness just means that if you're unconscious, then you just don't got it. 
and if you got i have no idea where i'm going with that but i i'm i'm sure it didn't actually help out my my case at all did it all right well we got our bonfire hopefully ooh 28 let's do it i like to replace some games i finished a long time ago and memories are not fresh done it a few months ago Ooh, 32 high five that's seven flamers coming on in there that's glorious let's go ahead and push it on up yeah and we'll give him a we might as well try oh four percent that's so bad a little high explosive though done it in a few months ago for coder Ooh, yes that's been a long time since i played knights of the old republic yeah i'm not so conceited as to assume you remember everyone's status including mine well i think with the latest series with uh long war the chosen it's been especially difficult because i don't think i've ever managed that many bunnies at the same time and we're i think we're pushing like 30 something so far and it only is growing so <laughs> supposedly it's gonna get up to like 80 to 120 at optimal levels so i i really don't know what i'm gonna do we'll have to see how it goes yeah you still play that one heck yes you ever tried the old republic mmo is that the one um i think i know the one you're talking about it's got a lot of yeah okay so she said storyline so yeah it is the same one i'm thinking of yeah Ooh, hello okay so they've got gds they've got the gray death strike way behind which is actually kind of helpful because we actually do have some of those i think somewhere in the background oh actually no i think we put them together see it's been a while yeah star wars the old republic is that what it is yeah i had a co-worker from two jobs ago reach out to see if i would come back they've got one guy retiring and wanted to see what it would take to get me back all right look at that no no touchy gonna be a tough sell Eighty thousand and three miles from the oh my gosh well it sounds like you're in a desirable position there so at least you've got a you got a choice that's always that sounds like a good thing yeah that's awesome osmondius all right here comes that convoy they're not moving too quickly that is definitely a boon i don't know if we can wow can we not pass this we may have to I don't remember if we got side slip. I don't think so. So we may have to careful maneuver up the hill. That is uh, not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. Point nine. We may be without our Vs on this one, bunnies. Although with the kind of firepower they got coming towards us, I'm not too incredibly worried, but you never know what's going to happen. Our sensor capabilities aren't the best, you yeah? A boat yeah yep yeah. good for you good for you just be honest about it sounds like you got the the right thing going on there yeah we currently have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve feel like i'm in sesame street we're just counting it up ah 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 we'll make it no problem yeah. bunzeal oh finally we are in an interception position i love it maybe we shall emerge just a tad still in passive mode no one's in range yet and we'll stack forward shot we're holding on to those rockets there's that convoy excellent little sensor impairment there he's got a medium pulse got our bonfire let's go active so now we're going into active jamming mode and we'll stay low on this one come into the actually just charge in and maybe like heat up the raptor a little bit that looks just fine and go maybe we'll even heat up the jungle that'll be great did that work did we miss <laughs> we might have missed i don't know although he looks a little bit softer now he's the one with all the srms all right we'll have to careful maneuver for the next five turns oh wait this is superior okay there we go i got back into playing state of decay 2 i'm hoping state of decay 3 i mean god any new sequels of beloved series i'm down i think that would be great that'd be absolutely awesome six percent will hold once again deaths once he gets up there he's gonna be speeding on by i think we might need a larger core though all right bung goose we get to the road let's go active again because we're about to clash with them if they want to go across the road they're going to enter into the guardian ecm zone and we'll stack on forward here you ever play them state of decay absolutely 
So I liked, I didn't, I didn't play it for the longest time. And then I remember I got it on a sale a long time ago and I tried it on the computer and I thought, oh my God, what have I been missing out on? So yes, yes, I loved State of Decay. I haven't tried any of the other ones though. I've only tried the first one, I think. So, but I, I absolutely enjoyed it. I never finished it though. So that is something that I wish I had done. If I'm perfectly honest, yeah. Okay. They updated the hell out of the second one. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I remember it felt like a, and I don't mean this in a bad way because I actually enjoyed GTA 5, but I, I feel like it's a cool GTA. <laughs> And it's got the dire thing going on with the zombies and then you can actually like make your own areas and defend them which i thought was awesome and then having to manage all of the people and their moods and sending them out to do things with you is really cool speaking of bioware i got on gog no, jade oh jade dynasty or jade empire i love jade empire combat action ish let's say they're aged but story seems good old bioware was too good i do you mean you mean Jade Empire? It's like Gong Fu? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Love Jade Empire. I'm right there with you. One of my favorites, for sure. Being able to switch different stances and styles and then fighting is like the best. In those types of games, I always wish for an arena, so I was glad that there is something like that there, yeah. Jade Empire is good. Jade Empire is good. If in the future after it, there was like GTA meets Jade Empire's like sleeping dogs. <laughs> It's actually a, a bad analogy, but it is, it's got Gong Fu and I like it. The other one I love, and now that I realize, I realize I really like games with Gong Fu in it. And if you think about it, even, what was it? Um, Xena Gears, not Xena Saga, but Xena Gears, the old PlayStation title. That one, you can play as Saitan and Fei and all of them. And they actually have a Gong Fu system in an RPG. That is so freaking cool. It runs so well. It's 2D. You can kind of rotate kind of like 3D, 2D type of thing. But like, oh my God. And every hit is a, a punch and a hold. And oh, Jesus. It's so freaking good. Yeah, I, yeah. It's definitely one of my favorite implementations of like in-game turn-based gong fu. New Thank Path you. of Exile, Skeletal Mages. Oh, I've never... See, I have never ever gotten into Path of Exile, and that is not because Path of Exile is... I don't like it or anything like that. It just wasn't something that I I brought myself to, yeah? And that's awesome, Omitted Crib. Story and gameplay makes me overlook the age visual. Yeah? You ever try Absolution? I have heard of it. Isn't that the one... I tried a demo, I think. I ran around, and apparently there could be other people in the world, and you wear a mask, and you gong fu your way around i don't know <laughs> you need a phd to oh my <laughs> well i hear that in at least og poe i think what i've heard about it is that it has this extensive tech tree i guess or leveling tree and then you because there isn't necessarily a lot of room to respec or maybe none to respec you really have to know exactly what you're doing which is why things like um yeah tree calculators and build calculators i think would be just absolutely Double phenomenal up. for Let's something go. like that yeah uh we got 12 we might as well just keep shooting because we're not going to get up there in time our bunnies are going to take care of the rest we've got overlapping guardian ecm jamming up the enemy and making it easier for us to actually engage now we can actually try to go into melee and burn these guys up which is kind of exciting because we haven't been able to do something like that in a while maybe it's probably a charge to get up to the convoy itself so maybe we'll start attacking from there because i wouldn't want to stop and have no evasion and get into this pincer from high ground and behind so we'll kind of get over and burn from the side straight into the front now we've got overlapping stacking active guardian ecm on the convoy given the burn Ooh, 76 in the front there poe is a great alternative to things like diablo the most recent last epoch I have heard a lot about Last Epoch from the bunnies and I looked into it and I, I wanted to try it as well. I just there's so many games to play and so many things to do that <laughs> that I didn't get around to it yet. One one wandering sword, new Chinese themed turn based really? Oh thank you so much. I have never heard of that one. So that's new to me. The classes and the builds are awesome. I, I heard they did a really good job. I heard they did a really good job. I, I would just need to devote more time than I'd want to devote more time. Let's put it that way, yeah. 
All right, we're finally up. This is excellent. So now we've got Dertz in the Dertz mobile, the Dertz bun mobile. And let's see what we can do. Large pulse laser, ATM six. We only have standard ammunition. We'll take it. Oh, that's not bad. A little bit of ranged 10 per shot damage on that lead J37. One of the best things about last epoch, unlike PoE, is your builds come online much quicker. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really nice. I mean, like, especially for those that wouldn't be able to play for as long, just to be able to actually experience, well, what makes those games great. It's like when things synergize and work together and are just fun to play with you. Not too shabby. There's just not enough time for fun. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Not enough time for fun, Vision. Yeah. Last Epoch's quite fun. They added enough skill tuning to suit different play styles. Good eye candy. Eye candy, to me, is surprisingly important. I know that may sound shallow, but I mean, I, I've got to be truthful about it. <laughs> like, there are times where I rem have very, very, very fond memories of games, and I still do. And then there are some games... Ooh, Scorpion. Hardened Scorpion. What the heck is that? I'm glad it's way back there. It's probably slow as heck. And I, I'll have really, really good mem memories. Still do. But then those games, if I try to go and play them now, I can't bring myself to do it. So <laughs> I play PoE on Xbox. I play solo. I don't want to deal with the trading. Food isn't. Oh, OK. We'll catch you a little later. Yes, actually. Shrimp with coconut. Ooh, that sounds good. Scorpion sounds like a Metal Gear Solid villain. Ooh, he probably could be. I mean, probably about as probably maybe even bigger at 55 tons. I don't know how big the original Metal Gear was. It looked huge. Looked more like a super heavy, but I mean, scale is an interesting thing between different universes. Hard. Uh, POE requires knowing a lot of subsystems. The learning curve is quite steep. I, yeah, I can see that. That's that's definitely one of those things where you want to have like two tiers where you can play effectively, well, relatively effectively, and you want to take it to another level than mastering it would be needed then that would be something where i can see that kind of like straddling the lines well yeah scorpion yeah get over here that's right Ready all right rock. so now we're actually in a decent spot it took us a while to get here it took us nine rounds to get to this position and finally finally they kind of met us where this is the intersection right they started way back here they covered this much ground we started way down here we covered this much ground so that kind of tells you something about our speed granted we were going uphill but but it's it's kind of a good metric, I feel, to kind of let us know where are we at in terms of our mobility and unit cohesion. So far, we've been able to kind of sort of stay together, except for our Vs, which couldn't really traverse that kind of uh, terrain. So we'll go in and give this guy a nice kick. I think we'll be able to take down this J37 at the lead. Oh, can't really click on it. If we hit it, that is. And then we got to give him the burn, so maybe not. Depends where we're going. 14... Ah, oh, unfortunately, we didn't land the kick. That would have been a huge help, yeah? I used to play a lot of MMOs between 2005... Ooh, Raptor. 2000... Why is he pulling away? <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with that. He don't want to deal with us. Oh, you know who's really going to get to kicking? It's going to be dead, but he's currently in a charge, so I don't want to do that, but we'll kind of cross on over and get ourselves in a position where we can easily respond. We've got 59. We've got 71. Let's go in and work on the other tanker right here. Yeah. Uh, I don't get serious about any game anymore. Life won't let me. Oh, PoE has the benefit of being free to play. Well, that's that's always a plus for sure. Yeah. My favorite. They made minion necromancers actually viable. It is yep. a good time. Meaning last epoch. Oh, it's so we're OK. So we're talking about PoE and last epoch at the same time. I might be getting them mixed up. I mean, not th not that I think they're the same game, <laughs> but which ones everyone's talking about at the same time. So, uh, same genre-ish, right? 18, I think I'm gonna hold again. We might have to hold until we can kind of get them to stop a little bit, yeah. Any plans on playing Homeworld 3 at launch? If Homeworld, I, I seem to recall that Homeworld 3 is coming out really soon. So a couple of things on that. My, my initial thought is maybe not because it's coming out in like a month or something. I think I think that's true. I could be wrong. And if it is May 13, yeah, it's April. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so the thing is, is that 
I I used to have a job outside of streaming. So A, I, I don't, it's a little embarrassing to say, but I don't have as many uh, funds to apply to different games. So unfortunately I have to choose carefully about which ones I, I play. And I'm not saying that Homeworld is not good because A, I haven't even seen anyone play Homeworld 3 yet because it's not out. And then B, I'm sure it's, it's, uh, I mean, it looks freaking gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. And then also just with the schedule and, and all that, actually, it's probably a good time to mention it. I totally forgot the last few streams. I was having so much fun with L Watt C. Uh, if you are a regular on the YouTube channel for HBFT underscore gaming, all right. I love the AMS bolt on. Let's go. High five. If you are a, a regular at the HBFT underscore gaming YouTube channel, you, you may notice that this week I haven't posted very much. And that's precisely because I'm going through a bit of a reschedule, trying to make things a little more efficient and more, co I guess, coherent as far as like the getting content out so that we have a regular cadence again. So with that retool, it's kind of set me behind a bit. So it's, I just released um, a starting article of a what is series for bunny lore on the bunny league YouTube or on the HBFT underscore gaming YouTube channel. So it's a community post and I'm planning on doing that regularly. And then uh, we have some other things coming up too. There should be another release tomorrow as well. Yeah. So I hope that is a bit of a blabbery way of answering your question. <laughs> And let's just keep supporting as okay. best we can with our LRM 10. We'll just send that. And then I'm really, really impressed with the speed of Rogue Tech. It's moving a lot faster than I can possibly imagine. Yeah. Uh, my favorite Diablo like MMO was shut down quite some time ago. Marvel Heroes. Ooh, yes, yes. Last Epoch, essentially the same genre. We can give you games and force you to play them. Well, I don't know about force me to, but I, <laughs> I wouldn't want the bunnies to like you use your money and, and have false expectations, but you can definitely talk to me about it. I mean, I appreciate any help, obviously, but it's not required and I don't expect it. So please know that too. Yeah, I think it would take those as suggestions. <laughs> suggestions in the Bunny League Discord. That's a great way to go to let me know what it is the bunnies yeah. want to see. Like, honestly, I didn't even expect. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised with how L Watt is going right now. I did not have any expectation that it was going to be one way or another. And the bunnies have seemed to be having fun with it. And I've been having so much fun learning a whole new system. So honestly, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying myself with that. But there's no way I could have known without the bunny sort of like interacting and, and having fun with it. You know what I mean? So super, super cool. So thank you. Now my wife suggests she wants pizza on that time. Oh, all right. Well, pizza is always good at any time of the month. I don't think they will. They did it because of the control scheme, which shouldn't take very long to have fixed. Oh, let's see. Probably less like that since HB faces no consequences. Consequences where you risk death. Oh, man. You grief gifting. Force clockwork or in style. I saw a video of Homeworld 3, and you know what surprised me? The chatter between units. Oh, yes. Banter is something I love. Absolutely love. If any of you have played Uncharted 2 and the Uncharted series after 2, they do a fin they have a phenomenal banter system and that that kept me going through that game like non-stop i remember the first i'd never i'd heard of uncharted 2 when i first got the playstation i think playstation 2 right and raven was the one that said you might want to try this and this was before i even really did any online stuff and boy was she right it was kind of insane i fell in love I, I started right from the beginning and i i just felt this need to see what happens throughout the whole they do such a good job on an action game it's difficult to keep attention with a story focus without making you like stop and read something or listen to something or wait for a cut scene it's just i was always so impressed that was my beginning of my fandom for nathan fillion for sure yeah I have direct humor, but long story short, I'm here for the personality. Oh, heck yes, man. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I got a fallout bobblehead. Ooh, heck yes. That reminds me of how Raven had spent a long time looking for the the Alan Wake um, thermos. God, that that was quite a quite a thing. Still haven't 
found one yet, but because a lot of them were like hundreds of dollars, I guess they're being sold only as an ex they were being sold only as an exclusive somewhere in Europe, I think. I have the backer stuff from Homeworld 2, including a USB powered mother. Oh, that's cool, Lef. Homeworld 3 is a very interesting roguelike multiplayer co-op mode where you and two other players go through a mini campaign with resources and units carrying over each mission. Oh my God, see, we didn't even see this guy. That is not good. Okay, so that is bad. That is bad. So we've been kind of getting a little lax on our, well, we didn't really have a strategy. We've just been kicking things. And now that we do not have sufficient evasion, a stealth stiletto has come online. The last time we had a stealth stiletto come online, it blew up one of our mechs with our bunny in it in one shot. So when I see this, I get a little bit of a twinge of fear, I admit. So maybe we should active jam the heck out of this guy, gang up on him, and don't let him take a bunny down, right? I think that's going to have to be the way. And who better to do it than someone with the electronic warfare sweet ping and a lot of kicking, right? I think that's going to be great. We we're going to stay as fast as possible. We got the full eight right here. And of course, we also have that EWS ping. We'll go ahead and ping on out. Maybe that'll at least tear them up a little bit, yeah? Can we see anything? Centipede Scout Car, they definitely have a lot more on the field than maybe I thought. I thought there might have been 12 total, including the convoy, but it's not looking so hot at the moment. Let's go ahead and hold. Let him move first. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Hang tight. Lots of kicking. You like the sound of that? That's right, Dertz. Hey, Panzer. Good to see you. Welcome. Oh, that's fancy. I forgot we're trying not to get injured so we can get into the flare-up. So we better we better watch ourselves. Danger. Show me what you're working with. Let's... <laughs> All right, we're still careful maneuvering since turn one. 11. I mean, at this point, I think the only one we're going to be able to hit sort of reliably is that guy. So when we need to contest that like pronto. And let's go in and I'll try to catch up with chat just one moment. A lot of silent reading, though. Yep, yep. So all of that, Starfield, Adult yeah. Lifetime, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, understood. Well, we, we really need to drop this guy out. Here we go. And let's go in and send it right to the side. Might be enough. But it's the opposite, isn't it? That's the right side. That's the right side. Okay, what do we got? We got Tank. He's in the bonfire. He's got the burn. Let's do it. And go from the opposite there he is there he is all right so the entire convoy is down our main objective is safe now it's about dealing with the rest or getting on out we actually have a reasonable evac zone which is kind of unheard of but then again it's probably going to take us i don't think we're going to be able to make it because we're going to have to careful maneuver for the next 20 turns so that's something to keep an eye out for let's just go in and back it on up or maybe if we can get a line of sight by getting closer does that help us at all because we do have Superior Daisy in here, he might be able to assist with some Battle Armor support PPC pings if we should kind of collapse the formation back into him. We've got standard rounds. I'm thinking we can go in with 16, but we'll go in with high explosive and hope we just sort of like ping the right thing. That was decent. That actually impacted. That's awesome. On the stealth guy. All right. Yes, actually, thanks so much again. Thank you so much for your generosity, for hanging out for a little bit. I hope you have a great time with your wife. We'll catch you on the next one, man. High five. Yeah, favorite hobbies for sure. All right, Death's Bun. Well, we need we need to get kicking. The only one we can... So we're going to have five. He gets to move on 15, so he can still move. If we were to try to kick the stiletto, it would be a charge, I think. Yeah, it would be a charge. So I kind of want to let him go, as sad as that is. Or what's our chance to connect with him? We can see he's got an MML5 risk, burning flames. Very good chance to connect. And he's got 56 in the front. I don't think we're going to be able to pop anything off. So I will, in fact, hold one. So we'll reserve one to let them go because I don't want to be caught out with less evasion than this eight that we've got right now. 
We'll take that hit. That's perfectly acceptable. 78 out of 115 left on the leg. And he we were going to be in charging range anyway. So we wouldn't really be able to take full advantage yep. there. So we got a Bunzeal. We'll go ahead and get on out and just try to clear clear the rear if possible or clear anything really but i'm gonna go ahead and try and send some shots to the raptor we're switching over to lrms and just try to slow him down sensor impair him anything right now he does get to go that's just right in front of him fireball in the background streak has room too i don't know what he's really going to do back there unless he's got some nice electronic sweet options or something all right tag on death that's not excellent that's actually a little bit scary but since there's only four more pips available and one of them is for sure going to be that little gray death standard i think we'll be okay wow okay two impacts from the srms that's not too bad it's not too bad and that guy didn't move much at all so i would imagine we should have a decent chance of hitting him we can actually move more than one hex this time that's awesome and we're just going to continue to try to bombard and assist until we can get all of these SRMs online. Yeah, this dump back. Scratch my paint. That's right. Well, we've got to scratch it right back, right? So I think anything else is going to be a charge. Just want to double check that is the case. So we've got Dertz. He's coming on in. We can at least come it around to the side. Nice swift kick. Really good chance to connect with this guy. This is the guy that scratched your paint and blows out the leg. And guns, guns, guns. Hit him in. <laughs> it's even good in rogue tech. <laughs> like high five. All right, so much for that little guy. Obviously, we have very little in the way of evasion, but that's okay because when the enemy that was going to strike you has already gone and when the enemy that did strike you is on the ground in pieces, I think you earned yourself a little bit of a rest. So let's see, what do we got here? Round six, going to be that little guy down below, Hunter LRMs. And actually connected a little bit there but guess what he's so close he's so close he's basically charging to his doom we've got a kin to he's a decent mover here get in a range we're gonna go in and get that active guardian ecm coverage forward to assist even further and we're gonna go in and stack so vigilance for him and we'll send what we got hopefully tag him up that little tiny zippy car their resistance is futile that's so true now i scratched his paint too a nut for a nut a bolt for a bolt wow well well if you put it that way oh boy actually what did he shoot was that the streak oh that was the streak surprise it looked like only one hit and it's a streak srm2 and interestingly enough it's supposed to not shoot unless they're gonna hit and only one hit so at least that i saw visually so that's that's kind of interesting to me oh i got bradford let's tuck up best chance to nail somebody i guess that's closest to deaths is there anyone else centipede there's that stiletto yeah i don't i don't know we can try that guy's just a bit of a jerk so i kind of want to send it his way he's got an ally next door so you know if you can hit one you can hit right. two so we'll take it and we got hp in the bunzeal if we get close enough oh well there's no cargo in that guy so it's totally fair for us to shoot him in the butt right and this guy, let's go ahead and switch on over to Inferno SRM. So we got 30%, 30%. And we'll just take it. All right. We'll give him a little burn to the Centipede Scout. Hang out. Full value. Not that the decreased target cooling is necessarily a huge benefit on a V, but I'll take it. We're on three. 25. I know we have some swarm as well, I think. Oh, it's hot. Look, never mind. I think it's on another okay. mech. I think it's on the Bunzeo where we've got swarm ammunition. And then we got tank in the bun fire. Let's go ahead and tuck on in. 28. Oh, we can. Yeah, why not? Why not? That guy's tiny. I mean, he can't necessarily dodge a whole wall of flame, right? Let's see. Uh, he did a pretty good job. <laughs> He did a pretty good job dodging the flame. We just need to lead a little better next time. But this guy. Ooh, okay, that guy. That's it. That's it. You don't do that to our brand new scorpion with deaths inside. So we can we can either remove the guy who is probably his best friend in the whole wide world in front of him, or we can do a little bit of a drive-by. Maybe we do the drive-by. And say hello my name is 
That's bun bon bill. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, there we go. Let him think twice about that. And now we're in range to kick both of them. <laughs> and that leaves us with... Oh, did the centipede just pass and decide to stay in the fire? Wow, that's kind of sad. But I mean, I kind of get it at the same time. He knows he doesn't have a chance, so we decided why not just stay right there? And who else is left? There's only one left. It is the Hunter LRM-20 and no shots. Excellent. Well, let's try and clean up as much as we can on this turn. This guy didn't really move too much, so we'll go for it. And we'll send it to the guy who stood in the fire. Give him a little ping there. Do the drive-by, say hello to my little friend. That's right. That's right. On a 360 degree turret. Gotta love it. And on 20, I'm assuming it's the GD. Oh, no. Little tiny fireball. Who is he going to attack? Where's he going? Oh, he's going for a V? Wow, how odd. Yeah. This guy. This guy. Well, we can definitely give this guy a kick since we don't have our SRMs online. That's That looks like it landed. There we go. Down a 16. And then we got dead. Oh, yes. The dead bun mobile. Burn forest. I'd rather come around from the front side, so we'll give him a kick from here. 86%. There's the guy who caused all the trouble. <laughs> not causing too much. He's not very fast right now. Signature damper destroyed. Bloodhound probe crit. Stack him. Down he goes. Gyro's not compensating. You bet. You don't have a gyro. Well, now he's, he's taking a bit of a dirt rest. We got Mac. We got the shot. Can we land it? 0.9. Oh, that's pretty bad. Well, I mean, we're looking at any standard rounds that aren't going to... Ooh, 23. I mean, we might as well take it because he's close by, even though it's not the best chance. Got it. Oh, yeah, a little wide there. That's okay. Well, we should have our Maxim up there in no time at all. Uh, we got Bun Ping Ping to hold. That brings us down. We got our Bun here. Where's he at? Where's he at? I'm not really worried about him so i kind of feel like we should probably focus on the guy that relies on all the fancy electronics and we'll give oh boy can we just walk up instead i guess that is a better chance so let's do it bun fire bun fire bun fire that's from the right there it is goodbye centipede it's like we're playing atari now we're like all the way oh how do you get lethal da is the turret lethal damage man odd all right, and our AMS is back online. No more jamming for the bunnies. Hello, and we got Amul. Oh, look at that. Maxim APC finally getting all of its weapons into line of sight. And we're going to turn off those LRMs. We're going to bring that tag all the way up. I should really change the order. I changed it for the mechs. I didn't change it for the Vs. And hope we connect. Did we tag him? And we did tag him. Excellent. Poor little guy. And then, of course, we've got Hunter into... Yeah, repairs might be a bit much. Maybe the bunnies weren't wrong when they said 300,000. <laughs> they might not have been wrong. All right, he's back on up. Here's the guy. This is the guy. What are you going to do? You've got a malice. Are you going to magically hit everyone and kill them all? Or Wow, this guy made of some advanced stuff. His targeting computers must be like auto target or something. Well, let's show him that he something that he can't auto target is the very last leg that he owns. So maybe if he has auto dodge, that would be good for him. Come on, Dips. Come on, Dips. Oh, can you not? Oh, can, are you like in some weird spot where you're not allowed to kick him? Boo, shift move. So I don't know if Rogue Rogue Tech has shift click. So I'm I've been trying it for a while now. And it's it's not letting me do it. So maybe it's a different interface, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like I can. But I will get on out and I guess just shoot the guy, unfortunately, if we can. Or can we not even see him? Let's try and Does that work? Nope. Okay, that's cool. Well, I guess we'll go and we'll 
shoot somebody that we are allowed to shoot. So we'll kind of come out here. Yep, can shoot that guy. Yeah, we can shoot the green. We'll definitely shoot the hunter with the LRM-20. And of course, we can shoot that guy. That looked like it hit. Bloodhound probe destroyed. Ooh, that should make things a little bit easier. He's panicking for sure. And on 16, assuming one of the guys back here. Fireball. Oh, this is way up at the maxim. Anakin too. That's 59. And 86. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's just try and hit that last leg there. This is going to hit for 42. How much does he have on there? 64. Oh, that is not the leg. That was the engine. So I, I thought the kick was going to hit the leg, but apparently it decided to blow off the right torso. So that's that's cool. The bunnies are a little overzealous at times. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm, I'm glad that they're all about protecting bunnies over profit. That's cool. Let's do it. Not much was left from... Yeah, I thought there might be a little more than that, but I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. And stack. Look at that. Now we're actually getting some decent firepower out of this thing. Just took us a while to get there. Oh, what was that? I'm seeing like fireflies floating up from below. It's like they're making a wish yep. or a dream. And on 13 is this guy out here. And then we got three. So obviously we can punch, but I feel like we really need to clear our back so that we don't have to worry about everything at once. This guy moved pretty hard. So unfortunately that's not looking so great, but we can come around and hit the green. Let's move. If we can just tag him up, might make it harder for him to hit us. Clanny are small right on the left side, 29 and 20. Everybody was kung fu fighting. That works out pretty well. And bun fire. See, the problem is our backside. So I don't think I want to do this just because it's going to leave the bun fire vulnerable to that guy. So maybe we'll actually go wide and start harassing the back line here on the J. Edgar. Give him the burn. Obviously, I didn't remember that there's the Grey Death Standard right there. So that's a little problematic. All right, we'll just tuck up. And maybe 16, 16. Well, I mean, we'll try anything at this point. Yeah, that was pretty low. There was a mech foot sticking in all of the mechanical parts on the right side of the mech. The text didn't want to bother with that kind of stuff. That's right. That's right. A little bit of bun foo in the right place. So this is the scary part. We do have the GDS out there. They are in a decent spot to take out our bun fire. And I was not paying attention. We're not the most heavily armed at the moment. So hopefully we can recover from that little flobble. And I am a little bit cautious about the fireball because even though he only has the streak as room two, he is still capable of doing some dastardly things. Ooh, can we move before them? Oh my God, we can. Holy crap. Wow. Well, that's 46. We won't be able to stop that right away, but we can definitely, definitely, definitely get in from the damage side here. That's only six, but I will take it. Vigilance. And we're going for the blue. Stack it. Oh, <laughs> how much does he have on the side? He has, I mean, he had 20 before 20 and 29. All right, let's see if we can't finish the job. Come on out. There we go. And land it. I see orange. The bunny league curse for sure. Come on, go down, man. Go down. He still has that LRM. That thing's nasty. All right, HB. He does have the Inferno SRM. If this does not, I'd be very, very impressed and scared if this doesn't take that Hunter out. Stack him. There we go. Unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of evasion because we've been trying to maximize the chance to connect there. But oh my God, lethal damage. I mean, I'll definitely take that. But still, a little bit, little bit dicey. We'll just tuck up. Not moving super, super fast. 18. 0.9. This guy is still maintaining the evasion. We'll go in and just snap off a shot. One day we'll hit. One day our prince will come. Oh, that. 
that'll do that'll do not the same exact spot but i will take it that's pretty good all right on 16th so the next one coming is going to be that great death standard we're going to be on 12 for tank here Almond did not initiate we got the bun ping ping once we hold it should go to the gd please don't swarm please don't swarm oh thank god wow wow all right excellent so we got our 12 we got our 12 this is fine this is totally fine back in the they've got that light ac5 with a hardened scorpion so let's just keep moving around i mean we got the fire right that's nine we'll just keep a little bit of distance maybe walk it back instead and we'll just try and heat that guy up maybe catch the break there we go excellent so right now we got three left we've got the almond we've got the gds and we've got the hardened scorpion with a lack five in the background so if we can wipe out the almond i think we're going to be in a really really nice spot so that means just chasing this guy down or taking a little slower that's 13. heck i'll take it Advancing and hope for the best okay. no tag we need him maybe we can lure him closer actually you know what we can do is actually get to the evac zone that is always a valid possibility for sure so let's see we got depth here how is this chance to connect we're looking not so grand so instead We'll just kind of bring ourselves to a spot where we can kind of assist and we'll pepper away at the fireball and i think we'll at least try to fight near the evac zone so that whoever's here i mean they're gonna have to stop us obviously it's gonna take a billion years to try to get our ifb up here but it might be enough to coax them into a position or out of sort of this run around and just make your life miserable sort of fest instead so we're just gonna go in and try and just tag whatever we can and eventually we'll hit something good yeah and he'll run around trying to shoot but not actually putting anything out because he's got a streak and unless he hits which he's probably not going to he is not actually going to fire and then we'll go ahead and just keep taking the pings a little bit of an inferno it's gonna always help the situation for us and we got tank in the burn Actually, I, I would enjoy burning these little guys, but we'll just go in and give it a little bit of a rest for a second. And we're all going to converge on the almond. I It's probably not actually an almond. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just stay in the middle. He tried to shoot at us. How rude. And we got our feint to avoid any sort of AMS sus issues. We'll just try. I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, the harder the shot Mac makes it, the easier, the worse it is. All right, let's hold. And that leaves us with our Maxim. Well, this guy, actually, that's not too bad. I'll take that. I will take that. If we get the breach, 100% crit with a Valiant. There we go. We got that breach. Excellent. And we got HP. And finally, we might be in it. 37% chance to kick pretty rough but i will take it any extra damage on this little guy Targeting for physical attack. and we whiff it that's okay and stack guns little bit of heat there you go push the threshold buddy and let's just keep pulling away from the gds we don't have to play their game bunnies we don't have to play their game and we'll just walk it over. Very nice chance to connect and do it akin to. Five structure, two structure, multiple crits. And we got tank here. He can apply and push him over threshold. But at this point, I don't want to actually burn our own guys. So we'll just come in from this side. Try our best. There it is. And he's tipped right over the edge. That's excellent. And hold. So he gets to go now. Mech is on fire. 
and he didn't go very far he's still on fire <laughs> just hang tight with the ifb and we got amuel will come it around and end this guy because he's basically hanging on by a thread stack him there we go goodbye almond nobody wants you here yeah i mean bleeding out and everything else was destroyed so that is that is a win if i've ever seen one we're kind of banking on hopefully having access to the really really nice cargo compartment or something but in the meantime let's just go ahead keep a little distance and we will hold right here and then we'll move together once we've kind of taken a rest gathered up we'll move together on those guys because obviously we're passing through fire we need to unjam things we need to get ourselves sorted and once we go in we're gonna have multiple active guardian ecms just jamming up the works on that guy and the bunzeal hold nice thing is we got inferno srms as well that is excellent there they go they're feeling pretty pretty ballsy but i don't know what they're going to accomplish and then of course we've got the hardened scorpion in the distance yes, i mean i'll try and just maybe hit a two for 10 percent of oh! <laughs> Well, he's not going anymore. And then there was one. That is excellent. Okay, last one. Last one. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Well, we'll just keep a little bit of distance on our initial approach. Here we go. I mean, I'd like... To, I might just ping him out. Yeah, let's just be really bombastic and just ping these guys out. Amiel. A little bit of hovercraft here. And let's see, we got streak. Do it. Little pings here. Now we start the process of grinding the GDS into the dust. Yeah, Commander. What it can do. Let's go in and pick up the speed. Maybe a little distance. There we go. And go. All right. It is so satisfying when something has been a pest for so long and then you finally get to dish out a little bit of pain look at this look at this doesn't even matter hey matt good to see you welcome so far so good it's a little bit of a messy first warm up but you know what we are making it through no bunny's dead how are you man very less leg that he owns it's true it's very very true vision yeah look at that they're they're trying to pull away there's not much they can do about it It'd be hilarious if Mac, you can land a thunderbolt on him, but I, I don't expect miracles. Oh, high five, man. That's what I like to hear, yeah? All right, Bradford, speak of the devil. You got two more. Do you have a 4% chance to hit on a non-explosive faint thunderbolt 15 on tiny little ants? But if you make it happen, dear God, you are you should definitely, definitely, definitely get a lottery ticket. I will go to move it on in. We've got shots to the butt. Everybody likes the shots to the butt. Here we go. And send it. Anything that hits is, is going to be pretty decent. Full value SRMs to the rear. And we've got deaths. Not. I know we're getting kind of cheeky here. And they'll probably try to turn around and do something dastardly. But we'll see if they survive it first. Yeah. Are you hiding down the cliff? Unfortunately, we had to careful maneuver you for the vast majority of this engagement, yep. so I haven't been able to get you up the cliff. <laughs> I wish I wish I had deployed in a better spot now that I am reflecting upon the situation, yeah? I'll do what I can. It's not your fault. Okay, I'm on. There we go. Little Inferno SRM. Just add a little insult to injury there. We don't care so much about their cooling as, you know, okay, not bye. being able to breathe and stuff like that. All right, here we go. We got the green coming around and give him full value pings from the mongoose. At least we got a tag. I will take it. And then we've got tank hair. Oh, yes, this is the burn. This is what I'm looking for right here. Take a look at this. This is going to be nasty. Vigilance hold. And let's go in and give them the set of the seven flamers from the bonfire. Panic level critical indeed. <laughs> Panic level critical indeed. All right, let's just walk it over. Decent. Do it. 
lies sweet lies it's all his fault <laughs> it's okay when you don't need line of sight to hit well when is these little guys you need every advantage you can get but i hear you i hear you we are out of high explosive it would have been perfect oh my god wow they're awfully oh geez louise i knew that was coming uh-oh wait a minute we got that breach already oh that's not good well hopefully let's see so mac hang tight i was getting a little too aggressive all right pull back pull back it'll be funny oh my god wouldn't that be crazy if we were able to evac with them on us and then we take them hostage that'd be crazy hold and on 13 we've got death let's go ahead and pull on back so we got a little bit of a runway and we'll ping out be hilarious if we can go in for a melee on him all right tank care tank care let's go ability erratic maneuver full speed and go and they're right in the evac zone excellent excellent hold then we got akin to what's the chance of this oh my god this seems really really good <laughs> oh. well that guy's dead oh thank god wow that was rough <laughs> I guess they didn't have evasion when we threw them off of Tank Hare's mech. Well done, you managed to wipe me off a route. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to our plan, LZ. All right, bunnies, we have a win. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? That is a no. Congratulations to those who have the faith. All right, let's cr cross your fingers because there was potentially significant damage in that engagement, and we're hoping that we'll be in a spot where it's not going to be too expensive or too long before we can get our bunnies back online because after all we do want to be a part of the flare-up if it's still available in 19 days so we got 227,000 in the positive that's excellent and we have a bit of a breach but no real initial losses and that's that's actually looking pretty good we do have to repair the armor though we've got centipede scout car let's go and bring this over fireball the hunter might be kind of nice lrm 20 on it right 35 ton got a j27 here j37 scorpion hardened it's not that impressive looking so i think i'll hold on that i'll hold on that and then the medium x pulse and the medium pulse laser raker is nice vehicle flamer armored cowl oh that's cool that's actually really nice end of steel engines more night vision if we need it munitions basic sensors structure ams ammo bin that's cool stiletto part advanced ams angel ecm sensors tracker oh my god did that come from i bet that came from that nasty stiletto i mean i'm gonna take that angel ecm i'm gonna take that advent the risk advanced ams and the sensors tracker and oh hardened how oh yeah no that that's a little that's a little much but oh my god wow platform change hey pans are gonna see you did you see the cargo compartment crossbow was there one did i miss it or was it the munitions yeah I don't think I saw a cargo compartment. Yeah, I don't see the cargo compartment. I do see munitions, though. So, but I mean, this is cool already, yeah? So let's see, what else What else was there? There was the AMS ammunition double bin. I like the improved fire control system as a backup. And then I like the armor cow, yeah. Oh, as a convoy that there I thought so too I thought maybe but you don't always get one but I think I'm gonna grab the armored cow and I'm gonna grab the uh the system as a backup three two and one three out of four of a centipede scout car half of the hunter with the LRM 20 a full J27 Killjoy, a full J27 Transport, part of a Raptor, part of the Stiletto, Advanced AMS, Flamer, Medium X Pulse, SRM4, Angel ECM, Armor to Clear, Armored Cowl, End of Steel. We've got 8, Clear, Engine Core 100, Engine Fuel Cell, Internal Combustion, Engines to Clear, Munitions. I th think we can sell this. 
crates and crates of small arms munitions, fuel, chemicals, and other war material. Huh. I will sell that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to make of that. And then, ooh, nice. LRM clan. That's something that we actually need for the risk stuff. So that is, that was actually quite profitable. That's great. Yeah. yeah. No cargo compartment. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, bunnies. Thank you. Well, we walked out with some, a lot of, a lot of advanced stuff, I gotta say. So since we have to do some repairs, we're not going to take the automatic repair because maybe we can do a little bit of refitting simultaneously. That would be pretty good. And we just have to be ready in 19 days. So if we kind of take a quick gander, see how long it would take to get our armor back to full. And if we're sitting well within a certain period of time, then maybe we'll do a little extra as well. Yeah, no. Con yeah, sad, sad, sad HB noises as well. Sad HB. I love cargo compartments. I'm addicted to the cargo gacha. But that's okay. That's fine. 18 days for the full repair. Okay, so that gives us an idea. And we'll be on the tick over. But at least, at least we are now going to make our finance period once again. So that's always a plus. <laughs> that's always a plus. Only one solution. We shall just have to shoot the enemy harder that there be more cargo to select from. Oh my. Well, guess what? I'm... I'm really, really curious what's actually on these things. Like, if we put together a J-27 transport, and if we put together a Killjoy version of the J-27, like, what does that actually have on it? Vehicle bay. So this has a machine gun. Can it resupply us? Let's see. Ammo spammy. Oh, it can! I think. Ammo spammy. Contains ammunition supplies needed for on-field ammo resupply. That, I mean, I probably won't use it very often, but that might be kind of useful in a very specific scenario. What about the other guy? It's a J27 Killjoy. Has ammo spammy, but it has an SRM4 instead of machine guns. And it has a little more armor, if you want to call it armor. <laughs> I mean, that might be kind of nice to have, right? What's What's the difference here? Section 8, 2 guts, 20% resolve generation, quirk is rugged. This unit de cannot deploy in lunar or Martian biomes due to internal combustion engine. So it's got an SRM4 and then this one, hardened plates and skilled sensor operator. And then this one, hunter killer team training, multi-target and breaching shot. I, don't, I mean, I, that's all well and good, but I don't know how useful that would be. Movement 5-8. Movement 5... I mean, I'd rather have the Killjoy, though. But, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll pull one down, yeah? What's ammo spammy? As far as I'm aware, if we bring this into combat, it's going to allow us to maybe resupply the ammunition for our mechs in combat. How I've seen it work in BTA is that you have to get adjacent to it, and then you will shut down, and it will resupply your ammunition and then you power up on the next turn. Yeah, exactly one weapon. We gave it multi-targeting. I don't I don't know if it works here. I mean, we'd have to test it. I don't know if it works that way in Rogue Tech, but that's how it worked in BTA. So I'm, I'm going to hang on to it just to, you know, be able to test it. That's pretty interesting. We've got more G GDS shenanigans. We've got the J27. We'll sell that off. The Centipede Scout car will clear that. 111,000. I mean, we need all the C-Bills because once we tick over this, we're going to be back in the red again. Got that Raptor part. Move it to clear got part of hawk moth we've got the osiris part the stiletto i mean it's, it's been such an advanced little beast that i'm gonna hang on to it because we've seen it a few times now and i think everything else can stay so if we're looking at our repairs let's start with we didn't bring the bun pop let's start with the death's bun mobile all right because we now have access to new internal components right so we got clan double heat sink kit just so we can kind of keep things a little tight uh, we got the energy crit computer, but we do have thermal vision giving us the night vision, so we don't necessarily need to have some fancy FCS in there. But let's see. So we got for stealth and electronic countermeasures, we got a warfare suite. I mean, should we do it? I don't, I forgot that we have the jump jets, believe it or not. I mean, of course you do. <laughs> We have improved jump jets, so we can jump six hexes, and I totally forgot about that. The standard core is at 330. I felt 
what I'm used to in a scorpion is a lot faster and our armor definitely could be I mean it's okay so it is maxed out here so I feel like if we had some electronic countermeasures instead of the jump jets the jump jets are nice when we started way down there but it just takes up so much space it takes up so much heat yeah so maybe we'll pull on this hey Chico good to see you yeah uh do we have triple strength strength mimer I don't know if we do because I, I know in Rogue Tech, you kind of got to... I think you have to play with the heat and stuff like that. Right now, we got the AR-12 Sheath Beacon, which is giving you electronic, like, capabilities. But we could easily go Sensors Tracker. Oh, this is accuracy at different ranges. So maybe uh, maybe not the best for this. But it's nice to know that we've got it. And then we've got Clan Fire of Harvest. If we pull this off, we've got two tons. Would it be possible to do, like... Oh, we don't have stealth armor. It would be funny to have a stealth armor. <laughs> We've got the Guardian ECM. we got the Warfare Suite, which could definitely fit. So if we pull this off, toss in the Warfare Suite, we've got one and a half tons. And we get an AOE ping. We get protection with ECM shield. We can protect allies within 180 meters. We can do all the stuff. Yeah. I got no clue how it's working in Rogue Tech. Yeah. So triple strength Mimer, I think... I think the way it works in Rogue Tech, you have to be above a certain heat level in order to have it kick in. Whereas in BTA, it's just always as a passive, it's on, right? You just generate like, I think 45% more heat generated by weapons, I think. But in this case, I, I think that's the main difference is that you've, you've got to actually fulfill a requirement before it kicks in. So um, a little a little more shenanigans that you got to play before you can really get it rolling, yeah? So let's go ahead and take a look. We've got Pharaoh Fibrous. We've got Heavy Pharaoh. We've got Clan into Steel. We already have that installed. We've got a regular XL engine. We've got the torso mounted cockpit. It's not going to help us too much. Is there anything else that we can do to this thing? Weapon wise, we do have new weapons now, right? We have the regular medium pulse lasers, but now I think we've got medium X pulses as well. So that's still the same footprint plus one accuracy ignore one invasion and this one is plus one accuracy ignore one evasion but a little longer range i think right plus two chance to cluster on hit location with the weapon but this has 360 meters this has 240 meters so definitely definitely helpful we can definitely get that in there yeah you have to be warm enough first oh to, to get it to kick in yeah so i'm thinking uh, the large pulse was nice just because it allowed you to actually still connect on the approach. The ATMs are cool, but I almost feel like if we could get S standard SRMs, I mean, we were using them a little more like that. And if there was, we could use different ammunition. I guess it depends on what we've got available to us. We've got SRM tandem. We've got the standard SRMs. We've got SRM acid. That's kind of cool, but you do have to be kind of close. I mean, right now, if we at least max out our armor, where are we sitting? 0.739, our heat efficiency, negative 21. Oh my god, wow, that's impressive. So maybe we'll just see about upgrading the sensors and then and then we'll move on from there, right? So I think it's five here, sensor range. We've got the clan sensors. I mean, that's nice. We've got the SLDF ones. They both do bonus and one to sensor detection. So we'll just get the clan one on there. And if anything, I guess maybe just stick on a few jump jets just to be sure, yeah. It starts at 27. Ooh, that's crazy. Well, I mean, that's that's excellent. I might. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be something that gave us like extra armor on a limb, but I don't think I have that. We don't really have to worry too much about the slots at the moment. And I guess maybe some additional ammunition could be cool. We only have 10 shots, so having another ton would be great. So maybe we'll do that just because, and then we'll move this over so it's not as explosive, and then we'll bring the armor on the legs down by five. And then I think that will mostly get us in the range like that. We can do that. 12 days. New DLC. Ah, uh, yes, yes, for War Tales. Yeah, I saw. I only saw that this morning, though. I didn't know about it before. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. And I think, yeah, for the inn, for the inn, you can run your own tavern. That's really, really cool. That sounds so neat. Uh, I haven't seen anything else besides the announcement, though. 
but I'm always excited about War Tales. They do such a good job. So we got Bolt-On Rockets, Bolt-On AMS. I feel like we could at least get... How's our cooling on the Bun deal? I, one thing I don't like about the Risk MML is that we just have... We jam, right? And that keeps our DPS and our ability to support the bunnies down. So if there's something we could do, we've got the standard LRMs at 10. I think this is at 6. And we've got two hard points, so 5 and 2, so 7. And we can just go straight LRMs, have the light PPC, and then close range the ER small. I think that might feel better. I don't know if it will or not, but if I do the 10, I do the 5, I'll have to pull this off. We won't have the Inferno SRMs, but honestly, we don't have that many opportunities to shoot with it. We'll just go in and max out the armor. We got about three tons to play with, so that's plenty. And then we get our ammo LRM. Ooh, we've got LK. That's awesome. We'll definitely take that. A little bit of surface to air. The bunnies were talking about being able to take down VTOLs is pretty important. And then... I really wish I had some fast cam LRM, if I'm perfectly honest. I really, really wish I had some fast cam LRM, but I don't. So I'm, that's a little unfortunate. Maybe we'll just improve the clan or small or something that's a little longer range. Because this one's at half a ton, I think. Yeah, like half a ton. So we pull this off, we're at 1.33. So we can get away with, and we have a decent delta here, negative 47, that's kind of insane. So if we actually get like, even an ER medium, would work out 480 meters one ton we can definitely handle the heat that's great and yeah i don't know if there's anything else we got ferrofibrous carry weight's not going to affect anything we could take a look at our cockpit but fortunately we have some decent systems already so maybe we can get an update here if needed the sensors on the risk the risk sensors are actually really nice they give a bonus detection of two we do have the Angel ECM now, so that might be kind of nice. And we don't really use the active probe. So this will we'll be able to get closer and maybe just get like a ton down. Oops, I mean, this is not a quad. <laughs> it's not a quad, even though I'm treating it like such. Bring that down there. There we go. And then we'll just touch up on the legs. And bring this down. There we go. Okay, so what else? And then we've got one slot, right? I mean, we could turn this into a pulse if need be. Uh, back to the armament of the Uziel. The thing is pretty much designed for long-range combat. SRM doesn't make that much sense. I, it it did help from time to time, like especially when we got close and we're taking out the convoys. But yeah, no, long ranges would definitely, definitely be better for it, I feel. So I'm, I'm right there with you. We got the PPC capacitor, but then this thing would jam a little bit. So maybe just to be, see what else we can stick on here. I mean, we do have access to a probe still. I don't think you can run both of these ECM suites. So we do have sensors tracker, but I don't think I'd waste it on that. We could get the probe in. We get more range out of it here. Oh, not the active probe. I want the beagle probe. That one's heavier. There we go. Oh, it's two. Okay, fair enough. The last time you missed the whole time with the PPC. Yeah, so we could change it to a laser if we're not using the light PPC. We do have the... Do we have any largest, actually? We have an ER large. That's at 45. It's much lighter, obviously. And now we're sitting at what? Heat efficiency, negative two. We pull the Beagle probe. Now we're, we're sitting cleanly. Um, but we are a lot hotter. And if we jump, we're not going to be able to alpha. We could bring this down, yeah? Yeah, no, I don't think a PPC capacitor would help us right now. Let's get our ER small back. And now our heat efficiency set negative nine. And if we bring this down, we might be able to fit on another uh, ton. Yeah. So we got 0.6. We can bring it down to 105. That's a lot to get down there. I don't know if this is worth it. 895. I mean, if anything, we can go back to a 10, but that just feels so anemic. <laughs> it just feels a little bit anemic. So maybe instead of the Angel ECM, we can get the Guardian ECM. 
we can bring up the armor. We can just bring it down. We won't have the, well, we can bring the probe. That'll put us, oh, I want both of these. I don't want that. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when HB's on it. Where are we at with the heat efficiency again? I'm going to pull the probe. Actually, no, I'm going to pull the Guardian ECM. No, I'm going to pull the LRM. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. <laughs> My indecision is palpable. Not everything just works out flawlessly. We'll go 11 on that. So I don't know if we're going to be ready necessarily. Let's just get the armor back and then we'll go from there. How about that? <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here for forever. So we'll go repair, get that up. That's going to be five days. This is like got the worst of it, right? Yeah, no gummy boots, a gummy boots. Make sure that you don't have a, a soft butt. Is that the, the deal? Get that armor two days. There we go. And we'll just organize this and we'll move on. I apologize. That was embarrassing. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the order right now. I definitely want to keep the Detch mobile going. We'll go ahead and just bump the Bunzeal down so that these will go simultaneously and eventually they'll catch up. And we'll actually let this tick over and then that'll put us into the next month. I think we'll probably miss part of the flare up, but that's kind of okay. Maybe we don't even do the flare up. Yeah. There's the tick. Now we're at 362. Well, where are we at? We still have another four and a half and we have 10 days. If we go to our mech bay, what else do we have to fill in? We can definitely go right away. We go to the navigation screen. How long till it starts up? It starts in five days, five days. And we currently have 10 left. What is available now in the command center? They've got a duel or something. That would be excellent. So we got so oh, solo duel fighting against the planetary government. That kind of fits, but 231. I mean, they can be either really bad or they can be very, very fast. We have destroy base. We've got test drive. We've got assassination. Any duels are like really, really fast, right? We might just take that first one just to get a little pick me up. And we'll come in at 189 so that we've got a one pick. And then we'll get debts in there. Nope. Hold here. We'll clear. And let's grab debts. There we go. Just hopefully it isn't going to go wrong, right? Hopefully it won't go wrong. There we go. All right. Half skull solo duel in the jungle against the planetary government. Let's just hope we don't run into something like the, I don't know, the wolf's dragoons or something. Yeah. Hey there, Downslide. Good to see you. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, we just finished up one warm up mission and we're about to get into a solo duel. Hopefully it'll be OK. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? This is Dents we're talking about here. Yeah, it won't go wrong. Ass, we're talking about vision. High five. So we have a one pick four. We're at 189,000. That's going to move us a little bit closer to not being in the red. We have five days until a flare up can start. And quite frankly, I think we'll be able to keep up with a flare up with our current assortment of mechs. If we are so lucky, the planetary government's going to actually hire a lot of cool mercenaries. They actually want to try and take this planet down because we're on the defense on this one. And maybe just maybe they'll have a lamb or two. We'll be able to get a lamb XL engine. One can only dream, right? Let's hope you'll be fine. I'm still on your Battletech name list. Well, if you want to take a look. Yep, there you go. Debts. Debts just linked it to you. You can click on that. That's the exact sheet that I'm using to take a look uh, and manage the pilot list right now. Yeah. It just gets better because of the reduced probability of jamming. And if the pilots are better, it will definitely be interesting. The PPC capacitor doesn't necessarily have the greatest chance of jam. Oh, that's good. That is the one, bunnies. Take him out. Is this the arrogant stepson again? That guy really doesn't like us. Just, oh, duelist commander. Never mind. Never mind. All right. So our quad mech warfare suite. We're good. Let's get on out. Speed. And hold. What the heck is that? What is that, actually? I know they said they're going to send a proxy, but a lowly merc. What a waste of a perfectly good duel. That thing looks tiny. What the heck is that? 
it's oh it's a wasp i mean it looks like a beefy little wasp he looked like he was crouching from that's a lot of that's a lot of lasers dear god well let's hold it's coming on down it's got smalls and small pulses so i mean yeah it didn't hit us <laughs> um i am not on oh okay i was in your little book the last time well let's see this is for night dancer I mean, I don't know what to tell you because yeah, this, this is the list right here. And if you're saying you were add, well, you, you have to add yourself now, actually. So it's exclamation list underscore RT. So as far as you being on there before, I don't think I missed you. Yeah, I don't either. I've never had you in there, at least for the FRR start, because this is, this is what I transferred over. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This one right here. So that's what the blue words are up there. So I, I took from the, oops, I took from the, the black book and put it into blue. So I, for some reason, don't have you on there yet, but you can definitely sign up with exclamation list underscore RT, and that'll get you right on there. You should appear right away and you don't even have to wait. It should just be right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll go a little bit wide here. We'll go on seven. That's actually very, very decent. And we'll sand it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Well. I think we're fine. Bunnies, I think we're going to be just fine. Uh, let's just shoot that guy from here. I guess maybe we can... Uh, sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, yeah, that's not that. Okay, well, there you go. Cool. All right, high five. Excellent. No injuries. <laughs> Dear, I, I think it's I think it's better outfitted now. That's awesome. Good job, bunnies. Oh, oh will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? Nope, nope. Ain't no losses here. Not much salvage. If I look at it correctly, I'm next. Oh, excellent. Yep. I mean, honestly, I don't even have to look at the list. The cool thing is, I mean, you can see the exact list I'm using. Yeah. Well, we got 163,000. Gotta love it. That pilot got murked. That's right, Red Wear Bear. Oh my god. For free. Uh, we'll grab the... I don't know. We'll grab the small lasers. Sure. All right. Excellent. Drop that. All right. Let's go. Uh, free money. I love it. <laughs> we didn't even have to repair. I mean, there might be a little fatigue from deaths from having to push the laser button a little too many times. But I mean, other than that, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> close match. <laughs> Very close. A little too close at times. I think maybe we might need to be a little more generous. Hey, Lumi. Good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, we just finished up a duel. And hopefully, Bunny, you haven't checked out Lumi. She is a fellow bunny. Uh, let me see if I can't. Right here. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. And if you'd like to sign up, all you got to do is do exclamation list underscore rt that'll get you a link you can click on it and it'll send you a google form and just fill in your info there it should pop up right on the list yeah we're running through the xcom list uh what's up we are running oh yes <laughs> xcom list is different there's three tabs on the bottom so if you're curious it looks like this on the bottom there's three tabs that i'm using all the forms feed into the same sheet there's bta there's rogue tech there's xcom so that's how that works yeah Let's see, we got two days out here, so we'll be back and ready. Coupling unit, allow Dr. Murad to borrow. Nope, I'm sorry, Dr. Murad. You're not borrowing tank. So this might take a little bit longer. How are y'all doing? So far, so good. No bunnies have died. I would say as usual, but that's not always the case. And now I think we've ticked over the start, so it should be in progress. Let's go in and take a look at the flare up. 18 to 17, we're down by one. So let's get on in and let's flip, keep this planet because it's nice to have a faction store available to us. One skull on the defense. Let's do it. Shouldn't be too long. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Hopefully your injury is going well. Battle. Let's do it. And we've got our five. That's excellent. That's excellent. A little scary two skull green battle in the lowlands against a planetary government with a potential payout of two million 
Oh no. It's a, well, I guess we don't have to worry about our stuff, right? So that, I mean, that's a plus, kind of. Well, death looks like you're babysitting today. Let's, uh, <laughs> can, can we just, oh boy. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's get Mac. So it's going to be four bunnies in, hopefully four bunnies out. We'll bring our Maxim APC just as usual. And we'll get our, see our mortar unit inside, actually our PPC unit. We'll get superior into that. There we go. One of our battle armor pilots. And then for the Maxim, I believe we had Amul in it. And hopefully we're not going to be in some rough terrain. Yeah. Two skull difficulty green battle in the lowlands seems to be some sort of training day type of scenario. Hopefully it's going to work out for us. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? Five minutes on the clock. So mind you, before you bet, pilot loss has to do with our bunnies, not with our training day aficionados. Yeah. Injury almost healed takes a bit more than usual for me since it's on the inner side. Oh man. I have a serious, serious weakness for the inside of my arm, let's say, or the inside of my neck or anything like that. It's like, I really don't like anything damaged or happening there versus this side, if that makes sense. So I, I can only imagine you. Yeah. Uh, I have BT extended 3025. I'm doing a wipe and replace of battle tech on my desktop. Would you suggest rogue tech or BTA? If you haven't tried any of the other ones, before like BTA or Rogue Tech, I'd probably suggest BTA because it's just a little bit of a cleaner transition, I would imagine. But if you want to play with, if you know there's something in Rogue Tech that you want to play with that just isn't available in BTA, I would just jump straight to Rogue Tech, if that makes sense. Yeah, I got a Scorpion. I'm a happy babysitter camp friend. All right, excellent. Keep in mind, I haven't played either in five years. Oh, oh, well, then maybe BTA, maybe BTA. Yeah, I've had a lot of injuries. Oh. I have been fortunate. Well, I guess it depends on the person, right? It seems like you're okay with that. I, I I'm probably not. <laughs> so you definitely have more experience with it than I do. If you're not used to rogue tech, do BTA. There you go. There you go. So you got a you got a three vote right there, downslide. You got a three vote. Ooh, I love that. Is that what is this? Thumbs? I can't tell if it's a little owl or a little crab. It's cute. I still rather be X. Well, I guess the thing is, it it depends, right? Like for me, it's almost easier to install with a launcher. So if you're you've never installed a mod, downloading a launcher and clicking the button is very very easy. So from a user accessibility standpoint, I would say BTA is actually really really nice. And then for BEX, since it's not updated right now, then maybe there's something that came out in the cab that you want to use or something i imagine it's like a snapshot in time is that right i still rather be uh rogue tech has a lot of mechanics that aren't that easy to understand from the beginning yeah and, and at times at least especially in the beginning you'll find that you're you're not really hitting anything like even now i i don't hit a lot of stuff so as long as you're okay kind of burning through that period and then improving things and then you really get that visceral experience of oh yeah now i'm actually connecting more consistently yes <laughs> that's like step that's obstacle well not obstacle one but like one of the first obstacles to cross before the momentum kicks in yeah i would say stay clear of rogue tech at the moment if you've started playing again for a long time yeah yeah i would agree i'd agree but then again i i just know that when I'm playing, I like certain things that are kind of I'm thinking way down the line, like, oh, man, we'll have access to this down the line. And I'm excited about that. And so in that scenario, it makes sense for me because I'm like, oh, well, I want to get to that point, but I'm nowhere near that point yet. But eventually I want to end up there. Right. So that's something that I'm aware of ahead of time. Whereas in this case, maybe you're getting back in. You just kind of want to wet your whistle, see what things are going on. Yeah. Reaching the permanent 90% accuracy, which you need later on, takes a lot of tech. Yeah. Yep. Early in the game, the bunnies need glasses to see their... Well, earlier in the game, the bunnies need a lot more than glasses. And even then, we don't hit things. <laughs> even then, when there was... You remember there was that one mission? I think it was on the first stream. It was the first or the second. And the enemy... It was a nighttime mission. And there was like a... I think it was a flea 
that was standing adjacent in the middle of five bunnies and we were all trying to kick it and we couldn't <laughs> it was like right there and we all surrounded it it couldn't even move so it wasn't like it had a lot of evasion but yeah so that's that's something all right what do we got oh gosh i'm really excited about this i hope we see some fighting uh, I'm not sure. We didn't do very well at the practice range. It's just because you almost blew up the observation bunker. Uh, right. Anyway, bunnies, I'm seeing a single local government lens here. Like, actual local government mechs? Like, with real guns? I can't wait! I'm gonna lick their butts! It's kick! It's... You know what? Never mind. Have fun, bunnies. I'll be on station. Meet me here when you're ready to leave. Wait, where are we going? I just figured out how to turn on my radio. Jesus. Well, this is fine. This is fine. Ashley Jarman, we actually have allies. That's always a good thing. Nice thing is when that happens, then, you know, we can kind of let them move forward. Maybe do a little scouting for us. The government forces are here. I'd rather start on the high ground. Maybe that'll coax our allies into engaging before we have to. So maybe that's going to be good for us. Yeah, uh, let's go in and scroll on up. Catch here. Yeah. It's an argument that a beginner that is not an argument that a beginner should start with rogue tech i mean it didn't say it was rogue tech doesn't progress as fast you for sure have not been playing battle tech for the last five okay so <laughs> there might have been a misunderstanding if so i apologize i was not saying i apologize then i'll just stop there okay let's see what do we got we got arctic fox Ooh, nice af1e we've got sneaky techie well he's definitely sneaky he's got some kind of stealth there and then we've got rotunda rotunda for some reason reminds me isn't that stealthy too i'm not too sure let's see what do we got going out here yeah the fleas are good yeah they're they're good at dodging everything kind of nutty yeah we got burger time everybody loves a little burger time actually interesting is flapjack's pontoon and it was burger time that was the third one interesting yeah we got trebuchet with pontoon nice so we got some indirect and then we got mac definitely a little indirect i might just climb up a little bit higher here yeah and then we'll hold rotunda inbound and we've got bun ping ping we'll hold here standing boss that's bun mobile all right so we're actually gonna go wide we're still gonna no, let the run. enemy kind of pull into our like our rank or concave we don't quite have a concave yet but ooh, karnov do they actually have battle armor on this i don't know we've got a karnov a vulture gunship wow look at that model Okay, I don't think I've ever... This looks like it's straight out of 40k almost. Like Imperial Guard stuff. What the... Wow, these are cool. I mean... Sorry, I'm kind of geeking out here. Those. Are... <laughs> I've never seen this model before. They did such a good job. Holy crap. Hey. All right, let's see. We got Maxim. Oh, that's right. We got the Maxim. Let's get on the road. Look at that. We can finally move in nine evasive pips. That's awesome, yeah can even shift move into melee oh yeah <laughs> thank you and we've got that skulker moving in future evac zone for our allies arctic fox i mean i love the fact we've got an arctic fox on the field and we've got a toyota hilux out there with a stealth system that's a little interesting maybe it's like a bunch of noisemakers or a bunch of tin foil just being pushed up in the air with like a fan or something look at that look at this stealth system man he's going like my my tonka truck Waiting for all right bun ping ping to hold we're fighting the air force of the planet well actually there there are allies that's so cool i mean they have to fight us that's great i mean I'll, i can just sit here and watch and hope we don't even have to repair any armor we got burger time at least these guys aren't like complete noobs look at that they actually have three gunnery and seven tactics kind of insane all right here we go High explosive six to eighteen. I mean, I'll try sixteen five. Yeah, that that was bound to miss, but that's okay. As soon as we start jamming them up, hopefully they'll change things. All right, come on in. What are we killing today? Hey, Dawid. Well, we're kind of involved in our very first mission for a flare up. Oh, we've got inner sphere standard here. 
We'll just try and ping the rotunda. Stack him. There we go. A little bit softer there now. Yeah, we're we're trying to we're trying to assist in the fight against the planetary government in a flare-up where we're defending it on behalf of the free Russell Hog Republic. Our standard ammo will hold. I still did not change the default order on that Maxim. Oh! Splash one from the Karnov. Yeah, maybe we just let them handle this. Let's, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just let them handle this one. I mean, there's no point in us, you know, taking any chip damage or something. ATMs, hold. And our ally in the Skulker, SRM4. I mean, if if they want to if they want to push that hard, I mean, we're more than happy to cheer them on. You know what I'm saying? We get paid all the same, and it's our salvage for some reason. I'm down with it. Arctic Fox, I might. Four light PPCs? Is that what that is? I mean, he's got six energy hard points. I assume light PPCs. Yeah, gentle as usual. Well, it's not me. I didn't do that. It was definitely our allies. They're good allies, I say. And we got Pontoon. Hold. Oh, he's got SRMs in a trebuchet. That I did not anticipate. I just assumed when I saw the lines that they were LRMs, but boy, was I wrong. Well, that's okay. Now we can see this double LB2X Vulture gunship at work. <laughs> wow. I mean, even though it doesn't have much armor and it doesn't have a lot of DACA, that's still really cool. Ooh, nice. Hey, uh, bunnies, we're tracking an inbound blip. It's coming in fast and low like they're making a drop off. Keep us updated, Meyer. Inner sphere standard. So, I mean, if I guess if we wipe these guys out, then it's going to be a guaranteed focus fire. That's just awesome. So let's kind of walk it out. We got a line 10, 6, 12. I, I guess high explosive, but I feel like we should just hold on this. I, I don't really want to commit ammunition to it until we have a better position because we can EWS ping them. We can get in there and jam them. We can do things to help us. Standing by. So let's get, let's see. I know the Treb just has the SRMs, the Flapjack. Flapjack can do it. Who's on 15? It's going to be the, maybe someone we cannot see. Well, let's, I guess we'll tuck down into the valley. Isn't that the mission type where two sides fight each other if you let them? I... Good question. I don't know. I don't know. I know with Clash of Titans that happens. I don't know if it's another like re set of reinforcements or if it's like more local government forces. I feel like it's more reinforcements, but I mean, that'll be a pleasant surprise if all of a sudden the clanners come in and just start wiping the floor with these guys, right? Ready for orders. All right. We might as well try and ping these guys. We actually have a large pulse laser. Put it to work. And then we got pontoon with the SRMs. Just cross the road and hang tight. And then it's up to basically we got Maxim. Oh my God, we are so fast. We are so, so fast. Come on, Amiel. And let's get that tag up there. And what do we got? Try to connect. Triple, oh, so quad light PPC, double ER medium laser on that Arctic Fox. Quite potent. I mean, that's like the prize right there. I would imagine the LB2X wouldn't be too bad at hitting the Inner Sphere standard because it's not going to have a height disadvantage and then it I hope it has cluster. I mean, it might be able to start whittling away at him. Okay, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> that is pretty nasty. All right, what does he got? 23. 11. All right, well, we'll just zoom up and have our noob try to connect here. I'm very impressed with their tech. And right after this, we're going to have a landing once our last ally goes. Sneaky techie. And here comes the awesome VTOL. The, look at that. Oh my God, that is so cool. It's got lights. Wow. I, mean, I, don't, I don't care if it hits anything. It's just, I like watching it fly. It has lights 
it actually moves to turn that's crazy oh it is it is the clanners okay maybe anakitas maybe you were right okay this is awesome maybe we back off bunnies i've got eyes on a new lens in the ao it looks like smoke jaguar markings uh was that supposed to happen what do we do now and will we kill the new guys too just like in the holo vids Look, it's up to you if you want to engage the new targets, buddies. If not, Samir will make the pickup at the AVAC LZ. I mean, yeah. They've got a Falcon 4 and B. They have a Piranha with Clan Machine Gun Duels, ER Mediums, and an ER Small. It's a lot of Dock out there. That'll just chew through anything. And then we got, oh, another Piranha. Two Piranhas. Is it just three? Nope. Falcon. Aw, Scout? The Falcon and two piranhas wow this is great well let's i don't know maybe the phoenix hawk can kick this guy if we hop over we can hit this guy i mean that all works for me dreams of the loot in that the truth in that the truth feel bad for that arctic fox it's got an opening in the rear there yeah let's let our allies do their thing let's go ain't that the truth egw At, oh look at that all right, look at him, Scout. What a beast. I am here to rant. Doing some XCOM, baby. Missed an 82%, missed four, 60%, and hit a 10. <laughs> hey, at least you hit the impossible, right? Right? That's what we're talking about. Like, like sometimes, sometimes you got to enjoy the fact that you're making the impossible happen. That's what I say. That's awesome, Matt. Yes, Commander. All right, pontoon. We got the line straight in from the front. I guess we can get in on the side. Clan lands, they don't use a five-man star. Well, I mean, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I It depends on the situation. I don't know if... Like, I remember when Bloody Doves was explaining expanded lances in for the Rattler fight. In his video, he was... Or no, in his VOD, he was talking about how... I guess mechanically the lances borrow from the previous lance or something like that. So... That's why on on assassination missions, you'll have like the target plus two. So I don't know how this mission is necessarily created, this mission type. So I'm curious if it has something to do with that. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe, but yeah, typically they would come in five. That might be enough. Oh, seriously? Wow, okay, they're pretty durable, let's hold they are our decoys that's true that's true well now he doesn't have any evasion poor arctic fox he's on 10. we do have another ally after this Oscout scout just came on in usually they've got some electronics inside that are I, I don't know too much about that specific variant so i can't really tell smoke jaguar has a pretty inner oh my god wow that's that was not gentle at all that's all the light ppcs you're just gonna sit there and take that like <laughs> oh. oh my god really wow i'm impressed oh there's there's all the the daca machines up there if you hit him i would imagine they would implode but all right well deaths is not exactly gentle so i feel for this guy yep there you go well death showed them how to do it so maybe death can back off now and then you know they can do their thing we got amuel the chase oh he's got a pretty good chance of it so we might as well send it all stack that that hilux right there there we go we're just chasing them down and then it's going to be our allies supported by us i mean we'll just send high explosive anywhere there's that cool Oh, no way! There's that cool vulture. It's like right on top of Smoke Jaguar where they've got like a billion machine guns. I think they've got 12 machine gun bursts. All right, what, where are we at? Where are we at? 20, Inner Sphere Standard. Swarm failure. So they tried to swarm. I mean, that was their best chance. They tried to swarm a piranha and they failed. And there's two piranhas right next to them with enough machine gun. I think they're dead. Okay, let I think they might not be in a very good position. All right, we got our Bradford high explosive. I mean, it doesn't matter who we're shooting at here. 23. Yeah, we'll shoot at that guy. Give him a little high explosive. Might get lucky. 
Oh, Drant. Wow, we didn't hit, even hit anybody. That's sad. Nope. <laughs> That's actually pretty sad. I'm I'm a little disappointed. Not in Mac, in just that the, it rolled out that way. If they've got short range, maybe we should just snipe them. Oh, yes. I agree. I agree with you, Anikitas. That's the right thing to do. Apparently, the truck didn't even move because it's now initiative phase 15 or 14, and he's on 15. That could have been worse. Hey. And we got Amul. I mean, I don't think they're going to hit us, so I'm just going to mosey. What if we don't even move? We just send this. There we go. So we'll clear that guy. That basically leaves the Inner Sphere standard, the incoming four smoke Jaguar, and obviously our boys. So we'll pull back, use our long range weapon so that we don't have to repair. Because, you know, we need to make sure that we're ready for the planetary government. After all, I mean, we were the ones hired to do this flare up and defend the planet. That's very important. We wouldn't want to, you know, maybe not, not be able to keep our appointment or anything. Ooh, that's not so great. <laughs> Ready for order. Maybe pontoon might move. If we want to get in on a kick, it's going to be a little bit rough. Where are we at here? ATMs. Can we hit these guys? Actually, we can hit these guys. All right. All right. Maybe we'll stay like mid range. How about that? We'll go mid range and help out with our presence. There we go. We do have that electronic warfare suite on board. Karnov. It would be great if we could hit because we're here. Oh, no joy, no joy. All right, pontoon. Suck it back. It's 15. Pull back. And go. Wow. All right. Go, little guys. As we're talking about melee at 56. I mean, is that worth it? I don't know. But we'll come around. Obviously, we may lose the assassin because you got this piranha with a bunch of daka and a little tiny assassin that's within walking distance. But this guy's super hot, so I don't know what that's going to happen. All right, little, little falcon. I don't even know what's on that guy. Ah, probably like PPC double medium. Everyone's got PPCs here. All right, walk it in. Walk it in. Shot. Not bad. Go little guy. There we go. And then they've got allies to exploit those crits. That's excellent. And then on 10, that's the Vedette. With the AC2, SRM. Uh, yeah, I think he should be able to connect that if he targets this piranha. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Well, it was it was a worthy try. I understood what they were going for there. That's not... It, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Inner Sphere Standard. Are they trying to... Oh, they failed to swarm again. They must feel pretty bad right now. On the Falcon that time. And then on 16, oh, he's pulling out of the EWS range. And he's pulling away. And he whiffs it. Trying to hit a flying Karnov. Good to go. Well, we got our we got our Bradford. 38. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, we might be able to just get a little bit of high explosive and gently sort of ping that guy, you know? Let's do it. We won't directly hit him or anything. Oh, unfortunately, high explosive wasn't close enough. Now it's on the alternate Hirana. He might double back, but that would be a death sentence. Oh, he is going back. Holy crap. Yep. He's not going to have much evasion, though. That's going to cost him. And he didn't even target the assassin. Wow. That is going to cost him. And he's still hot, too. Okay. Well, good for us. Bad for him. We've got a shot from here. Five. We've got to get closer. We are using our S. Our rams. Gosh, I guess we'll just bring it on down and just shoot in the general vicinity. There we go. <laughs> we hit with one. I'll take it. Burger time. Walk her in. 
shot. And then they got the Falcon and the Oscout. Yeah, this seems very well controlled. Hey, Isaac, you're not super late at all. I mean, I don't even know if I call it late, yeah? High five, man. Welcome. All right, there we go. We got a piranha out of here. I mean, obviously, if the piranha's out, chances are very little survive. How is it on the right? 17. Armor breach. Internal damage. Flapjack. Well, we got the other piranha. Give him a nice swift kick here. Hopefully, we'll be able to land it. Wow! And guns! 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 Not bad, Flapjack. He did say he wanted to get into a fight. Look at him now. Man, I think Death's really trained him well. It was like he wasn't very, you know, his, his pals weren't very confident, but they're doing fantastically. Not bending under pressure, getting in, smacking people with their legs. That's what we're talking about. I mean, doesn't, he probably doesn't even have any shin guards either. Oh, yes. And then, of course, we got Death. Death doesn't want to be left out. Death never wants to be left out. Look at this. Look at this. This guy likes to lead from the front. That's kind of just the guy he is. Hello, Piranha. Yep, that sucks. <laughs> That sucks. I get out of there, buddy. Reporting. Major armor loss. Yeah, it wasn't our major armor loss. That's all I got to say. We got Amul. We've got the... Ooh, I don't want to be too close to those little guys down there. Uh, but we've got... Yep. Wow. Okay, he's got literally single structure on the back. Very, very nice salvo with a Maxim. It's putting in a little bit of work. And now that we've got them in our range of the EWS. Oh my god! <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna help our allies do some work, yeah? Bun ping ping hold. They're swarming the Aw Scout, and they actually finally managed to do it, which means it's gonna be a twofer. We take out that Aw Scout, we're gonna be taking out the Interfere Standard or damaging them both. 35. We'll actually go... Yeah, we'll come to the side. Try to connect here. Very impressed with these newbies. And we started at 17, 18. I would imagine this is a significant... A significant dip in the control of the planetary government. Pontoon. Always connecting with like one ding. And we got Amiel coming around. There we go. And Sin. <laughs> Maybe, things are looking up. Maybe they are. You. And you got that. Send it. That's going to suck. There isn't much to swarm any longer, which I dig. Now we've got, we still have enough high explosive to send their way. Oh, not bad. So that was the Oscout. Curious if the Inner Sphere standard's just been dropped. How's it doing? It's, it's lost one. It's lost one. Let's get Flapjack to be the first to have the pleasure of being swarmed by that guy. That way they don't damage us. I mean that he can learn firsthand. That's the key to learning. <laughs> Actually, our allies are kind of having a flawless time of it, too. So where are we at? There we go. Double. Oh, that was the LB-2X gunship. All right. So are they swarming? Oh, they swarmed the Falcon. Good for them. I thought they would kind of become a traitor and attack us. Wow. I'm very proud of them. I think that was a very nice thing of them to do. We'll come in with a standard hit. Not even high explosive. Ooh, did we? I think we might have missed. No, we hit him. Wow, we hit that. That's impressive. Good job. I'm here. I mean, there's, there's not much for us to do. We just sort of walk around and not even really run. Just take our time dismantling all of Smoke Jaguar bit by bit and hope that we can kind of help out with the Inner Sphere standard. There's not much him left. We got the Treb tucking up. Hold. 
and this is the last of the enemies. They're not looking so hot right now. Wow. Okay. There's two left. Was I squinting to see that target? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you were, but you know what? You did a good job of it. I commend you. Send it. A little bit of a ding there. This is always the hardest part. Just grinding out the last guy. What if we just get a shot from here? Full send. It's got six structure on one of them. They've got one battle armor light rifle left. And then we got burger time who's going to try and kick him. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it'll be hilarious if he lands it. Good for him. Good experience too, right? It's all a learning experience. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And then he's got six structure. That's it. Guns. Oh. Well, let's see him try to swarm someone with no weapons. It was my understanding that the waiting is the hardest part. Well, yeah. I mean, in this case, waiting for us to actually hit the guy, right? That's that's always rough. Well, he's, he's he is successfully swarming with just his paws, which means our assassin has the chance to erratic maneuver for the first time. Glad that he's getting the opportunity. It's an educational experience. We do have to hold though. The gunship doesn't want to shoot his allies. Good for him. And then we got flapjack, erratic maneuver. We're going to sprint and we'll run the heck away. And I think they're still there. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> They always got to be dicks, don't they? Well, you know what? We're just going to... That's cool. Uh, we'll just hang tight and just kind of watch from afar, you know? Burger time. He gads these guys. All right, hop around. Hang tight. Cool off a little bit. This is the worst. <laughs> it's the worst. Can we at least ping out? and make that guy feel bad about only having six structure and deciding that he wants to draw out the world championships or something. I mean, he's he's like he's like the guy who is last in tag and decides to go across the border while playing tag with his friends. All right, come on, hold. All right, let's see what he does. Bolter Geist. All right, come on, Flapjacks. I believe in you. I know you can do it, Flapjacks. Maybe you swat at him and stop, drop, and roll. We'll try Erratic Maneuver one more time. We're going to celebrate. And he's still there. Wow, this guy. There he is in Mexico. When we said we'd at least stay in Northern California, I don't know what he's doing there. Mom's wondering where we are for dinner. And next thing you know, we've been gone for 10 days. Traveling on Greyhounds, just trying to find the last guy in, in hide and seek. I think there's at least some kind of unwritten rule about this somewhere, but you know, not everybody can read, I guess. <laughs> can read the unwritten <laughs> okay maybe that was a little bit maybe that was a little bit callous all right let's let's keep some distance we don't want we don't want parasites like this this sounds like the script meeting for the hangover well i mean that guy that guy thought that he was gonna wrestle with a tiger and instead he met the bunny league i mean it's about the same but different you know what i mean 14 really really okay so we're, we're gonna take care of business here we know flapjacks on 13 so what we're gonna do is do the most humane thing possible for all the bunnies here not flapjack all right we're gonna stop drop and roll are you ready <laughs> we're all gonna stop drop and roll and hopefully he won't lose his arm all right here we go ready roll when you say roll it just looks more like he you know breaks his arm <laughs> Wait, where's the guy? Is he still on there? No, no. 
he did it good job buddy look at him he's right there all right that means Dets can now come in and teach him a lesson because that's what Dets is here to do doesn't matter if he misses that sounded like yogi berra's a verbal contract isn't worth the paper it's written on oh yes yes chappy you make me sound a lot a lot wiser than i am <laughs> that's awesome i mean i will i will take it i will take it we got pontoon maybe pontoon can do it he's got the green we need to teach him the pleasures of the green there you go yeah that ain't happening five percent yeah it looks effective right right all right what about mac mac just has a thunderbolt 15 and a 14 percent chance oh yeah that went wide all right well we got amiel everyone's trying to hit these little guys all right he's he's got a lot we're even taking the 0.9 percent chance well we tagged him that's a plus oh my god and then we've got burger time come on burger if anyone's gonna do it it's you i believe i believe in you mostly here swift kick straight to the nuts this guy's got six structure oh my god he's flying he's literally flying what is this oh all right burger time i swear to fr all right this is fine he just hurt himself yeah that's careful all right excellent that worked will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss no unfortunately no There, there, at some point, you should be able to hit the big red button that says just delete the battle armor at the end of the fight. Because because they know they're going to lose. They know they're going to lose. They don't even have a weapon. I mean, I doubt they're just going to swarm. Well, I guess they could swarm everyone and pick away at their armor one point at a time. And then at that point, everyone would just rather eject than stay on the field. That's one way to win a war, right? 23 days out for flapjacks, but nobody really cares for that. That's okay. And now we get to kind of take a look at what's available. So we know the piranhas are out there. Uh, I don't know how much is left on these guys, though. They've got their engine XL gone. Most of the guns gone. We've got the other piranha. This has some clan machine guns left. Pretty much. Oh, it actually has the clan engine XL and the heat sink and it's still kind of intact that's impressive we've got this falcon it's got the double royal heat sink kit okay that sounds cool snub nose ppc oh that was a snub nose wow i mean the the royal double i should just dismantle these what am i thinking hang on ecm we've got five pick i should dismantle these stealth arm okay i'm gonna disassemble i, I don't we don't need those platforms all right what do we got now it might stack ER medium, we've got clan ER small, clan ER medium, double light PPC, six clan machine gun duels, snub nose, standard ECM for one ton, clan into steel times two, clan engine XL, clan sensors, stealth armor. Well, I'm going to grab, we still have two pick, right? So we can grab the clan er medium we can grab the six clan machine guns and then we'll go three two one or what do we got so we've got half of an arctic fox half of a falcon we've got the inner spheres to oh wait i didn't even see if they had the royal double heat sink kit gosh darn it uh the aw scout part we got a piranha part we've got a full rotunda three quarters of a sneaky techie <laughs> clan er medium clan er small two medium lasers to clear Clan cockpit, basic cockpit to clear, engine core 140, engine core 180 to clear, internal combustion to clear, fire control system standard, jump jets, heat sinks, not and stealth armor. Wow, that was quite lucrative. Holy crap. That's crazy. I, I feel a little bad. I totally blanked out and I didn't check for the royal double heat sink kit. I didn't see if it was there. I saw that it was damaged a little bit, but it could be repaired. I mean that's it's the one that got away <laughs> flamers may be good for battle armor it's a good mech for early game too oh no i i don't doubt it we just have a lot of mechs right now and we only have the two bays like we only have the two slots there or the two rows 
I think the big thing is we were, we were saving up for 2.5 million and then I kind of spent it all trying to get our mechs back online. I am keeping an eye out for a Lam XL engine that'll let us get, and I'm going to mispronounce this again, but the Polka, the Polka Lamb. That's right. I half expect to have a blaring speaker that blares out Polka while we dance to it and fly around. But I think we have like zero repairs on that. That's amazing. Take a look at that. That's awesome. And what we could do though, we do have this guy, but I mean, at this point, I almost feel like the GDS, not necessarily worth it to get him back online. He's got, do we have any other things to replace this with? Battle armor, light mortar, battle armor. Oh, the tsunami. That's, that's quite a lot. Wow. Well, uh, that'd be interesting. I mean, I guess we could. Huh? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but that's worth checking out. At least it, it's armed now and kind of functional, right? Kind of functional is sort of the basis of the Bunny League. There we go. We'll go 123,000. Sure, that's sort of worth it. Never used the Tsunami uh, Gauss Rifle. The Tunnel Rat, I'm not so sure how I feel about this. I don't know if I would use this. The Laser Cutter seems nice, but we don't have any other thing to replace it with and definitely not going to be able to pull off uh i mean look at that that's yeah i think i'm just going to clear the tunnel rat <laughs> i think i'm going to clear the tunnel rat it's it seems like it would be good but i just don't have the patience to try and get that back up again so we'll just kind of clear out and then get back and ready for the next fight right so we've got sales oh you know what did i put it back in storage or did I scrap it? I think I scrapped it, right? Yeah, I think I scrapped it. Let's take a look at the Rossel Hog faction store because it ticked over. We've got Hawk Moth, a full Hawk Moth. We've got the Maxim APC J27, the Rogue Bear. I think that's hilarious. Battle Armor Plasma Rifle. Okay, that's exciting. I will definitely get that. That's crazy. We've got, oh, oh my God. Yeah, let's grab that. Wow. Let's grab that. Holy crap. Wow, that's exciting. That's huge. <laughs> that's huge. I, I don't know who has a big recoil weapon, though, because we're pretty much using energy, 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 flamer, uh, PPC. Well, I guess PPCs, but I don't know if it's necessary to stick it on the, the kit box. But I, I guess the bun pop at one point had a PPC on it, but we'll hang on to that because that's endgame stuff that's that's great that's great let's take a look at the barracks though totally forgot we've got two days right so we'll just clear off the fatigue hold and then we'll stop on over by the barracks and apply any points and then we can also take a look What's at up, the boy? score right now we started at 17 to 18 so it'll be really oh, interesting wow. to see where we're at at the moment we'll get that gunnery up for amul they're making leaps and bounds oh, deaths had a lot of experience yep. not too shabby all right so we can get our tactics up for tank and superior daisy gets to advance as well and you know what let's go ahead and get that up there as well beautiful and uh, where was it at stop by the mech bay I'm, I'm drawing a blank there was something i was gonna do we have our contract i just said it <laughs> my god this is my life right now rotunda cargo truck I guess we'll clear the techie. We'll clear the cargo truck. At the very least, we'll make a little bit of money. Got our wasp to clear. That's not the wasp lamb. Uh, Cobalt, the inner sphere standard to clear. We've got the GDST. We've got the rotunda. We've got a piranha part. We've got our mongoose hawk moth part. Wasp lamb, Osiris, falcon, arctic fox, stiletto. That all seems fine. Oh, scout. Oh, hello. Curious if these are compatible. Very interesting. Bunnies, some of the bunnies really, really like the Oscout. So that's kind of cool. Well, I guess we'll just advance it. I don't remember what I was doing. So <laughs> one day out, we'll go in and see what we got. Capture base mission. Sure. Oh, I was going to take a look at the score. That's what it was. I don't know what the score is. We've got 523 capture base. I think 418 should be sufficient. We're fighting against a planetary government on a half skull. So I think that should be fine. That way we get a little bit of money to cover the drop. And then we'll tuck on in. 
So right now we've got deaths. Let's go ahead and move that up a little bit farther. We'll keep the same crew. They did a fantastic job. The Uziel now has, or the Bunziel now has access to LRMs that probably are not going to jam. That'll be fantastic if that's the case. We've got the Flamers. I think I'll stay away from that on this one just because, you know, we're tackling a base. We've got more LRM firepower. It's Artemis 4, though, so hopefully that'll be helpful. And then we've got the big punch with the Bunfleximus. <laughs> that's a hilarious name. So we'll get HB into the Bunziel. We'll get akin to into the I guess the bun fleximus is faster so we'll get him in there and then we'll get tank care into the bun pump that seems fair all right here we go half skull difficulty capture base in an urban environment that seems like a very 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 different swath of difficulty between that and two skull yeah hell scott thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the bunny league it's very good to have you with us and for those that are just joining us, we are currently involved in a flare-up, a one skull green difficulty flare-up against the planetary government. We are defending the planet on behalf of the FRR. And we are on Chateau at the moment in FRR space. Apparently the very last fight that we got into was a two skull green, and now we're on a half skull green. So I, <laughs> I don't know how that sways, but my guess is it's because we had allies and we also had sort of a training day scenario. So that might make a little more sense. Ideally, we'd wipe through the planetary government, defend the planet, maintain our alliance with the FRR, and be able to bump it on up. I'd like to move to one and a half skull green. Currently, we're on a one skull green, so it's like a half step. I think, actually, we might even be able to manage a two. So if we are trying to earn enough money to get ourselves a little bit higher, there are actually two skull greens on this system so maybe maybe we can just take a look at the command center and see what we got before heading out because you never know you might find something super lucrative and after all we just fought against smoke jaguar as well as the planetary government as well so we have a lot of opportunities ahead of us right now we're bringing in our scorpion our brand new scorpion it's been outfitted with some new things of like an electronic warfare suite we've got our coyote which has a large improved clan heavy laser that hits for like 80 damage it's insane what do we got darius bunnies i'm not picking up any active hostiles anywhere this place looks deserted let's move up and recon the facility once we know what we're dealing with we can move in and occupy the depot so if there's no one here I highly doubt that. Interesting, we can drop like right on top of it. I don't think that's smart, but interesting, interesting. I guess that really does speak to no one being there because otherwise they probably wouldn't let us do that. Let's just stay right here and we'll cross on up. Yeah. Hey, Aeon, welcome. Is this vanilla or modded? This is just plain old Rogue Tech. I mean, obviously, so modded, yes. And Rogue Tech has the ability to kind of choose during the installation process, what modules are installed. So it's like a choose your own smorgasbord of rogue tech, if that makes sense, you yeah? know? And hopefully you're having a lovely, lovely Thursday. We're pushing on in on a base Moving movement here. And apparently there's no one here, which seems odd. I highly doubt that. We'll go in and get our tag up and we'll tuck over to the front with our large improved heavy laser. We got our IFV. And we got the Maxim here. Very, very nice on paved roads. And I think... Do I want to start with... I think I'm going to start with the Bunfleximus. Oh my god. There are dropship inbound. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I thought they were mines. They're not mines. There's going to be reinforcements like right here. So that's good to know. I guess let's get into a striking position. We'll get dense. That's I guess that's safe enough. Position confirmed. And then we'll get the bun zeal. We'll come around the opposite. We'll get the bun pop. A little closer. We got our IFV. I mean, it'd be nice to have the IFV in a spot where it can at least attack with superior on it. And then we'll get the Maxim to cross through. And here we go. What the heck? There is no garrison. Wait. Bunnies were getting something. Bunnies, it looks like the garrison was on patrol and they're on their way back. Get ready for multiple contacts. All right. So, well, we have an idea where they're coming from. We'll hold here. 
plain old vanilla rogue tech yes vanilla rogue tech that sounds like a delicious flavor yeah all right well i guess we'll run back so we can run back in if that makes sense yeah got our bunzeal we'll get our bolt on ams up and ready it's around the corner in direct and we got the bun pop just around the corner and hold we'll get the bun fleximus <laughs> whoever thought of that name i don't remember but it's brilliant and then we'll get our maxim to grab the spot there we go better than gelato Ooh. well gelato is pretty hard to beat i guess it depends on the gelato right well let's pull back We'll group up right here because then we'll be in a spot where we can sprint on in and still continue continue to attack with impunity location confirmed there we go and the maxim speeding on through Moving to rightly so that's right that's right there is a serious qualifier there oh hello thought that was the drop location but it's not maybe there's an additional local government forces are here from the planetary government not too sure who we're facing off against right now oh boy they've got battle armor okay that's cool <laughs> see you in two years that's uh, <laughs> i'm kidding all right we'll we'll get in and we'll work this they got a little wasp and a battle armor okay well that's that's a thing let's let's charge forth and deal Let's go. we won't shoot until we see the white eyes that they've got i'm sure let's let's just tuck over we'll stay indirect we've got high explosive not gonna fall for that we'll hold hey. we got amul yeah this is why i feel like we need higher difficulty missions just so that we can it's not that we're not gonna fight battle armor but we will at least see mechs right which is always great the light in hb's eyes dims a little as he notices battle armor yeah <laughs> I actually like battle armor. I don't like fighting against them, but I guess it's a two-way street, right? So, and it's not that they're, yeah, I'm just not very good yet. <laughs> We're not super accurate and we don't have the appropriate tools. I've been trying to keep an eye out for fast cam for what feels like forever, but haven't found any yet. One day we'll find it and hopefully it'll help our situation just a little bit. Yeah, they're pretty awful. And, and it's not even like a it's more of a like breaking the rules while playing tag sort of scenario not so much a, oh my god we're so dead more of like why did you go to mexico when i said to stay in the state of california during our game of hide and go seek you, you know the one we just covered a moment ago it's more of that right on my way well that's cool well <laughs> Order. all right hang tight bun ping ping i guess we just need to get more accurate like a lot more accurate and need? and have more tools available to us so that we can feel the strength of the bunny league flexed in all kinds of scenario oh it's two sets of bad armor that's, that's cool well we've got lk hopefully we'll be able to hit something yeah Damn it, I now i kind of wish that i did bring tank hair with the seven flamers hang tight hold so they can move i mean the best thing to do is to kick these guys all right we got tank on the push but we don't want to be in the red there we go we're gonna need bun optimus prime and bun megatron oh yes let's go I mean, if we can transform, we already have most of a transformer right now with our lamb out there, the polka lamb. So it'd be great if we can kind of add on to that just a little. All right, this will hopefully hurt sufficiently. Like so. All right, he, he, he's still standing. He's still standing. Hold with a ping ping. Little tiny tunnel rat. So we learned a little thing yeah. about the tunnel rat. Not that they're just little, but mostly that they actually have these little cutters and their laser cutters can kind of deal internal damage, which is a little unfortunate, but at least we know about it. 
Bonopticon Prime, we probably don't have enough letters for this. Well, we can call it BOP for short. That works, right, Left. A little bit of BOP. Say hello, bop a -roonies. Bop a ram. Bop, 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 bop a ram. Actually, 26. All right, I'll take that. Hopefully, we'll hit him. Oh, yep, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, that's right. Well, uh, this guy is feeling a little bit underpowered right now. We're hoping to give him uh, the juice. Oh, that's pretty good. There you go. Have a little mag shot. Add it to a little bit of a roasted wasp. And we got Amiel. Amiel's not even going to move. Just going to say his final prayers. Oh, wow. He's just standing in there, ain't he? He refuses to give up. He's stubborn. You've been bopped. You've been bopped. Like by a smooth criminal. <laughs> Bopperoni, yeah, we're trying to make pizzas out of them now. Forget battle armor pizza. We're here for bopperoni pizza. Bop, 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 bopperoni pizza. All right, we've got our. Oh my gosh, that's not looking too hot. What about that one? We'll take it. Oh, we hit one for four damage. Now the good times are rolling. That's what we're talking about. We've got a large pulse. We might as well hit them with a 1% chance. That's fine. We'll just hang tight until they're a little bit closer and then we can step on them. I mean, actually, I don't want to step on them. We'll just hang tight here. Yeah. Let the good times roll. That's right. That's right. And the good times are mainly battle armor heads at this point, which kind of come out this way. And we're just trying to bombard the best of things. I have half a mind to just like... We need, uh, we need artillery or something. Artillery, fast cam, or just anything. Oh, we hit ourselves, apparently. Well, let's, let's make a firing line and just shoot in the general vicinity and hope we'll hit something. There we go. Hit him with a mag shot. Love it. Uh, I do want to get Amiel away from those shenanigans. So we'll kind of get on up to the ramp here. And we'll do our best to hit something. There we go. I saw us hit something there. That's great. And we got tank in the bun pop. Excellent. There we go. All right. Look at those percentages. My God, it's over 25%. That is like the best we've seen all night. That is fantastic. And we got HP in the bun deal. There we go. Actually, you know what? We're going to be a little more careful than that. We're going to hop over this way. Get a leave in a little bit of... I don't know if we can call this high ground, but I mean, at this point, I'll call anything high ground. Stack that. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. We're whittling away at their incredible volumes of armor. And right now, they're still in the white. One day, our prince will come, and we're going to see a little bit of orange as well, right? So we're hoping... Maybe if we get close enough, who's dastardly enough to try an EWS ping battle armor, right? Let's see if we can't do it. So we'll just kind of get that going there. There we go. Now we've got incredible sensor lock. Now we should have at least a 2% improvement in our chances to hit, right? Bunziel, look at that. Oh my God, incroyable. We're over 30%. There we go. We see our first dip of red on the very first set of five. We'll hold here. It's over 9,000. Well, I hope that's our power level. That would be great. All right, Bun Fleximus, flexing it all day long. Give him that mag shot. There we go. A little more orange here. Can they climb buildings? I sure hope not. <laughs> I sure hope not. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How about you have... Ooh, I want to send standard. I'm not even going to send the good stuff. That's cool. I will take that. And just like a submarine or some type of submersible, it decides that all those battle armor suits can completely contain all of the overflow damage so we'll just kind of work it it's a fascinating theory and we'll stack that there we go a little more orange all right we're getting there soon we'll get to work on the second set of <laughs> you can climb in the building and shoot oh we can oh my god i didn't know that wow that's awesome holy crap when you mentioned climbing buildings, I suddenly visualized King Kong. Well, I, I was thinking about the bunnies talking about the big mechanical spider, right? That does it. All right, Maxim. Let's go and show him we don't even need a magazine. We're just going to shoot him. Stack it. Oh, there we go. Almost. We destroyed something. I think probably... For orders. What could help here is if they were allowed to eject, but I guess that's against lore, right? <laughs> Ready to rock. 
All right, bun pop. We'll just get the shot. There we go. I got you. All right, we hit someone who was already orange and he contained the damage to himself. Like He's a selfless guy. Commander? Gotta respect that. And we got the bun fleximus. Here we go. There it is. Yep. A little bit more orange there. We like to see the orange on the enemy. IFV, and we're just going to kite, kite, kite. That's the name of the game. All right, there we go. Hit by a Thunderbolt 15 with high explosive. That's the first time we've dealt with two of them at once. Incredible. And we're going to walk it on over. And stack -a -roonies. There it is. All right, we destroyed one whole battle armor unit. That is fantastic. Looks like they've only got one more set of battle armor left. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, there we go. Poor tunnel rats. Shot out. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting a little more aggressive. Gotta love it. A little bit of AOE. Or not AOE. Missiles. <laughs> These are the guys that have 15 armor each at max. So they're really standing up the test of time. Yep, there we go. We, we finally got rid of one. They're left with three. They are durable. Bunzeal. There we go. Oh, yep, they move like one hex. They've got a lot of evasion, I'm sure. All right, there we go. Oh, is that it? Okay, drop ship inbound. Okay. <laughs> so if we finally trigger the drop behind us, fair enough. Oh, is that it? The depot is ours or is that it? Oh my God. Well, that's cool. I mean, at least, at least at least we didn't take too much damage, right, bunnies? Right? And, and I'm sure that we probably got a lot of score on that one. So that flare-up is pretty much going to work itself out, no problem. Hopefully, we so we started at 1718. We've been through two missions so far. If Let's see where we're at. Hopefully it went down, right? Hopefully it went down. And this time I'll remember. We're going to go straight in the navigation screen. Not even going to hold. Not even going to wait. We just need to make sure. 106,000. Awesome love it no injuries a little bit of breaches here uh doesn't matter what we grab we'll grab those there and go awesome great thank you so much we'll clear that yeah, basic stuff there we go and a star clan elementals that would be interesting that would be interesting because then maybe we could get the clan elementals after all we are holding on to a kobold 2c and that was something else they were flying like supermen and we couldn't hit him. And it was all of us versus one suit. <laughs> so that that could be something. I'm I'm thinking maybe next time we're gonna bring the fire starter. Actually, guaranteed, next time I bring the fire starter. Doesn't matter what the mission is, everyone needs a little fire starter in their life. Now I kind of wish that I kept the J. Edgar Flamer. That was the one that Tank Hair was driving that he said well, I was trying to get him killed, but man. He did some work. He put in so much work on those little guys. So ideally, we'll be able to just light everything on fire, stand back, and let them take care of themselves. Yeah, it would be painful, but funny to see a star. Of, oh my gosh. <laughs> it would be It would be funny. You are correct. It would be very funny. Yeah. Let's go in and get repaired. And let's look at the navigation screen. Hopefully, we dropped into like single digits. Nope, we're 11 to 13. Somehow, they're still higher than us that's okay at least we're both dropping to the ground uh let's push it on forward we'll get repaired casual always excellent right now our morale is discouraged we got to change that we got 1.4 million we've got 14 days i kind of feel like what do we have going on in the engineering bay right so repair and refit that helps obviously habitat pods will open up more opportunities we've got if we want to do this one structural reinforcement how much is that Oh, we also... Oh, wow, that's expensive. Ah, uh, we'll make it out. We'll make it out. I have faith. We'll do one tech point, one morale. We're back in the red. That's okay. There's stuff to clear. But we'll easily make that. So let's just push forward. And we've got ambush convoy. Okay, that sounds a little better. It's half a skull. Really? <laughs> How is it half a skull? 
Okay, okay. Well, we'll go with... Sure, we'll... Sure, we'll go 523. Hopefully, the it's a damaged crab, apparently, yeah? Hey, Cyber, good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well on this lovely Thursday, yeah? Well, let's see. We definitely want to change things up here. The Bun Pop was okay. The Bun Fleximus was okay. I think I'm going to pull back on the Bun Fleximus, and we're actually going to grab ourselves that incredible Bun Fire right here. That sounds awesome. And then maybe something that has a lot of pulses on it. <laughs> something with a lot of pulses on it. Maybe we maybe we don't bring the Bun Deal anymore. Actually, you know what? We'll bring the Bun Deal, but we'll, I like that whole Mongoose thing. That was great. I think that was a brilliant idea. We'll go like that. Half Skull, Ambush Convoy, Urban Environment. Not even going to throw up a bet on this one. It's going to be over too quickly, right, Bunnies? Too over, over too quickly. Yeah. It would be funny if it was a Damage King Crab. That actually... I would be laughing up a storm. That would be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. I would laugh up a storm and then hope that we get it all. Because we've got a Flamer right now. And we've got someone crazy enough to drive it. I guess. So here's the thing. It's got seven Flamers. One of which is a Clan Flamer. It can dump out some heat. We even chased down Tiny Lights. Gave it 32 heat. It's not a huge amount, yeah? But it's a lot better. A lot better than what we had. Doing fair got my refund today. Woke up to Kitty being bad, knocking things down. Oh! <laughs> I have to say, though, out of all the bunnies that I know, I, I love how much you love your cats. I love how much you seem, you seem to love your cats because you have the birthday parties for them you have all it's just so even when they're bad i have a feeling it's like um one of those things where you it's hard to be mad at them you know what <laughs> but i'm glad you got your refund that's awesome an ac20 and lrm15 on the thing and everything else is broken okay that's okay i think that'd be fine we might be able to cook it up and maybe make the ammunition bins pop off that would be really, really excellent, I think, yeah? All right, Ambush Convoy, Half Skull Green, Planetary Government. We're currently at an 11-13. That's a two-point split. We're down by two, but we can turn that around, right? We're just going to get right in. We're not even going to waste any time. We actually have allies. That's very interesting. Where is the convoy? We have to intercept over here, and we have to stop them from getting here. So ideally, we'd be right in the middle. Let's do it. There we go. Cats are precious. Good on you. Heck yes. Right? Right? I think we most of us feel that way. Cats are on a mission to push everything off high places. Well, after all, high places says something about hierarchy. And maybe the cat was just like, I want to show, I want to feel good. And I'm on the top. Nothing else is higher than me, right? Okay, those are our allies. That's excellent. Right now, we can see that we've got a copperhead. We've got the full convoy right here. We've got a J. Edgar. So a lot of vehicles, a lot, a lot of vehicles. Hopefully we'll be able to clean that up. Kind of bring ourselves over in a cover full sprint. They make room to sleep on those high. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's actually adorable. Because last night I was, you know, I was laying down for bed and then I opened my eye and Jemmy. Oh, wait, they're right here. Oh. What's that guy? I can't kick him because it's the first turn, but interesting. I'm actually going active then, and we'll just flip it. I didn't even realize that our enemy was right there. I open my eye, and somehow cats know if you make eye contact. So I, like, open my eye, and I looked at Jemmy, and somehow she knew, and then she woke up, and they'll lock in kind of like an owl, if you've ever seen slow motion of an owl where they're able to keep their head completely still while their body's moving in the air. It's like it's got like a gyroscope in it. And she woke up, opened her eyes, locked her eyes on mine, and just walked straight at me and then sat on my chin, then side plopped, and then lay across my neck. <laughs> she was definitely on the highest spot. And she, I was definitely lower than she was. Said something about the hierarchy, but my oh my, I was so comfortable. Commander. It was like having a weighted blanket on my chin. It was so great. She was adorable. I don't know how it works, but they make it happen. All right, what do we got? We've got inbound. Yeah, there's the convoy. There's basically the J. Edgar. We've got this guy right in front of us in this tank. We can't... Oh, we can kick it. 0.2% though. Maybe we'll hold here and see if he moves. Hopefully he'll move. And then we'll be able to kick him right after. Maybe he'll zoom away. It's in a bad spot. 
and nothing. All right. Well, we got Amiel. I guess we'll pull back, stick together. Yeah. Asserting oh, dominance. Guys. Oh yes, yeah, so much, so so much dominance was dominance was asserted, and I'm totally okay with that. Oh, interesting. Are they? The place we're trying to stop them from is behind us, right? Okay, thank God. For some reason, I thought they were heading away from us, but they have to go around because that's not a through way. Ready we do have dead. It's, you can get in on a kick. It's 0.2%, so I guess we'll just walk it in. Heading out. And we are going to hold. She only knocks things down in an attempt to get me. <laughs> it works, though. You know, Jade does the same thing. All of a sudden, you'll see her that she was completely asleep but the moment i get up if i'm not headed straight over to get her food and it's something that she'll go and start gnawing on everything like everything doorknobs doesn't matter everything uh let's we got the shot Ooh, excellent snack and hold i'd love to get over to 13 he's on 14 so hopefully he's gonna stick around Oh my God. Wow. They're going to work. Orders? And we got the bun fire. This is excellent. We don't want him around. We've got the flames. We've got the fire in our hearts. And we're going to give and share that fire with our op four. All right. There we go. Now we're talking. Glad we brought the fire starter. Cats are also proof the world isn't flat because cats would have knocked out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is amazing. All right, we're walking up here. Hey, guy again. Good to see you. We're just talking about a little bit of catting. Shot out. Probably should have come in with a standard there. This is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. We're the ones with the battle armor and they don't have it. We were talking about that a moment ago. We're on the active here. We'll go in and try and tag up if we are so lucky gonna be kind of difficult oh we do all right so that's gonna help us all out there beautiful this guy's got srm4 he used to have a medium laser on there i'm hoping that there are cargo compartments here though i prefer pets in general they're more honest and loyal i mean definitely there's a lot of complexity in life, and I have to say that pets provide a perspective that is usually more straightforward, and that I am greatly indebted to them for. Yeah. All right, we got dead. It's here we go. Not quite in range to get that kick, but we can definitely. If we don't have a shot here, we might as well just EWS ping. To help everybody out yeah that would be catastrophic that's right XCOM soldier pool got wiped and now we're back to battle bots oh no 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 what do you need the XCOM soldiers are all doing well not all Mo uh some most there are XCOM soldiers that are doing well shots they're doing well that's right no worries but we are working on our pool of mechs out here trying to make it even better yeah Interesting about the copperhead. Ooh, ooh. I wonder, can a K, can a J27 resupply a J27? You know how they've got a limited amount of ammo spammy? Is that like some kind of black hole in the Battletech universe? You know what I mean? That would be really interesting to try. The infirmary is yet again the safest place in the game to be. Well, until maybe the aliens find our haven and decide to attack. I'd, I'm pretty sure they can do that. I don't know if that's the case, but I would be surprised if they can't. Damage is minor, Commander. That always tripped me out in the OG XCOM, like by Microprose, where you would fight inside of your own base and you could recognize it's like, oh, I'm going through this part now. I'm going through that part now. That was such a cool touch. Oh, there we go. Bolton AMS. They can supply each other with ammo, but they have to be used by the player. You actually need at least two. Well, the only reason... Thank you for letting me... The only reason why I ask is because... Look at this. We've got another one here. <laughs> and we've got 
a lot of salvage so i'm thinking we might be in a position to get another one not that it helps us in any way to do that but i was just curious not that i i want another one or anything if they decide they're not gonna have any compartments yeah Waiting for order. all right bonfire 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 there we go little little heat here Oh, burn. That's why you totally had to plan your base from the start to get quick kill zones. Yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting that you actually had to plan for a battlefield, you know? Like, this is probably a battlefield. Not that it might be. Probably is. Yep. All right, Bunzeal. Well, we did say LRMs, so got to keep that in mind. Roger. And we got a nice shot on, on the guy with only a machine gun. There we go. That's one quarter. This is definitely a half skull. They weren't lying. All right, All right shot. And I'm glad we don't have any like collateral damage, shenanigans, or anything. Move into position. And we're going to come in with the standard hope that we connect whip in a little that's okay and we got deaths i'm just gonna push all the way in and stack that is one thing the newer xcoms miss the closest thing you get is a battle outside your shipper base you have to stop it from going yep yep absolutely i have to say though those are really cool too and kind of scary <laughs> those are really cool probably my most memorable one i had jane kelly as a ranger there was some type of jamming device she had to go get it it was behind waves and ranks and ranks of enemies and at one point i just had to run her like i i had no choice i just had to run her through it and she just dodged everything and made it back <laughs> Ever since I've had Jane Kelly in every single XCOM campaign, because she definitely made an impression on me that day. There we go. Copperhead out. All convoy guards are down. Just the three. Two J27 killjoys and a single J37 tanker remain on the field. A little bit of a touch up here for Dex, but no problem. He's in range to kick okay. and kick and kick. We're going to attack. No green on the convoy. Just shots straight into the side. Stack it. J27 on the outside. Jane Kelly's the soldier you get in the tutorial. Uh, it's the one I got in this tutorial. I don't know if she's guaranteed in all tutorials. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. But I... I included Jane Kelly in our character pool. She's the only one in the whole character pool because I I always want to have her available in any campaign. I, I enjoyed them, but wish they were more. What like, the have the outside fight and the rest of the base behind the front door so if maybe you could fall back in the base, have to fight it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Or or if they took... Oh, let's hang... Do we have a shot here? Oh, we do. Nice. Or if they took, like, the, the base invasion missions where you go out to like an alien area and they sort of like reverse it i don't know it it could work that way maybe give them a kick to get the better feel of overpowered aliens overpowering you well yeah it you know what it reminds me the most of you remember in rogue trader there's that if you go in i think dangerous traversal of space through the warp you can get that mission where you start in your quarters by yourself and then each of your companions come in one at a time to assist. It kind of reminds me of that, where in the defend base mission, you're starting out with a certain amount and then people start coming out. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if they had that in mind, but it sure felt that way to me. Understood. Moving fast. All right, there we go. I'm actually going to mark this active and shot i mean at this point this is the very last mobile Confirm. thing on the field that the op 4 has and it's just stacked to all heck with as many active guardian ecms possible we got amul with all the streaks okay. shot this j27 
the last yes. bastion of resistance. Got it. Shot. Roger that. Oh, I had a base defense mission in the original. Report. Right after the Sky Ranger went out with most of the troops at the end, only one soldier remained, which kept the base from being destroyed. She was carrying half my arsenal, and for her incredible valor, went from squatty to colonel. Her name was Uta Kraus. I still remember the moment more than two days. That is so cool. It leaves an impact, doesn't it? It leaves a serious impact. Those are emergent game moments that you can't necessarily plan for. I mean, that's awesome. That is so cool. Well, hats off to Uta Kraus. Hey, Tug, good to see you. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're currently just burning the enemy alive. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Thursday, yeah? Even in urban is running great. Well, I'm, there isn't a lot going on, but I'm glad. I'm glad. This is awesome. All right. Well, let's wrap that one up. That was a half skull green. There wasn't much there. It was all vehicles. A lot of J27s and J37s. Yeah. Rogue Tech, I watched this, enjoy it, and don't try to pretend to know what's going on. There's a reason I stopped that BTA when sliding up the complexity scale. Oh, what, you mean what's going on with the flare-up or in this fight? Yeah. Burning the enemy alive. I came just in time. That's right. You did so. Good to see you. Yeah. So thus far, this flare-up has been a little bit wide in its difficulty scale. The very first one we did was two skull green, which was like right on the money. And then the last two have been half skull greens and they've been very half skull green. So we were sitting at 1113 in the split for the flare up. So hopefully that's going to flip pretty soon. I'd like to at least get down into that uh, single digit. We've got a lot of stacks here. Medium pulse raker, internal combustion. I don't think we've got the cargo compartments. That's fine. SRM Infernos. I mean, I'll grab that stack. That's great. We've got five pick 25. We've got more than enough. That's for sure. More than enough. I might just grab engine cores and uh, we'll sell as much as we can. Ooh, FCS flak. I will take that for the anti-air multiplier. And you know what? Maybe how's that copperhead? It has a machine gun light rifle, SRM 6 defender light tank, has a vehicle flamer and two AC2s. And the J. Edgar has a medium and SRM2s. I'll grab that and see what we got. What do we have? Full Copperhead. We've got a full Defender Light Tank. We have a full J. Edgar internal combustion engine. We got a full J37 this time. We'll go in and clear the armor, the cores, the internal combustion engine, the heat sinks, the basic sensors, the standard engines, the standard structure, the and we'll keep the rest all right well at least at least we're sitting over a million yeah that's excellent that's just so much different even from battle tick advance i love to watch just too scared to try to play i have a feeling well no that's that's totally fair i i have a feeling though that you have enough of an understanding that it would become readily apparent with just a little bit either a question or looking at like an article or something but honestly it, it has to be an interest of yours or, or anybody's not just to you has to be an interest otherwise yeah it might be a little obtuse at times but there's a lot there if that's where you want to go with it but honestly bta is awesome i don't think i'll ever get tired of bta i maybe i say that now <laughs> but i honestly don't think i'll ever get tired of bta they do such a good job i mean just i think the fact that there were so many missions and it, that really left an impression on me there are so many mission types that i just kind of loathed and stayed away from and then they gave me a reason to want to play them i think that's already just that's amazing all right we got three days for repairs how convenient how convenient that's right three days for repairs probably three more till the next fight if we go over to the navigation screen and take a look at what we got we were at 11 13 we're now at 8 and 10 so it's still a two point split but we're on the bottom of it heck i mean at this point if we end up losing it that's fine at least we tried right at least we tried i'm sure i'd like to look slack jawed at the pretty colors of equipment bewildering colored circles well i could see that i could see that we've got our double heat sink get that in and let us go get that repaired quintuple i just felt like i knew i would bounce so never tried oh that makes sense that's totally fair that's totally totally fair i love bta but bounce right off rogue tech watching this in part to see if it's any less hostile uh well i guess it depends on your definition of hostile because 
hostile as in the universe where it is unforgiving like that is is that what you mean uh we got our wasp i don't want the wasp part we'll clear that we've got the j edgar we've got the falcon the copperhead i mean i might bring those up just to see what they're like because they don't really take up too much there we'll just put together what we can at least then there will be less for us to kind of sort through when we're looking at this we got a defender light tank it's probably like the heaviest thing that we've gotten at that point we'll go over to the v bays and we've got quite a selection oh my gosh it's like we're a connoisseur so 35 got the copperhead here we'll just organize my tonnage so right now the rotunda is literally oh my god is that a delorean or something wow it's like a delorean kind of <laughs> that's that's fancy so what's the deal with this little guy what's this it's got four srm2s the rotunda was a covert reconnaissance wheeled vehicle intentionally designed to resemble a civilian sedan from a distance the sleek rotunda resembled any number of civilian ice-powered saloon cars only enhanced by body kits which allowed it to become a variety of other similarly shaped vehicles very interesting okay i don't know if i'll use it but cool we've got a single medium and two srms on a hovercraft we've got our light rifle srm6 and a machine gun on the light tank and then our defender right here has the vehicle flamer double ac2s i think i'm actually going to movement wise yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna drop these out to sell but i will just in case hang on to the defender we'll go over to the store still trying to hit that 2.5 million because if we do get it we'll be able to actually expand our deployment slot that's gonna be huge for us and we'll just go and clear these out and just kind of bring ourselves back to where we were that'll be fantastic and if anything it'll be really interesting to have some battle armor plasma rifle as an option as well so we'll just go and push this forward we're going to be able to get ourselves up and running i think before the next one defend base uh well, let's do it we're at 10 8 right now we'll go 6 20 there we go two skull green defend base jungle we're going full 6 27 here we're already going to get paid close to half a million c bills on this this is looking a lot better and of course we don't have our main group here for this one that's okay we've got backups for a reason so death is going to be manning the bun pop we got the bun zeal we got the bun goose which is going to get closer to the location and then we've got a bonfire which is all the burn i mean at this point yes sure let's do it i think the only thing that i'll swap out maybe would be the kit fox because of the double light ppcs but i think we'll take this here we go two skull green defend base in the jungle what a wide arc that was will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss planetary government i don't know we'll have to see yeah hostile to enjoyment ah i see what you mean yeah rogue tech has the toughest part especially to hit things i would love a full-on 4x style sort of like stellaris but not stellaris version of battle tech so you can do the full range of battle be it mechs infantry vehicle aerospace even space yeah I mean, I never, I would definitely try it. I don't know if I, I guess I don't know how I would feel about it. I mean, that would be cool to see. Not sure about hostile to enjoyment as I enjoyed Rogue Tech more, but the problem is it's very PC intensive. There is that too. Yeah, there is that too. I think where maybe I have, so I enjoy a lot of things about Rogue Tech, like a lot, and I am really looking forward to end game stuff. So obviously moving through the beginning, I know a lot of bunnies out there they actually really really appreciate the beginning game because that's where like a lot of challenges and having the sort of the tension or the excitement of always having an upgrade available or maybe always being potentially at a loss is it's it's thrilling right so it's it's entertaining it's, it's great i also i think in rogue tech where i have the most trouble and you might have detected it is with going through the obstacle where I can't hit anything <laughs> like and and then trying to figure out like I know I can do it and I will do it and I will grind it out but it's more like a matter of time like a function of time and then trying to find the appropriate tools there is there is that moment where you kind of go at least for me where I go aha I am now over a small hump and I feel the momentum building inside. I just get a sense of it. But there is also that time where I definitely go, 
Okay, I don't know how long I'll be here. I know I'm g probably going to win. But I don't know how long I'm going to be here. <laughs> and that, that's a little hard for me to swallow at times. But overall, I'm looking to forward to a lot of things that are just like past that point, right? So we need to defend this base. Looks like probably the hardest places to defend from would probably be like on the opposite. They got indirect. So I wouldn't mind starting it right here because we also have paths to get back on in. And as far as like protecting maybe like some convoy coming in with engineers, it wouldn't be too bad. We've got some places to run and some Amphala to play with. And uh, we'll move from here, yeah? Small faction crush the inner sphere great houses. Yeah, Rogue Tech is great. The main thing I don't like is the fact the game engine is stressed. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I should probably, if I'm perfectly honest, I should already be restarting the client. So that should it's probably something I should do soon. If I'm, yeah. Let's see what do we get. Our turrets are shut down. We've got the FRR coming in. We've got the enemy op four. They've got a VTOL with a ferret. Tag barrage. Interesting. We got a Yasha striker with a heavy PPC. That's pretty nasty. Omni fire starter at 45 tons. A Raven. I would love a Raven. So now we're talking. Now we're talking. I would love to have access to a Raven. So let's get on the move. We'll try and intercept Going these guys and let us go. This has now gotten exciting. I wasn't trying to bash. I didn't think you were. I didn't think anyone was trying to bash Rogue Tech. Yeah. Just saying it's not for me and BTA was a sweet spot. And, you know, for a lot of the time, I got to agree with you. I got to agree with you. And uh, it's just, Sander? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the mood no for me, honestly. There's, there's often where I'm like, man, I want to see more super heavies, which is why I was so no over the moon about the Rattler mission, just because I had an opportunity that I felt like I, I had no control over. And in Rogue Tech, I know there's going to be super heavies and I know that there's a sort of like end game based around it just because I've read people talk about it and it just sounds so cool. And I want to see what that's like. Your PC still handles it well. I need to restart. Oh, believe me. Ready for orders. Uh, if, if I restarted right now, which I should honestly probably do, and and if I remember, I will. <laughs> if I restarted right now, you'll you'll actually see a difference too, yeah. And for someone who hasn't played either, both look amazingly difficult. Oh, it's all right, classy. High five. Glad you're here. It's fun to watch others suffer through. All right, let's go. Let's go. See, that's that's what I like. That's what I like. That the bunnies are here to kind of enjoy it with me. And if I'm not all in it, the bunnies pick me up, and I hopefully can pick up the bunnies too. So. We're here for each other. I appreciate oh, it. No. All right, got our Maxim. I guess we're kind of going wide. I would assume that in the Maxim, we're going to be able to go across the water, no problem. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. This is exciting because I would love a Raven. I think it kind of dawned on me when I was looking through all the ECM in BTA's wiki. Which they have a really nice wiki. I was looking at all the ECM things there and they've got like X1 ECW or like electronic counter warfare or yeah. And there are fixed things only on Ravens and they'll give like plus two, plus three, I think plus two or three defense to hit in a radius, which is just insane. And that is so cool. So when I read that and I was looking at it and I'm like, yeah, that's not something that I can get unless I have a Raven. All of a sudden, it made me want to rave it. You know what I mean? So we've got a raven in front of us. I don't know what has gone on it, but I'm very excited about the opportunity to maybe be very gentle and get ourselves something balls. Yeah, we're here for crazy DFAs. Yeah, the thing is, I, yes, I will try to do the DFAs. I don't know when that will happen because right now we can't even kick a tunnel rat. So <laughs> we got to get past difficulty tunnel rat first you know what i'm saying but we'll try i used to find it pleasant to watch rogue tech when it was yeah the cougar light mech is now insane as well oh i haven't tried the cougar i we have the i don't is it called a coyote i keep calling it a coyote but it's like a coyote toll there's an l there and i'm not too sure what to do with it makes me think of like and i'm gonna butcher this tail kun or like um axolotl or you know words like that that I just no am not very good at. 32, 44, Uyasha. We've got a chance here. God, this thing has a heavy PPC. It looks beefy too. I wouldn't mind having that ourselves. 
or the Firestarter Omni. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Savage Coyote. Well, we've got it. It's a 40... Is, I think it's a 40 tonner here that we've got. And it's it's in our mech bay. It's under refit right now. It just needed to replace the double heat sink. I didn't notice last time. All right, the striker's pulling back. No shot. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we got the bun fire. I don't know if it's going to be able to take out enemies in the air. We do have the FCS flamer. Do we have the range for that? No. I guess we could hop on to the other side. Get on over to the other side. I, we could do it to the Firestarter Omni. Just kind of like a challenge. 1v1 me, bro. There you go. You're 45 tons. I'm 35. You've been eating too much. But really inside, I'm, I'm jealous. I'd like to have that, you know? It's like one of those things. It's like sibling fights, you know? Sibling fights aren't always about the most logical things, but, you know, it really, really boils the blood at the time. It's a good mech as well with society gear. Oh, the... Which one? The Savage Coyote or the... 40 ton coyote. <laughs> the coyote. Yodelay he who. Oh, wow. Beacon LRM. Interesting. That came out of that raven. Ravens are always so freaking advanced. Really, really terrifying. All right. Well, we're going to try and smack Mr. King of the Mountain here. A little bit of juice. There we go. Tag him up. I prompt. Gosh, I say this every time, and I forget every time. I should change the order on the vehicle weapons. Because the tag's coming in last. Oh, there we go. Allies giving him the juice. We've got Amiel is going to bring that tag up again. We're only doing it manually because I didn't set it in the order. Uh, we got HP yep. in the Bunzeal. He's tucking on in. Uh, we got a good, Technology. decent line right here. And you know what? I'm going in with the bolt-on rockets. Why not? There we go. Just give him maximum ding to the right side. Savage Coyote. Oh, no worries. You don't have to be sorry about that. Just asking to clarify. That's all. I, I don't know too much about the Savage Coyote. I have... It does ring a bell as far as a name. But, I mean, it has the word Savage in it. How can it not be pretty good? <laughs> At least, right? Now, if it weren't Savage, then maybe I'd be a little disappointed. But I'm, I'm glad to hear that the expectation meets the road right so how are we doing here tarantula oh nice our allies have a tarantula out we're bringing the quad mobiles here and the tarantula is super fast super versatile very light but super fast and it looks like they've only got four on the lead which means very soon maybe like a couple of rounds from now they'll have a little more coming on in oh yeah that's not gonna last very long <laughs> that isn't lasting very long at all be nice to have a beacon. Oh, boy. Unsteady, and now he's really getting it. Wow. Who was that? That wasn't the Yasha striker. That was the, the, the tag barrage guy, I think. The ferret tag. Yeah, it was the ferret tag. Bon ping ping to hold. You were wrong, the rabbit. Oh, well, rabid, savage. I mean, that all sounds dastardly and powerful. I mean, that's awesome. All right, I'm going to run in and I'm going to try and... Oh, gosh. I feel like we should probably toasty toast these guys. Let me let me come in from the... Yeah, we'll come in for seven. There we go. And we'll just keep burning the fire starter. That's not looking good for him. 60 heat. And we got the bun goose. That's the breach. Hopefully, it's going to be gentle. Oh, that doesn't look gentle at all. Oh, he's, he's tagged and crit in the engine. Critical hit. I'm surprised he's hanging in there. He's got 14 right now, and you're going to have allies shooting specifically at that guy. Even the mash truck. Mash truck wants a piece. He's like, I know I typically take care of patients, but in this case, what's the opposite? I like <laughs> take my scalpel. I don't know. He's, he's going after that guy, and he's going to be as gentle as possible because he's got a steady hand like a surgeon. He's just going to, like, poke that guy's fusion core out. It's going to pop out the other end completely intact. Oh, there's that tarantula. Oh, yeah, he's not gentle. Oh, yes. There we go. Come on. Give up, bunny. You know it's over. Come out with your hands up. That's what I say. Although, yeah, no, he has got, he's got hands. He can come out with his hands up. I, I don't know why I thought he wouldn't have hands. I mean, he, he might have little nubbins or something. All right, Raven. Yeah, see... Wow, that's a fancy yellow jacket. I expected to see a Gauss rifle, but it's a flying rack yeah. five. 
That's basically like a man toy full on crack. Yeah, let's go ahead and just stack right, this guy. Me. It's the last time that he'll ever see uh, the inner sphere Earth. Oh, no. <laughs> and the knockdown. It's just crits. It's not destroyed. Oh, he's my gosh. This guy's so stubborn. Why are you being stubborn, man? Don't be stubborn. Otherwise, we're going to have to send some Thunderbolt 15. You know what I'm saying? Got it. The mash truck is just trying to get job security. Oh, well, there's plenty of job security around where the Bunny League is located for sure. Let's go ahead and send a little bit of love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was that gentle? Was it? I would not mind having that. I have no idea. That probably wasn't gentle. That was a Thunderbolt 15 and Mac landed that shot. Well, tell you what, we got the bun pump. We're actually going to try and be super, super precise here. So, oh yeah, that's not going to be precise, is it? It's just going to take a little cough to remove. Okay, maybe, maybe sometimes you got to, uh, <laughs> how do you be gentle? Oh my God. I didn't realize we can tune this up to 12 bursts. What if we only come in with the machine guns? Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at the head with 12 bursts. Hip destroyed. Oh, we broke him like he broke his... Yeah! <laughs> I broke him like I broke my hip. <laughs> I'm just picturing... That's amazing. That's the way to describe it. Rogue Tech is not gentle. It's not gentle, but it's pretty good to you sometimes. My God. Okay, that is exciting. Gosh. If... Man, I don't even know what to choose. They've got a Yasha Striker. They've got a full 45 ton Firestarter Omni. I mean, that's what we're talking about. Got our Maxim out here, which is just stuck for days. But you know what? That's okay. We're coming it around. There we go. Spirit of Gramps approves. Boom. I broke him like I broke my hip. Oh, that's a little better, isn't it? All right. How do you like that? See, that's even better that time, Lef. Like I broke my hip. There we go. And didn't he say something like, like Bella Woods. I don't remember what his line was, but it was pretty good. Ooh, ooh, tag barrage. I don't think that laser turret's enjoying that at all. Good thing that turret... Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, you gotta admit, that was cool. And it survived. Man, they may have broken that guy's hip, but his... He's still walking. Order. So we've got Bun Ping Ping to hold here. Roger. And we have somebody Roger. still out there. Somewhere out there. What do you need? Beneath the new king sky. Let's go in and just ping this guy. Close range. Maybe on purpose. We're only going to send LRMs at close range so that we don't hit with everything. Super gentle like. Oh, that's not. That's, that's cool. Knocking him down just like Bella would. <laughs> I love that guy even back a few versions where he came with a negative when he couldn't sprint. <laughs> oh, see, I would still use Gramps. Gramps is probably the only non-bunny pilot that I would use, even over me. Like, <laughs> I would use Gramps. He's hilarious. I remember I had him in our, uh, the first time we played Rogue Tech, we had a Kodiak that was like hot pink. It was a melee Kodiak of some kind. I don't know what that was about, but we had a really good Kodiak and Gramps drove that. That was awesome to see him try to go quickly. He's like, I'm going to fall down. <laughs> I might trip. Enemy flanking. Ooh, hello. Are they shooting at us? They were panicked. That's all you okay, got. wow. Well, they're pushing on out of it. Good for them. I guess we'll... My way. Yeah, I don't know if I want to... Yeah, that's not going to be gentle. Let's let's hold here. Yeah, hit smack and... Yeah, it's true. Man, the charges on that thing were insane. Oh, yeah. Yep. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there and stay intact if possible. All right. Got got tank. Sprint on up. Ooh, that's definitely not gentle. Let's go with the um, just the two medium pulse. Oh, that's that could have been better. Yeah, I don't know how many parts that is, but I, it's probably not four. It's probably not four. Okay, that didn't work. Kodiak got them. That's true. They got them claws. A lot of melee hits were hit. Yeah, no. I mean, 
Let me tell you, they probably ended up punching you in the clavicle and the claw just extended up and pop, there goes your cockpit just like that, right? I don't make sense. I'm not saying that, you know, oh, it's God. realistic, but then again, you know, we're playing Battletech. Let's go. It's fine. A nerd like me can dream, right? We can all dream. And it's nice every once in a while to just kind of make that dream true. All right, what do we got here? This, where we're talking about two skull green, bring it on. We've already had a Firestarter Omni so gentle. Ooh, they got a stiletto. Oh, what the heck is that? That's not what I expected. All right, they got prototype stilettos. Man, they look like they're on stilettos. I mean, they're like stilts. We got double stiletto. We got a scimitar. We've got a mockingbird here with double high explosive bombs. And we got a chameleon five seat. My God, training the enemy. Yep. Well, we got our Bunzeal. He's got the long range firepower to make this happen. We're going to go ahead and try and land it. Those guys got that. Ooh. Never mind, not going to do it just yet. We will go fully active with Guardian ECM. This is excellent. I don't know what these guys are. Small lasers, SRM speed, 30 tons combined, 15 tons each. My God, my God. Well, driving mix as main attack force isn't realistic in the first place, so I wouldn't dwell too hard on that. Oh yeah, we're not dwelling. We're not dwelling here. We're just having a good time. Actually, where is that Hermes? Was that ours or was that theirs? Yeah, come here. I think it's ours. I think it's ours somehow. Well, let's just go ahead and walk up and brace we're gonna go clear any stability damage and maybe we should go passive till we get a little bit closer we've got an assassin coming on in we've got our allies now did we get even more on our side my god these guys stand no chance look at this onslaught it's just waiting to happen they just got to get in range and give up the cheese when it comes to the spawn protection so we're just waiting here buddy just take on over there we go get it rolling like bocce ball in a short in a like bocce ball in a court that's a little too small you know what i mean actually i don't know what i mean but I, it seemed to make sense at the time in my head we just gonna roll with it bocce ball is awesome everybody likes bocce ball i know i do some people call it lawn bowling some people call it heaven that in this case these guys are not gonna get to play any bocce ball if you catch my drift we got a bun pop Ooh! oh my god we're surrounded that's what i like to hear we got a flintlock ac5 double ac5 srm4 we've got king leonidas and his army of four right here my god oh there's that hermes too they're not on our side there's leonidas and his army of four they're in the wrong place i don't know where xerxes is probably somewhere in the free world's league we've got the sax ac with a little bit of lrm 10 and a medium laser why which one do oh that's probably making people dizzy i'm sorry which one do we want first? I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we want a little drop the Mockingbird and then go for the Leonidas. I think we've got a plan. I think we've got a plan. We just need a straight line. Let's make it happen. We've got that line probably to the guy in the sky. We'll go ahead and try to connect with him. Here we go, 12%, Artemis 4. Ooh, that's how we're talking. All right, good hit for us. Tell you what, we're not even going to move. It's just a little bit of splash. That's 0.9%. That's not too great. And even if we can't hit this guy, that's 0.9%. This is 16, so we'll come in high explosive. Sometimes you got to hit your buddy in order to hit the guy next to you. So he's really not your buddy. So there we go. Sprint coming on in. They're sprinting right in on the shot on the back of the Hermes 2. We got Tank Air with the Bun Goose. I mean, since we've got the opportunity and we've got the rear, we might as well try to get the shot on the Hermes. If we can tag him, that'll be excellent. Don't know if we're going to manage it, but we do have our Guardian ECM if they want to come into the arena with Tank here. It's already in active mode. He came ready. So we'll kind of come out on the outside. We've got with Amul in the Maxim. We could stack in some LRMs. That looks so great. So we're heading on back to assist Tank here. They're like the best of friends. There we go. A little bit of blue and a little lot of bit of love. All right, there we go. Well, we better turn around soon because it's not going to cool off from here, yeah? We're in the rain. It's sloughing off the heat. We don't have a care in the world. We can keep alpha striking all day long, although it's not really a day at this point. Oh, there we go. Mockingbird shot not to us. That's all I care about. Actually, what's his name? Rhinim. Oh, okay. I thought it was like Rikea. <laughs> Or Commander Rikia. Yeah, there we go. Like Commander Riker. That guy was cool. 
what was his name? Jonathan Frakes? Is that right? I think Jonathan Frakes. All right, here we go. Sleep near inbound. Yeah, I don't know what made him want to turn away from us. Obviously, he gave up his spawn protection, but he decided that he wanted to, you know, give us the bunt. But that was kind of the wrong thing to do because the bunnies are attracted to the green. I'm assuming their main attack is actually counting on the other force on the opposite side of us. Got the yellow jacket with a rack five and actually connects a little bit with King Lion Leonidas and his army of three. All right, Des, we'll catch you in a little... We'll have a great rest. We'll catch you on the next one, man. Thank you so much. High five. Scimitar, LRMs, LRM 10. A little bit of stack, 321 left here. Oh, there it is right on the rotors. I don't know if that just makes it drop off the sky just completely cleanly. I doubt it, but he's only got nine structure left on the rotors. All you got to do is just touch that thing just a little bit. Got our bun ping ping will hold. We got to be close enough and we need a direct line. It's almost like just auxiliary weaponry there, yeah? All right, Hermes should be available if he wants to clear his errors. See if he moves. There we go. Okay, so he turned himself around. Smart guy, smart guy. Probably also walked to get free clearance of stability damage. Got our bun fire. I mean, at this point, where are we closest to? Probably, let's go in and get ready for King Leonidas. So we'll come over into the water here. And we will hold. Tarantula through. There's Leonidas. They enter the arena. A little bit of active jam there. Excellent. And the chameleon. That's from the opposite side. From the opposite side with the... Yep. With the VTOL. And then 2115. I'm assuming it's these guys right here. The Sayax and the Flintlock. That's a double AC5. Oh, no. Mockingbird coming on in. General PPC. And... Stiletto. Okay, okay. So now the other side is all done. Is it gone? I assume it's gone, but it has one structure. It still seems to be okay. That's very surprising to me. That's this guy? Yeah, he's still there. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh, heck yes, Kralik. High five. Welcome. I love when the super heavy Uber Jaeger shoots all of its super heavy racks and knocks his... Oh, that sounds cool. I wouldn't mind seeing what that looks like. The Uber Jaeger? Is that a large Jaeger mech or no? All right, let's see if we can't work this. High explosive 16.9, 26 on Flintlock, 21, 14 to the Stiletto. Sure, sure. We might get lucky. We'll go in on standard and go wide on the Thunderbolt 15. It's a super heavy. I mean, I'm... I love super heavies, so that is exciting, yeah? Roger. 50. Just gonna try to connect with him. Some of it's gonna go. There we go. That's to the front. And it's already kind of getting him on both sides because we already started working on that backside. And then now the front is down to gray. He's basically got five right there. Should get a breach pretty soon. Fifteen. Okay, so twelve. Here we go. This was targeting the base last time. Oh, and he's switching targets. Very interesting. You'd think he would focus on the same one, but I'm not complaining. We got our bun goose. We've got depths in the bun pop. Who is trying to work and complete the shots on the mockingbird? Come on, big money. Oh boy. Spreading it out there. We got Bungoose. We got the Pulses. And we are in active. And shot. They've got Ballistic. I don't know if those are like rifles, tsunamis, gauss, anything. 115. Oh, that's not, not as large as I thought. That's pretty cool. I don't know what a super heavy rack is. Sounds awesome. Hitting the rotor always feels like them. It does. It does. 
I'm just not sure. The rotor was already hit before we even shot at it. We kind of spread the love around. Anytime I hit a V in a turret or a rotor, it doesn't feel so good. But one of these days, it'll actually mean something significant, I think. Yeah. Now for tail rotor, I would imagine that would be something else in real life. Maxim. I don't think they can swarm us, but I don't want to test it. So we'll just kind of tuck. Uh, do we have a line here? Yeah, we'll come in this way. There we go. It's not too far out. We still have nine. And stack. There we go. We got a breach. We got a breach. And he's tagged. Hopefully that'll encourage our allies to kind of focus on the same area there. And we still have six rounds. Should be enough to clear all these guys. And I don't recall. I don't think we've got a Leonidas already. I, I could have sworn we fought against them already in this career, but but I don't remember if we got a part of it. I know we picked up the GDS. I know we picked up the Kobold 2C part. And then I think we've got one more other battle armor part just kind of sitting there. But the Leonidas doesn't ring a bell as far as their storage bay, but it does ring a bell in the form of I'm pretty sure we faced off against it already. Yeah. All right, and the engineers are striking back with their turrets. Oof. I really want to hit the stilettos. Like, kick them. Kick them specifically. Ready for order. All right, bun ping ping. Hang tight. Confirmed. Hold it. And on 17. Oh, yes. All right, we got our tarantula. I hope they just charge in. They start. Oh, nope. They're coming around to our side as well. Someone needs to cover... Yeah, these guys. Someone needs to cover them. Because they've got a PPC. they got a lot out there. Ooh, the Leonidas. They did not engage. It's good for us. So if we walk it in, maybe? Oh, it's our flamer. There we go. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this will be effective. Give them seven flamers. <laughs> okay, David Light Gauss, that's what they got. Wow, that was very nice. It took out 50% of their troop power there. So if we can hit that turn around, that would be great. All right, that's not the... There we go, there we go, there we go. And we do have the line. We'll actually go in with high explosive and hope for the best. Oh, that's pretty... <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> oh, man. Got hit by a Thunderbolt 15. There we go. Things pretty durable. Not in the rotor anymore, but everywhere else. Granted, we were using high explosive. We didn't focus it all into one place, but still very surprising and impressive. All right, we got dead. We're looking to seal the deal. We've got an opportunity. 20. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, well, we won't even move. Maximum accuracy. There we go. There we go. Excellent. So his PPC is out of the sky. The high explosive bombs are out of the sky. That's fantastic. And he flies and he flies and he falls. All right, so we got tank. We've almost completely wiped out the Leonidas. But I think it's that blue that's green. That's not horrible. If we come over here, that's pretty, pretty good. We could come over there and take the shot. That's probably safer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here we go. There it is. And they still have the two, but we're very, very close. We'll come over, dump that in, direct line. No connections at all. No connections at all. That's okay. And then we've got HP after this. Yep. And he's in the Bunzeal. I might just shoot at that guy. So we'll tuck up and hit the Hermes too. I'm taking this shot. He already has a breach there. AC5 crit. Badass. And now it's to our allies. It's on two skull green. So at the very least. I'm, I'm convinced that that Firestarter Omni is out there and it's completely whole. 
I think we're going to be able to walk out with a Firestarter Omni. At the very least, the Omni is going to have fixed equipment inside, which means that thing's going to be ready to go pretty, pretty soon. That's going to be huge for us because we do have a lot of Omnis, but those Omnis are like 25 tons or something like that. And they're very, you just breathe on them, they die. At least the Firestarter Omni is a little more durable. And on top of that, those Omni mech hard points are just going to be fantastic. And I believe the 45 tonner, it comes with the built in flamers. So that might be kind of nice if we need to move the flamer. Uh, how would you, how would you put that? The, the flamer duties, I guess, anti-battle armor duties over to the 45 tonner. And then we can refit the 35 or keep it as another flamer and just dual flame everybody. That might be kind of cool too. <laughs> that might be kind of cool. I admit it might be. So currently we wrapped up the 8B10. So as soon as we clear this at two skull green, I'm curious if it's actually going to drop by like three points instead of two. Because last time, oh, actually, no, we did drop by three the last time. It's just that we were like 11 to 13 and now we're eight to 10. So this delta between the score is still two, but we did drop yeah, from 11 to 8 and 13 to 10. So it did drop by 3. I'm, maybe we can get a little more out of this because this is a two skull green and we're going to win this one. On 6. Yeah, and most of the turrets still fine. Very surprised about that laser turret though. I mean, go us. All about it. Yeah, bunnies for the high five vision that's what we're talking about. All right, akin to... He did the job. We might as well do it again. Kind of give him everything that we got. And burn. Firing on target. Heck yes, there we go. Oh, that was super clean. I see wasted. I immediately think of GTA. All right, that is awesome. Let's hang tight with Superior. That's a clear. So the Leonidas is off of the field. The Hermes is limping along. We took out the Mockingbird 3 from the sky. We're basically dealing with all of the Vs now. As soon as we tick off the box with our pal, the Hermes 2, out in the water. The Stiletto might be kind of hard to connect with, so maybe we just try to burn it first. They might actually destroy a building or something, but it'll nice, be really nice to get the bonus, you know? So let's push. We've got... A grouping here, double AC5. We could hit the chameleon. Let's go in and start challenging that chameleon and send it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I saw the chameleon uh, tab targeted the stiletto. That That's brilliant. Yeah. And indirect with an Artemis 4 system. That's fine. So what do we got here? On 14, allied assassin. Ah, he's put in the work trying to intercept the stiletto as well. Good for him. You go get him, buddy. At least you targeted the right thing. And that Hermes trying to do everything he can to live. I might, I might let him be. His right side, although his damage side is facing us, which is awfully tempting. Let's be real. It is. What do we got? 57, 38, 14. We'll go in with a big one. Shot out. Nice. There we go. 60 armor ripped off. One to structure right on that left arm on the chameleon. Yellow jacket rack five. Rack five to the double AC five. And I think the chameleon gets to go. And finally drops the turret. That was the one with one structure left after that initial barrage. And then we've got our tarantula. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh. I saw the orange. I thought that was it. I was like, that's the perfect weapon platform for that guy. He's on 11. We do have the opportunity to drop him before he shoots. And if we want to get that bonus, that's probably the smartest thing to do. If our allies don't take care of him yeah. first, we are here. We've got the chance. Whoops, I did not mean to do that, but let's go stack him. There we go. Double AC5 is off of the field. It's out of play. And of course, we've got that Seax. He's coming up. 
but he doesn't have a ton of firepower but he is close enough he can actually get that medium laser on a building as well and with enough focus might not be the healthiest thing for us yeah it's on 32 so 42 between armor and structure on the front and it's in his court oh that what was that actually what is that scimitar lrm oh for some reason okay so we no longer have sight there that needs to change that needs to change ready for order shot out there we go little sensor impairment at least we can use our battle armor support ready ppc we got the bung goose let's just go ahead and try and drop these guys out Roger, skipper. then we can focus on one side like that's pretty brutal Reporting. ballistic hard point is disabled and we got the maxim i mean at this point let's just keep dumping it in right to green just make sure they're gone stack them there it is come on get out of there buddy get out of there you're hit like everywhere not much of a hermes left more like a hermes half not a hermes two and now who's on eight? Oh, sleep near all right well lrm 15 to lrm 15 they've got that scimitar lrm out there ah there we go seek those crits gotta love it is that multi-target no that's a completely different initiative phase and then we've got two more i think it's going to come down to the turrets here yeah and we have one less turret on our side but that shouldn't be very significant overall just because we're our time to kill is definitely better than theirs chameleon oh three out of four there we go stack up that sensor and pair and it's coming down 18 that's gonna be the ah hermes 2 is gonna come online soon assassin strike and successful connect on the stiletto hermes the bonfire all right well you know what get right in his face and just go ham Receiving you. we got deaths all right well come on in on and i'm gonna go ahead and send it all try and fish the crits there we go pop off the arm forgot forgot i had the machine gun tuned up to 12 bursts that's actually very impressive with the clan machine gun duels i think we've got a full stack of them so if we can maybe we create our more durable piranha <laughs> we can create our own piranha with the 45 ton fire starter omni i mean that'll be a way to go just something like acid srms followed by a bunch of daca that can shoot 12 bursts all right where is hb he's in a bun deal we'll come it around on the backside get full value get despite being in the cover there stack him there we go so drop it it's the uh i think that was a sax is that right no that was the uh double ac5 nope i stand corrected double lrm5 medium laser what are your orders, Skipper? we got tank hopefully we'll be able to finish this off oh no way really wow okay that's impressive i was almost i almost guaranteed myself that was going to be a kill right there but i was wrong all right good ping with large chem laser well i know our allies can definitely finish that guy off i mean he's basically a giant donut on one leg oh <laughs> very impressive hermes too touche very very impressive good for you all right and that's gonna stand the test of time against two single stilettos that's kind of interesting i mean if you've got two stilettos is that basically like depending on scale if i'm a giant and i've got two stilettos i can probably pick them up like chopsticks but if i oh yeah okay that's not us that's all i care about okay excellent i don't know who shot that was that the lrm scimitar oh my god yep he's not doing so well hey 
Sorry, Amul. Let's finish the job. Here we go. Minimum distance. There we go. Okay. Let's Shot. Go. Game over. Game over. Come on, game over, buddy. Seriously, there you go. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Props to that guy. That is impressive. At least we cleared this and now we can focus on one front. So it should start to snowball into this horrible avalanche against the Op4. Poor planetary government. Those little guys are very dodgy and very wily. I'm going to try and shut this down. So we got a kin to the bonfire. We just got to traverse as quickly as possible, but it's going to be a bit till we get to the ground. Should probably actually move down a passive. Not that it matters, but. And then we got this one building that's almost down. I think they there's only two rounds, so pretty sure they'll probably survive. I want to work that chameleon. No sensor impair on this. This building has 96. So they can definitely take out one of the buildings if they really wanted to. But they're going for the hostile threat, which I understand too, but... And I'm I'm totally okay with. It would be really nice, like I said, to be able to get that bonus. I don't think we got a line here. But let's push in. On my way. We've got standard six. We're really close for this. 29 and 32 way out on the town. A little bit far there. This guy definitely has enough firepower to drop that building with the remaining time. So it'd be nice to take him out. The stiletto has a double, I think double small. And does that have SRMs? Yeah, SRM4 left. SRM4 left. We got Dertz. He can get in with a kick. That's on the chameleon. We can get in on a kick on the stiletto. Oh, that's not a kick. That's a charge. I mean, that might be kind of funny too. But I have to repair that, so... <laughs> we have to repair that one. All right, kick this guy. We'll kick the chameleon. Oh, and we whiff it. But guns, maybe we get a stray shot and hit the stiletto instead. That's a negatory, but love the effort. Love the effort. All right, Amiel with all the speed in his hovercraft. Two, eight, shot. Next one is going to be the last round. Yep. And this is the last one for us on this round. Copy that. 11. Shot. Putting one in the back. Targeting system janky. But seriously, look at how many allied turns we've got. That's insane. I'll be very, very impressed. If they don't take out... Well, no, I'll be impressed. No, I think they'll take out one is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Then again, it depends. Oh, never mind. That guy is dastardly. That's the LRM 15. Very, very, very potent till the last. I wonder if our guys are out of ammo or something like that. Rack five keeps flying around. Doesn't shoot. Nice. All right. So now he's only 15 tons. It says he's 30 tons, but he's only 15 tons because it's only half the guy that he was. All right, last round, last round. Let's see if we can't prevent any building destructions here. All right, hang tight. So 19, that's this assassin. He's walking. Weight Watchers. Yeah, I mean, all of us are on Weight Watchers. Well, our allies and the enemy, not us. And yes, and the stiletto's out. That leaves two. Hang tight. Oh, wait a minute. No, the stiletto's not out. Our ally is. Oh, drat. <laughs> Never mind. Our assassin punched out. There's still three. That guy gave in. He didn't want to die. 
There's Chameleon. No shot. Old. And it's the Stiletto single small, single SRM. Oh. Actually, who did he shoot at? Was that us? <laughs> it looked like he hit the chameleon. I'm so confused. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I think it was one of our allies that. Gosh. Yeah. They all look the same to me after a while. All right. Maybe we might be lucky. Maybe we can hit this guy. I know it's surface to air. But <laughs> at this point, I'm, I'm shooting whatever we got. All right, tank. It's got the line. Stiletto. Tagged him. Got Mac. We're going for that guy. Shot out. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Dits. Come on, Dits. I believe Dits. Give him the green. Stack him. Yes. <laughs> I think we get a bonus. I think we get a bonus. I love bonus. All right. They, I see some green out there, but let's smack this guy. Oh, that hurts right there. That's awesome. We only have one more, but this is basically cleanup time. So whatever gets on the table and he's out all that's left is half of the stiletto got our maxim he, there's only one little guy at four percent standing there let's see if they finish him off there's that rack five is that really a rack five yeah it says a rack five <laughs> maybe he only knows how to rack it up to one Oh, the sleet near charges the stiletto and we whiff it. And I think that's it. Oh, no, there's one more. There's one more. Wow, last very last round. That's crazy. OK, we'll take that. That's a two skull green and that is a total win. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? That is a no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. That was actually really clean with our allies there. It was a little bit long. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and reset the client once we get our loot and get it safe in and then hopefully we'll be able to wrap up the rest of it here because after all we are i think i think when we're all done with it we might be able to start that 2.5 million uh boost for our scrapyard leopard that's going to change a lot because we're going to be able to field an entire another mech on top of everything else and that is going to be a game changer as far as being able to tackle higher levels of difficulty uh, more consistently yeah we got 796,000. that is incredible that's going to push us over 2 million uh let's go ahead and bring this over no breaches no losses for the bunnies that's fantastic we've got that chameleon the ferret tag that's kind of interesting tag barrage at five tons so we've got the leonidas right here the hermes too the fire starter omni so how is the condition i i'm assuming it's fine yeah i'm assuming that's good but even then there's also a raven which is totally totaled so maybe not i was kind of excited about that but that's okay i think i'm gonna grab that fire starter that is great we've got 15 more pieces out there yasha v told heavy expl high explosives on the bomb c3 slave would be nice to grab fcs ranger what is that plus 10 percent to all range brackets times two short range negative 25 percent minimum range that's kind of cool night vision just straight up improved sensors that's actually really nice bonus detection of two okay so let's disassemble all the rest let's see what we can get i don't know if i'm gonna get the ferret tag that's hilarious but yeah we've got the mockingbird three that had the ppc and the bomb high explosive at 15 tons uh we've got the lrm scimitar was excellent if you're in the right place and we got the yasha vtol there were three parts of it so we do our second sweet oh my god com suite plus six percent resolve generation from all sources modify your plus one tactics to allow you to exceed your maximum skill level oh, 
I will definitely take that. Are you kidding me? End of steel. We'll we'll take the Ranger. That's kind of interesting. Double heat sink kit. Yes, please. Sensors improved. Yes, please. Let's just keep an eye out if there's anything else. LRM double bin, heavy PPC, C3 slave. We actually have a little bit of that. That's really, really cool. I guess maybe the C3 slave. We have four, but we're kind of building on top of everything. What about that SRM tandem down there? That was here. We have one ton of stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll get that. Who knows? It might be good for battle armor. Three, two, and one. All right, so we've got one part of a ferret tag. We've got a part of a chameleon. We've got three out of four of a scimitar LRM. Sayax AC LRM, three out of four. SRM four, and it's still to clear. Engine core 105 to clear. Internal combustion engine to clear. 24 heat sinks to clear. Double heat sink kit to keep. And the SRM tandem and sensor improved. That is really, really good and very clean nice thing is it should recalculate and i think we might be at a spot very close to being able to start the leopard the scrapyard leopard uh, research add some real luck with loot again it's also helpful if you're an ally three times atlas two times goliath half longbow a one barbadier that is very very good luck my god you are much farther along now i'm sure that is really really nice i'm gonna be really excited to field a Firestarter Omni, I think it's definitely one of my favorite chassis in the game. 45 tons, so you can kind of push that thousand armor barrier if you are really, really pushing it. And on top of that, you're still kind of light enough that you're earlier on in the initiative order. And then you can, so you have like durability. You're not too far off. You're probably, you're definitely better off than a cicada. <laughs> so you could actually get out there and then you've got yeah. Omni mech hard points as well. In its primary configuration, the fire starter is built to stay at long ranges when facing an enemy. The primary weapons are a pair of large lasers. The large lasers provide the mech with a respectable long range firepower to allow the mech to create cover for itself in the clear woods. The fire starter prime carries two extra flamers on top of its fixed pair, bringing the total to four. Finally, to allow the mech to search out hidden units, the Prime carries a Beagle Active Probe. That already sounds really cool. Two days for repairs, huh? So, I don't remember. Did we have a slot? We may not have had a slot. So, if we go to the mech bay, I think we'd actually have to clear it, right? So, for... Oh, we do! Okay, I did not expect that. So, if we take a look at this, should be a good chunk of it that's fixed, right? So, we lost the Com Suite Plus Plus, but we actually picked up a Com Suite Plus... The difference is 3% resolve generation. That's not bad. Double heat sink and a flamer. That's easy. That's easy. If we go ahead and max out the armor right now, we can actually do it. That's awesome. Our jumping distance currently is four hexes. We can get that up to six with the other jump jets. So I know we're going to go over, but we'll go one and two. And now we can jump six, right? Yeah, we can jump that full six. We can also replace the double heat sink that we lost that puts us right back on track and then we've got the comm suite i mean i'm just sort of replicating what they had already we got a comm suite plus instead it's going to take over for the cockpit let's say and then we're like two tons out so these flamers oh they're not fixed they're not fixed i can pull them out oh <gasps> that's excellent i mean i'm not saying it's bad to have flamers but i'm so used to these being fixed here I love the fact that I can pull those out. That is great. Interesting. Sensors totem. What is this? Minus 10% company resolve cost of warrior mech warrior skills. Stacks up to three times. What? That's specific. That's cool. I mean, I'm okay with that. Obviously, it's got room for it. Look at that. Six days, 122,000. That's so cheap. And we got Ferrofibrous 2.453 back online. That's crazy. And if we wanted to, how's our heat efficiency again? Negative 24. I mean, if we did stealth armor, I was going to run a little bit hotter, but I mean, you can be a stealthy guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. This is cool. Well, let's see. What else? What else could we have? I know we've got a stack of machine gun duel, right? We've got advanced AMS as well. Like if we, if we wanted to, we can get AMS and a bunch of like a weird sort of daca machine like you pull the large lasers 
the speed. It's got a fix. So sprints at nine. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We've got the bolt on stuff. You can get a bazooka in the hands. You can get all kinds of stuff. I know that we've got the clan machine gun duel, I believe, right? That would be. Is it here? I might have to look for it here. I know they're, they're right there. That's for sure. They take up a lot of space. So we pull, let's see, that's stealth, that's end of steel. Can we replace the end of steel on this? I don't know if that's possible. It is not. Yeah, so that's fixed. That's fixed. Like, you wouldn't be able to do composite, as an example. Yeah. You cannot install more structure in all locations. If we pull stealth armor, clan end of steel, you can't, you can't replace it. You can't replace the end of steel at all. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just get it into a working state. So we'll just do a restart right here reset oops did not mean to do that max armor on that we'll go ahead and pull some of the flamers we'll get the ferro fibers in here we're looking at six days i guess oh i guess we could fit the flamers it was because we put in the jump jets though right so we had two jump jets a double heat sink like so and now we start to go over just a bit if we pull this Yeah, that went down. And then I guess we do have like night vision, all that kind of stuff. We've got the AR-12 sheath beacon that'll take over the totem. We've got one slot left though. So sensors, I don't want to replace that right now. Fire control system is, is standard right now, but we got flak, evasion, ignore, minus recoil, but not really a lot of recoil there. Missile range improved. I mean, I'll take the improved just so I can get access to the night vision as well. I mean, that's fantastic and it's free on weight, right? And then for the cockpit, we've got the clan cockpit, the armored cowl, and we're probably gonna get close to things. The comm suite is what they had before, so we can try it out, I suppose. And then MASC, I like the idea of stealth. It will put us over and then we can pull the flamers and sort of run around with two largest i don't know how i feel about that but i guess we can play around with it and see how it goes we're 1187 if anything we can replace the beagle active probe with something maybe like angel ecm oh wait no they're different they're different ecm is different so it's one this is one on clan guardian ecm angel ecm i believe is like two and a half this two there we go it is two and we can jump six so let's just grab the we'll grab the guardian ecm not the clan one and then we'll actually drop a little armor actually i'm gonna swap this out there we go okay and we'll just go like this and just be a little bit under under ton right yeah location destroyed fully repaired let's go six days there we go awesome so at least we'll have another chassis available to us. So we'll just kind of have that sit down at the bottom there. Or, or better yet, we can actually have it up. We'll have it like right here. And then we'll keep this one on the bottom. And then these should be ready in time. Let's take a look at the navigation screen. We were at 8 and 10. We're now at 4 and 8. So we're losing. So it'll be interesting to lose on this. But let's see how it goes. I mean, we are winning all of the fights but we may lose the system and that's okay this is an assassination of course we want to launch it but i did say i wanted to restart the client right can i save here i don't know if it's gonna let me but i'm gonna try so we'll go in and save right here and hopefully this doesn't cause any shenanigans because i do want to restart the client because last time it was getting a little bit slow there yeah so let's go in and bring this back and i think it's almost done there we go. We'll bring that back and we'll go in and quit on out here. And we're just going to go ahead and restart the client. We'll be back in no time at all. It should not take too long because we're already at the desktop and it's just a matter of click back on in. So we'll give it a moment. I always thought it was such a cool picture. I wonder who makes the pictures for the launchers. Like if you see this right now, like look at this thing. Like I don't even know what this is. The whole Lance thing is crazy. I mean, this looks like a... Is this a proto-mech? Is that a weird rifleman? I mean, they look really cool. I don't know what era that's from. And these almost look like 
beefed up World War II tanks. I know. <laughs> but we'll get back in before you know it, yeah? So I am hoping that we'll be able, even if we lose this one, I don't know if that means that we'll get a loot crate still. I mean, granted, the loot crates have not been great. I remember winning the first one that we did and we got like an attachment, which was kind of cool because let's be real, we had like nothing at all. So anything was useful. So I don't know if this is actually going to mean that we're going to get anything. We might not even get a loot crate. So I don't know what will happen. Maybe as soon as we get in, we should stop by the store because right now I don't think it's going to stick us right into the mission even though technically we were right there like they force you to go in do you accept the mission or do you pass on it right and since we accepted it you shouldn't be able to go back to the store take a look at things anything like that it's very possible that after this we may lose this flare up and if that's the case we won't be able to get access to the faction store so if we get in we can just kind of like sneakily look in the faction store just to see if there's anything little something something that maybe dropped or something like that and then after that we can head on in yeah this mc that you see right there is also in bta you know it and you can buy it on solaris the mc is that you mean the mech or or what do you mean the the one with the lance They've actually got a few on that picture with all the lances. There was one that had like one in each arm, which I think is hilarious because it looks like you could easily walk around and be a real, I don't know if I'd say a tarantula, tarantula is kind of fuzzy, but if you had to walk on like a quad with a bunch of these pokey lances, that would be just nasty. Maybe it's like anti battle armor. Anything you step on is basically going to impale them, but I don't know if that would really be effective. But at the very least, it'll be very difficult to keep those sharp. Because <laughs> imagine, you're running around, it would dull in no time at all. So, stream saver, 744. Here we go. As soon as we get in, we're just going to try to remember. We're going to go into the store. We're just going to take a little peek because we shouldn't even be able to do that. Just kind of bend the rules a little bit. And then we'll get on in and hopefully still be able to do the assassination mission. Oh, did they really stick a Laura Mipsum in there? That's cool. Uh, the guy with a lance and Google Translate always turns everything into something different. Mech equals MC. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. So this all translate mech that you see right there is in BTA. You know it. I mean, no, I don't know it. But unless you mean a Lancelot. Oh, I guess that would make sense. Lancelot 1.2.2. I don't know if that having been said. I mean, I obviously don't know it well enough. <laughs> And I think the one that's in the background, like second from the right, is the Lancelot. I don't know about the one with the pointy arms. If that, in fact, is also a Lancelot, that would be weird. I don't know what to make of that yet. I also didn't say that you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, Google Translate, you're so silly. But thank you for clarifying. So I assume you mean the Lancelot then, which would make sense. But I don't think I've ever seen one that had actual, like, pokey lances. I've seen them where they have, like, Gauss rifles and stuff like that. Yeah. The Volk. Oh! Okay, then I don't know. The Volk. Is that really... It's a Solaris mech at 45 tons. Well, it's kind of cool. We have our 45 tonner. Well, we will in six in-game days, right? Oh, thank you so much. So we got the Volk, yeah? Oh, that's like the exact picture. Holy crap, wow. Developed by Vining Engineering and Salvage Team, the Volk was originally intended as a testbed platform some, for some of Vest's more unique design ideas. However, it proved so effective in the arenas, it saw limited production on the game world. Powered by a 225 rated XXL. Wow, they're pushing the limits there and clad in a mammoth 17.5 it has hardened armor oh wow supercharger double lance hardened armor holy crap wow and then its head is made of lasers jesus wow okay I've never seen that before. That's impressive. Holy crap. Who came up with that idea? 
The vault can take a licking and keep on ticking. Its torso mounted cockpit provides excellent pilot protection while four head mounted ER medium lasers and an SRM4 deal with enemies at range. Up close, the Volk has not one, but two mech scale lances to obliterate enemies with. Truly, the Volk is a terror in the arenas. Oh my god. Dear god, that's terrifying. No kidding. And armor wise, I wonder how much it came with. I mean, if you double this, that's like 200 in the middle, 160 on the... Okay, so not quite what I... I mean, still, pretty impressive you can man that. I remember we kind of had a little bit of an experiment where we took a Clint in our Battle Fantasy Challenge and we stuck hardened armor on that. And that has had as much armor as an Atlas. That was crazy. I mean, it was pushing 2,000, yeah? How much damage do the lances do? Oh, I have no idea, yeah? Of course, it can be completely different mech and rogue tech. The lances, huh? Well, if they're weapons, I know, at least in Battletech Advanced, if you've got Juggernaut, you can get an extra strike with the, um, with your weapons. And on top of that, for the lances, it might be based off of, I know in Rogue Tech, often I saw a lot of, like, the farther you move, the more damage you do, yeah? Yeah, hardened armor, heck yes, that's the way, hey Night Owl, that's the way, because if hardened armor is going to slow you down on walking and sprinting and stuff like that, just jump <laughs> if you can. I mean, if you've got that opportunity. All right. So we're back on in. We're three days out. That's excellent. All of our mechs are fully repaired except for a brand new fire starter. Uh, I don't think there's anything too crazy out here to adjust and we're not on the tick. So we should be able to just kind of go right in. No problem. We will stop by the store because we have that opportunity. So we will stop there. We got a cavalry attack helicopter with LRMs air to ground missiles that's kind of cool very specific for it we've got rhinos battle armor satchel charge i've heard about these i've never tried them look at that 10. so are these these aren't single time use are they powerful explosive devices that have to be placed on its target by hand i kind of want these <laughs> i've heard so much about these battle armor weapon represents a single suits weapon max per squad member one but if you got five 10 structure straight weapon carries five shots wow plus five accuracy with a weapon 200 percent crit hit ch chance with a weapon Ooh, that's kind of expensive though but god i i really want to get that that's crazy at 45 tons it's not that bad with the speed reduction due to the hardened armor oh excellent because it's only like 20 percent yeah ammo lrm double we'll stop by the rousel hog area here we got black hawk coup avatar parts black jack commando dragon dragon fire everyone loves how this thing looks uh we got the j27 the kobold right here uh we've got night hawk too battle armor plasma rifle we were able to pick up some of those Ooh, a battle armor handhold i think i'll grab that i have not seen that for some reason it's super rare or something all right that's awesome that's great wow what a nice pickup let's go we'll head into the command center and see what we got this might all go away when the system changes hands oh wait a minute can i not do it chateau's being raided we're at four to six. Oh, i guess it counts as passing i can't get into the fight anymore oh was there a launch contract oh we don't have launch contract ah oh, drat i think i i think i whiffed it <laughs> I think we missed the opportunity. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're at 4-6 anyway. So we'll let that pass three days. Now what do we got? Blackout urgent. Blackouts or something. All right. Well, here we go. Two skull blackout. This should be interesting. These could be devastating. So this should be kind of cool maybe we should get so lucky so at least we can bring our scorpion once again so we got our bun fire i like it we got the bun goose we got the bun zeal as much as the bun zeal is really really advanced and cool i would rather bring our death's bun mobile but that means having deaths in it and then the bun pop has been just very well rounded it's not super exciting but it's well rounded i'll take it and if we're in the jungle, I'm assuming the Maxim isn't going to be able to move very fast, but maybe the Defender will. So I'm actually going to bring that, even though it's less firepower, it might be able to help. Ooh, maximum 400 tons. Didn't even see that. Oh, well, we're not going to hit that. <laughs> we're not going to hit that at all. So we'll get HP in the Bun Pop, and I think we are good. All right, here we go. Two Skull, difficulty, green, blackout, in the jungle. 
and we are currently at a score of four and six in this flare-up against the planetary government we are down by two will the bunny link suffer a pilot loss five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you got let's go ahead and catch up here yeah the monthly report in rogue tech works different and each bin of ammunition counts a lot towards your monthly bill if you trim down what you don't need a lot of and run lean on ammunition it'll help your monthly expenses oh that's awesome that's awesome i've been clearing out like parts and things like that i haven't been clearing out the ammunition so that's a really good tip thank you so much i'm obviously if we end up taking a look at the finance report back in the commander's quarters then that'll probably give us the breakdown i know that we picked up one reduction of upkeep cost on the monthly basis by like five percent and that was in the in the structural it wasn't in the power conduit section it was in the structural reinforcement section so we picked up one of those but so i'm assuming that's keeping us where we're at but as we obviously as we get more stuff definitely want to clear it out yeah so right now what's the worst that could happen well the worst that could happen is we're going to be facing against multiple assaults at close range but you know i welcome the opportunity because that just means that we can get that stuff too i would love it if the clans appear out of nowhere and we got turrets on our side and they decided they want to destroy all of those turrets i think the scariest bit for me is actually getting into that first initial engagement because you gotta trigger it and you're going to be in a bad spot and usually there are turrets and those turrets pop up and they get an immediate initiative to attack right and that's always a bit of a challenge especially when we have very very light tiny little mechs that you could breathe on and then they explode so we're sort of like fragile bunnies who can take it probably bun pop probably dex but that's about it and the problem with that is then we're in a situation where it might snowball so hopefully hopefully we'll be able to trigger and even if they shoot at us we can maintain our evasion but it's possible we won't so that'll be interesting to see i'm i'm hoping it'll just be like a clean one and then it says go your princess is in another castle right and then we just go to the second area because that's usually where all the good stuff drops you know what i mean all right we'll let it sit for just a second and now we'll head on in. Hopefully that gives it a little time to load textures, things like that. Oh, oh my. There are two main settlements in this area. You know how this goes, buddies. Let's do a sweep and get more information. Let's hope this is just a case of some bad comm systems. The alternative won't be pretty. Oh man. All right, ooh, we get allies. That's excellent news for us. There might be a garrison immediately. Looks like we do see a turret in the distance here. We probably have to get on out, investigate the blackout. Our main target first is there. Okay, so probably got to come around the corner. Might have spawns up here at some point. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, bun pop. At least we've got jump jets here. So if it gets a little bit wonky, we can kind of holler on over. Hey there, Lost Core. Good to see you again. All right, on the move, Dertz. Bon Goose, full speed Mongoose Affirmative 20, Mongoose, Mongoose, Mongoose 2. We got the Bun Fire through the Spore yep. Cloud. Got our Bradford, the infantry fighting vehicle with that Thunderbolt 15. And we got our brand new 35 ton double AC2 right on the Defender. You watched the first episode of Fallout. And that's what I've heard so far. That's excellent. I think Antonine is able to watch like the first four at eight. That's exciting. I didn't even know about it till yesterday when the bunnies were talking about it, yeah? All right, so we got allies. Actually, who are our allies? We've got a Hetzer, a Per LRM. I don't know what that is. Thunderbolt 10 times four. Oh my God. So they've got... Is that eight volleys of a Thunderbolt 10, a Mind Dispenser and an LRM 15? That sounds potent. They've got an LRM 15, SRM 4, double medium laser on a Prowler. And then they've got a trident with LRM 10. A lot of LRMs. I'm all for this. So let's go scouting and we'll let them do the, the work. Yeah. The first four were great. Heck yes. Hopefully it bodes well for Henry Cap. Oh, yes. I want to see Eisenhorn. That's what I want to see. I love the Omnibus. It's like one of my favorite Omnibuses in their Black Library. Push on up. And there we go. We got that speed. We can keep up in the jungle. This is excellent. 
I'm expecting disappointment with Fallout, but I won't write it off till I give it a chance. And I seriously hope I'm wrong. Do we know that's what he's doing? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea, Lost Core. I'm just spitting out. We're talking about TV shows. And I remember I heard something about an Eisenhorn series. And I definitely want to check that out. Yeah. Oh, House Cat. Thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime with us. I know you can only choose one place. And I really appreciate you choosing us. Thank you so much. And I welcome more officially to the Bunny League. Yeah. All right, we're 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 heading through. We're trying to scout for all the LRMs. Looks like they do have some potential turrets out here. Unknown SRM-12. We've got LRM-15. Maybe there's some more. Maybe they'll appear elsewhere. I don't really have a visual on them, so it'll be nice to just kind of get an idea. Yeah, hopefully he does something like that or Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard? What what makes you think Imperial Guard? Or, or what do you mean by Imperial Guard? Like Caiaphas Kane or anything like that? Are we thinking like specifically of books and stuff? All right, Bradford on the move. We got our defender. God, I'm so glad we didn't bring a hovercraft in the jungle. That would have been a mistake, I think. Look at that. We actually have this huge bubble from Deaths with our electronic warfare suite just covering this huge radius, protecting our comms and everything else. So I'm going to tuck up. It's going to take two of us. Got it. If we're talking about Eisenhorn, Abnet, Sis... Ah, gotcha. There you go. There you go. It's starting Rogue Tech after a two-year break. Oh, heck yes, Hell's Cat. High five. That's awesome. Well, hopefully you enjoy yourself. It is a bit like, you know, it's it's got its... It's got its own charms, for sure. And I'm glad that you're, you've are you been playing BTA. That is a great, great mod. All right, Bunfire. Gaunt's Ghost is more successful than Eisenhorn. Ah, see, I didn't even, I've never read Gaunt's Ghost, believe it or not. I have not, so I, I wouldn't know. I don't know too much about it. I mean, I've definitely heard of it, but and I saw it in bookstores, but I haven't actually gotten into the series. I liked getting the omnibuses because they're usually like a trilogy of books in one. Like I really liked the uh, the Grey Knight omnibus. So those two are kind of probably my off the top of my head my two favorite. All right, Dead's right on in. That's one. That counts as one. We got the Bun Goose. I don't know if I want to get them to investigate, but. Oh, gosh. Let's go with... We got Bunfire, Bradford. Let's tuck that up a little. We'll get Amiel up in the Defender. Maybe the Defender? This seems like a bad idea. Advancing. Enjoying the early game, but struggling with decent mech upgrade. Oh, yes, me too. I mean, five, six streams in, we're still trying to get, like, basic stuff. So <laughs> that's par for the course. Good job, man. Gotcha. I'm not going down without a fight. I saw what you did. I'll let the whole world know at the trial. I recognize that voice. That is the witness. It seems to be a recorded message, though. I mean, that's real great. They think we're after them. Turn spinning up bunnies. Better deal with this first, then we can go thank the witness. So how many? I mean, I know there were potentially two, right? Oh, hello. Defender, we've got the light sniper, we've got the light LRM turret. Is it just the two? It might just be the two. This is the trap. Oh my gosh. It's one of those things where you can't attack it yet. All right, fantastic. We'll we'll go active guardian ECM and we're just gonna try and jam what we can for now. Uh we got the bun fire. We're going active guardian ECM and we're gonna just get as aggressive as possible. I guess maybe pull back away from him. And we got the bun ping ping, no shots hold. And now I think we are allowed to. Yeah, we are allowed to engage now. So we can see there are four. There are four. So which one do we have here? We've got light laser turret, double medium, so like a spider turret. We've got a single AC2 on the sniper turret. We've got LRM15, triple LRM5, and SRM12. Probably want to get rid of the shredder because we're all in close range. It'd be fantastic to remove it. So we got it. A little bit close for LRMs, but right now this is where we're at. We'll go ahead and tune up to 12 and shot. Stack it. Down to 71. And we'll move in. We got the bun fire. Definitely close enough. And send seven. Seven flamers. Ooh, 51. There we go. Critical hit. 
and joining me uh gaunt's ghost founding omnibus followed by the saint omnibus and the lost Ooh, i don't know the saint or the lost which one's the saint yeah i tried rogue tech a few years ago but i was a bit confused with some of the complexity oh hang on let's go ahead and ping that uh you know what we'll hit that guy even after having played Battletech Advance all these years. Oh, heck yes. High five. Welcome oh back, Gothic. What well, I mean, this is as good a place to learn as any because I'm still learning too, yeah? It's been many years. I, it, well, it's been a few years as well for me. Last time I played, I think might have been like 2020 or 2021. Uh, so, yeah, I'm I'm there with you. Still, tr still trying to learn, yeah? Now uh, we got Bung Goose. Let's burn that down. I'm not sure they would do that one either. It's basically like Band of Brothers with like five times the amount of important characters compared to Eisenhorn. Well, I mean, there are plenty of TV series out there where they've got access to, you know, like they actually have a lot of characters in it. So it might be kind of nice, you know, like Lost or something. So maybe. Oh, I guess. Yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Chances are I won't know. <laughs> and then that'll just open the field to ask, right? A lot of bunnies here know. Eisenhorn series is all I've read. Well, I got 30 pages into some Eisenstein flight book and bogged down and lost interest in book four of the heresy series Eisenhorn series. I, I, I loved the Eisenhorn series. I read that to Raven, actually. And so she and I both enjoyed that. And then I think... I tried to get into Beckwin, which I think comes afterwards, and I was a little lost, and then we lost steam with it. So if that's what you mean by book four, Beckwin, then I, I had trouble in the same one, and I, I never finished that one. It'd be cool to do a Space Marine Focus one, but I just don't see him doing justice with it. Yeah, that would be tough. Ooh, Ravenor, yes. There you go, there you go. That I think I think that's where I was sitting. That's where I was sitting. Because he was after Eisenhorn. Yeah. Alright, bun pop. At least we got that high ground. Send a stack. Okay, we can we can survive the trap. I think it'll be okay. I was a little bit worried because sometimes they've got double LB20 ace, you know, ACs or something. You'll have to see what happens, but fortunately it seems like they weren't that cruel. There we go. Beautiful. What a pain. We couldn't even trace the location of the witness as it was just a recording. We've got no choice but to head to the next settlement and hope they're there. Well, actually, that kind of works out for us. Since we've cleared that trap, we've taken minimal damage. That means that we should be in a decent spot in order to actually engage on the next one. And I'm hoping... So I haven't done this specific blackout before. I'm hoping that means there's going to be some kind of assault that we need to defend against. And that'll just be perfect, yeah? Uh, Eisenhorn Eisenstein, I feel at home. There's lots of German terms. Unfortunately, I don't know what you're... <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair, Panzer. That's very fair. Uh, part of the... Part of the Warhammer 40k universe, yeah? Xavier version of Warhammer 40k. The... What's the Xavier version? Ravenor, I found it to be even better. Oh, you like you liked it than Eisenhorn in the end? See, I I don't remember. I have the Ravenor books. And then I I think I stopped on Beckwin. I don't remember if that's like the second or third or one. Oh, Professor X in a metal coffin. <laughs> you mean the, the throne? I need to just look up what books are about Nurgle and read those. Ooh, well, I think they're... Yeah, I haven't read any Nurgle ones, but I think... Here we go. Just look up... That's a great question. I actually have no idea. I was going to say, just look up Chaos, look up this, look up... I'm like, I, I actually don't know. So, yeah. You'll have to let me know. I don't know. <laughs> Bun, ping, ping, and hold. So we're just right here. That's not too bad. Interesting, they've got their own... ECM circle and that's coming from maybe here they have here much better defenses which is odd maybe they're on our side that would be ideal and then hopefully we have to hold off an invasion or something I'm assuming this has the EWS in it or something yep 
Uh, isn't Ravnor basically an equivalent of a Dreadnought in the books, where he's a floating coffin that transports him due to what happened to him in Eisenhorn? It's been so long, I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Like, I remember... I do remember trying to force myself through Beckwin and not being able to do it. Yeah. Hey, Antonidas, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great rest, and we'll catch you on the next one, man. High five. And we got Bun Ping Ping hold. So if we get to the settlement, do we only have to trigger it with one? It's basically a moving coffin, but it's massively powerful psyker. Man. They got a thing for coffins in 40k. <laughs> coffins are like the stylish way to get around, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I think it's kind of, I can, I get it, you know? Oh, here we go. Chateau settlement. We are a Russell Hoggy and Aligned Force attempting to offer aid and support. What is the current situation here? Am I glad to see you guys? I'm in Wittsec, but these murdering bastards found me. I watched them burn my wife's son and do the same for my whole damn town. Now they want to do the same here. Please, stop them. Hang on. We'll do what we can. Bunnies, you've got an incoming leopard on your position. They'll be on you in moments. All right, well... Where are they going to land, though? I guess the question. Hopefully we're not in their, you know, in their spot. Yeah. Oh, they're right there. Oh, my God. They've got an Owens with double machine gun Blackwell. Tag Streak SRM4. Small pulse laser Blackwell. they got a Strider. So a little tiny Omni there at 40 tons. LRM20 Zeus. They've got a Stalking Spider. Hello. Double clan machine gun heavy. Clan large heavy laser. And double clan SRM4. Oh, my God. <laughs> driven by someone called salty and a cougar the bunnies were just talking about that double clan large improved heavy laser double clan lrm 10 and a clan micropulse these are excellent all right that's what we're talking about all right let's get these guys well can we even shoot on this turn i don't think so they're still coming on in so let's get our evasion up and let's get on the move this is truly excellent all right, we got our bun fire. I would love to charge in, give him a little bit of our burn. Well, We've got the Bradford. We got to move. We got to pull on back or tuck on through. Here we go. At least we'll have direct line of sight for Superior Daisy with a firing port and the battle armor support PPC. will cruise on over with the defender and we got the bun okay. ping ping to hold. Let us see what they got. All right, here we're on 18. Bun pop. Can we give them the kick? 19% to connect. 19 percent 22 on the cougar do we risk that that seems a little if it goes wrong could go horribly wrong so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna hold right here we got tank here the bungoose when do they get to go they're on 14 and 16 let's go ahead and hold past the 16 it's gonna be that first strider they've got 12 of eight yeah yeah we want to let them go don't we the book I gave up on too soon was Nurgle based. Okay, at least I never sold it back to a used bookstore. I need to give fly to the Eisenstein. <laughs> hey, at least you found out, right? Better late than never. It's written from a pretty passive point of view because he can't move. Well, yeah, I suppose. But a lot of things can happen in the mind in uh, 40K. So, all right, let's hang tight here. I strongly recommend Matthias Thulman, Witch Hunter, basically the Warhammer fantasy version of the Eisen. Ooh, okay. Lost Core, thank you. I never really got into Warhammer, like just flat Warhammer fantasy. So, I mean, I wouldn't... I That's probably why I haven't even looked at it yet. So thank you so much for the recommendation. We got Cougar. He's very hot. It'd be nice to get him even hotter. Maybe we'll be a little more gentle by coming in from this side right here. 61%. We might be able to do it. And if we can push him even harder, maybe we can get him to shut down. He's a clanner after all. Snap, kick it. Oh, we whiff it, unfortunately. So we'll just give him a little burn. He's already over threshold. Negative Seven damage. flamers. Repeat. Negative there we go. Double that. That's fantastic. 45 heat from external sources. Stalking spider two. That's the other clan one. Oh, boy. Don't like it. That's a lot of guns. Gaunt's Ghost is interesting because the backstory is a commissar that somehow has the command of an Imperial Guard unit. Oh, there's the endless machine guns. We'll have to put up for that with a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? We want a direct line. He's on eight, so I'm gonna... We got a shot. 51, 9, 23. Okay. 
I don't want to hit our bun pop with a Thunderbolt 15. So I'm going to hold for a second. It usually goes away when the unit itself shoots. Oh, that would be great if it does. What if we kill it by accident? <laughs> I've had that happen before. All right, we are maybe a little too close for LRMs. We could get in with a swift kick. Maybe coming around. Yeah, we'll come around to the, to the side here. We are in the fire. 59. Here we go. Usually doesn't go away if it's destroyed. Okay, let's not destroy. <laughs> Snap kick, good connect, and guns, guns, guns. The Tanith first amul defender. Shot. Got dead. And we're going to go in and try... You know what? I'm actually going to ping out right here. There we go. Uh, the Tanith first and only men who watched their homeworld burn by chaos because Gaunt decided it was better to evacuate to use him in a battle that matter instead of sacrificing everyone for a last stand. So many in the regiment blame him for the death. Oh, that's that sucks. I mean, as long... I mean, yeah, that sucks. He's, I assume he was trying to do his best to protect everybody, but, you know, you can't always have everything. I got you. This guy's already busted. This might not be gentle, but we'll try. Here we go. All right, that's good. That's good. We got a tag. We got a little bit of impairment there. That's excellent. And we got Mac. Let's hold. Nine and eight. There was no choice. They're going to die. Yeah, see? It's just hard to understand if you weren't there, I guess. Yeah. Please move. Please go that Owens there we go Ooh. all right all right that's fair that's fair that's fine that's fine we're good we're good we're fine so now we can actually push up we got a bun ping ping shot really close stack him there it is Oh, they nailed that guy in the head. He's bleeding out in 11 on the stalking spider. Maybe we get ourselves another quad? That'd be cool. And we got the Bradford. We got the green. Super close. Kind of, I mean, really close for a Thunderbolt. But what if we jack this up to six? Send it. <laughs> that would be incredible if we hit a point blank Thunderbolt 15. That would be crazy. Uh, played in one campaign in my 20s. The GM made a mashup with yeah. Palladium. Uh, my character was a war priest of a nation that worshipped corn. You... <laughs> you... <laughs> you and Chaos are like this. Let me... <laughs> All right, Cougar. Stalking. Yeah, Cougar it is. Shot. Oh, that's what we like to see. Omnimech Gyro Crit. That's excellent because we can get that back no problem. Oh, I was hoping that was the trigger and it would reset. All right, bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. All right, give him a nice swift kick. A lot of flame. Probably open this up right here. Oh, look at the heat here. It's sweltering. Can we bring him all the way to the edge? Oh! Is that a full one? He had the double large improved heavy lasers. He had the double LRM 10. And he had, man, those are all clan tech. And we only crit the gyro. That might be pristine. That is really, really excellent if that is the case. Let's go in and march it on in. We got that stalking spider. And send it. Tag up. There we go. Work that back. This is the other guy with the clan tech. We got Mac. We'll get on over. Actually, you know what? We'll just kind of tuck here. And I want to, on the Strider, that's 18. All right, I guess we'll we'll try to hit this guy. High explosive is kind of dangerous, but that's fine. That's fine. And we got dead. Coming around. Shot. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes! <laughs> This is going so well. Holy crap, this is going well. And
and shot. Double AC too, which is kind of ticking away. There we go. Basically, Gaunt had a command of a few thousand against a massive armada of chaos that broke through. Instead of staying on planet to all die, he decided to evacuate so he could be of use in Slado's crusade where they could make a difference. Man. That's... See? That's just it. He had his heart in the right place, yeah? Enemy flanking. Oh boy, I don't like that. We're fine. We just gotta flip it around. We can make it happen. Bun ping. No shots, unfortunately. I guess we'd have to get out and shoot this guy. All right, we're going to dismount for the first time. Do we have the... Do we have the line? Can we hop in? There we go. There we go. Superior. No joy. In the book, some of the officers attempted to... Oh, man. Reason is in the strong point. Yeah. <laughs> Hold. Yeah, this is just like a giant loot chest of a mission. Even if we fail the flare up, this is just excellent. Wow. They watch from orbit their fan. Yeah, I mean, I get you. What do you need? It's a tough situation for everybody. All right, let's go. What Snap on Owens. With it. 50 50 on the pulse. Stack. A little bit of guns. We got. Akin to on the kick. Position confirmed. All right, there it is, and give him the burn. Oh, burn his head too! Holy crap! Wow, right, that guy got sixty heat off of that. Skipper. Got our bung goose right in. Roger, skipper, taking it. And I shot. And Mac my way. will shut off the Thunderbolt 15 in such close quarters and just give him the chem laser and guns. Oh, come on. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. You don't, you don't want this. You don't want to be here. Shot. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Wow. Thank you. I'll personally make sure this witness makes a difference at the trial nice to make a difference especially when we get paid oh my god that was excellent will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss no not at all that is a resounding no congratulations to those who had the faith has flipped this over we might have three ejected mechs on the field packed full of stuff yeah that is crazy mod makers have really missed an opportunity to make a tzatziki add-on buff for years maybe next day say what now <laughs> i have not caught up have i for Yeros. Wait, why Yeros? I mean, I love Yeros, but 581,003 points in the flare up. We have no damages. So we got the Cougar at 17, the Stalking Spider. I mean, the Cougar has most of the stuff. So it has built in all this clan tech. We've got a clan double heat sink kit, clan engine excel. It's like completely pristine. If we look at the Stalking Spider at 45, so even heavier clan srm 8 it has the clan large heavy laser oh it's actually a clan mech the stalking spider oh wow oh my god i didn't know that ammo heavy machine gun gosh i don't know what should we get <laughs> this is a bunch of stuff in it this is 45 tons though well let's see not gyros oh gy oh gyros oh god <laughs> I thought, you know, you just got to shave off a little bit of gyro here. You got to pack it with the right stuff. We want the good stuff inside the gyros. You know what I mean? Now I get it. Better with cucumber. Everything's better with cucumber sauce. Okay, so let's see. We have to choose right now. Let's see. What else is here? LRM5 double heat sink. So it's really between the mix. So we got a 45 tonner and they're both pretty pristine. The Stalking Spider 2 features most notably a heavy large laser along with a pair of SRM-4 launchers. Due to a design flaw, the ammunition feed for the SRM launchers occasionally explodes. Oh, well, that's riveting. What a good review. Yelp just screwed this guy. Rounding out its weaponry, the quad features a pair of heavy machine guns mounted in the left torso. 
The Stalking Spider 2 is protected by 9.5 tons of standard armor, which includes its built-in case that minimizes damage from ammunition explosions. With its 225 rated standard fusion engine, the Spider is able to move at a maximum speed of 86 kilometers per hour. We've got the Cougar. This configuration carries two improved heavy large lasers, two LRM-10s for anti-infantry work, a micro-pulse, an engine supercharger allows it to move at 100 kilometers in brief bursts. I mean, if we look at the damage potential, if we look at the movement, this has four hard points. This has... Oh, this does not have... It's not an Omni. Okay, that makes a big difference, yeah? I think I'd rather go with a Cougar, and then we can break this down, and we have... Oh, we might be able to get both in a way the stalking spider uses masc to move up to 119 yeah that's a lot to read so right now what i'm thinking so so take a look at this if we look at the stalking spider this is a quad it's not an omnimech if we look at the cougar it's an omnimech right so if we were to let's say get the stalking spider then the stuff on it will already be installed. If we break this down, we still have enough parts to get pick four. We wouldn't get the stuff inside. Ah, Trent. Now we want some Tabula. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna get the Cougar. We're gonna disassemble this and see what we got. So we got Owens. We could get the platform. There's another Clan Large Heavy Laser. Clan Machine Guns SRM 4 times 2 and a steel clan double heat sinks we could use them we could use the kits i'm honestly the kits are huge like really really big i might leave this behind and get the kit instead what else do they have on the bottom obviously you're gonna need the clan ammunition which we don't really have an abundance of there's a double heat sink kit which we actually have some of so i think i'll get the ammo too just to make sure that we can fuel this okay that's not too bad yeah Disassemble all equals sell it. Uh, disassemble means, you see how we get these full mechs here? It takes 1 plus 17 of our salvage to get it. So it'll disassemble all of the ones that were put together and spread it out in the loot table. So the loot table gets huge, but you're only allowed to pick uh, one of these whole mechs for, like, per loot salvage table. <laughs> That's a horrible description. So since you can only choose one, if you want the stuff inside the other ones, then you can break them apart and then take the components and then roll on the table, yeah? So like in this case, I chose these plus the one I chose, the Cougar, which comes with all the stuff inside. So three, two, and one, we get pick eight. So right now we got one part of the stalking spider. We've got the whole Cougar. We've got two clan SRM fours. We've got some case. Uh, we've got three clan double heat sinks, clan double heat sink kit, heavy machine gun ammunition, and clan SRM ammunition. Excellent. So then now we can go ahead and take a look at it. it sh we sh Actually, we don't have any space, so we're going to have to drop something out. If we do have to drop something out, I think I'm going to drop out the second Uziel. Yeah, no, no, no. You'll, you'll, it'll become a little more clear in just a second, Gothic. So basically, there were on the loot table. There were four mechs there and they were fully put together, right? So in Rogue Tech, unlike with BTA, I think the default in BTA, if you put something together, you can, I think you can set it so that it doesn't do this, but if you put something together from parts, like four parts, let's say, then the mech chassis goes together, you get all the stuff inside, right? So the engines installed, all that. But in this case, if you were doing a lot of damage to the mech, then it's, if you blew out like some weapons, those weapons are probably destroyed. So you can take a look at the what's inside. In this case, we were very, very, very gentle with this Cougar. So when we put it together, it should be in really, really good condition. And we should get a lot of additional stuff along with the chassis. So, uh, but we'll we'll see it in just a sec. So we've got Conmarth Pride decided to upgrade the mechs her clan fielded. Rather than waste precious resources designing a new Omnimech from the ground up, she instructed her scientists to improve upon existing designs. The design the scientists chose to modify was the Adder. Though the two mechs are visually similar and share the same weight, the Cougar is slower and better armed. So four days for everybody, because we have to repair the armor, but we need to choose something to pull down. I think I'm actually going to pull down this second Uziel, 
right here. We'll put that into storage. And that'll allow us to get the Cougar at 35 tons. Seems like a weird sort of trade. But now that we look at the Cougar, we can see it right here. And we can actually see what's left inside and what can be repaired and what cannot. So right now, we were very gentle. Because the only thing that we lost was a Clan Micro Pulse. That is really nice. That's really, really nice. So we actually got all the stuff on it this time, yeah? The cougar cougars are tough and experienced. No need to be gentle. You just have to hope they're just... <laughs> I think I see where you're going with that. LRM Clan. We've got... Actually, Clan Ferrofibers comes with case already. Let's see. What else do we have? We've got Land Booster Pack, Upper Recoil. If we... How much armor can we get back? So we're sitting at 85, 46 on the back. We've got 30... What do we go? 35... 35 we've got that 45 and then we bring this up just a touch and then we bring that down there how's our heat efficiency horrible 76 heat on the alpha dear god holy crap wow they didn't <laughs> they like to push the limit that's all i gotta say yeah stalking spider would definitely have been better in terms of chassis well oh well <laughs> I like the stuff on it. Even if we break the chassis down, we got a, I feel like we got a lot out of this. I'm not too sure about the heat though. That's kind of interesting. But uh, I mean, at the very least, we can at least get it repaired. How This is just uh, location destroyed, but we can repair that. We'll just go three days on it, get it back, and then we can kind of mess around with it to make it a little more balanced per se. I can see why it got really, really hot though. Storage wise, so we got Kobold, the GDS, we got the Ferret VTOL. That was the Tag Barrage Ferret, right? So we'll go in and clear that. We got the Sayax, we'll go in and clear those out. And the whole time, if we look at the upper left here, you see that our upkeep is going down because we're having to carry around less and less stuff in our storage. So Osiris, our Falcon, our Arctic Fox part, the Scimitar, this is the LRM Scimitar, down to 830,000 on the upkeep. We've got the Stiletto part. The Aw Scout. I think I'll clear the Aw Scout bits here, yeah? Another great read is the Night Lord's Om. I've heard good things about that one. I have, yeah? With a system, I imagine it must be a bit more difficult to loot engine cores. Um, I guess so. Yeah, I can see that. I guess it depends on how you tackle the mechs themselves. Like, this is why Omni mechs are really, really cool for just being more intact, right? Because you can destroy the core and basically get it right back so that's always a plus um but yeah i can i can definitely see it might be a little more tricky yeah let's see we got our storage we've got the vehicle bay uh we've got we just picked up just j37 i'm not too sure what to make of this it comes with fluid it comes with the ammunition refill oh it's just like a better more heavily armored j27 I guess that makes sense. It's the J37. It doesn't look like it can repair as much or like re, I guess, reload as much. It doesn't have as much ammo spammy, but it can do a little bit. But then it also has triple fluid guns with acid inferno and then oil and paint. And then it has a medium pulse. So I might just, that's really cool. I didn't realize that. I might actually pull this down and just keep that one. We'll just see how that goes. Yeah. Excluding the Chancellor's Pride Raven. Oh, we, we want the Raven the night well let's see where are we at so right now oh are we done with the flare up if we push forward what happens oh no there's a raid contract oh crap there's another one okay i think this might be the very last one of this flare up we're sitting right on the edge here i think it's going to be the very last of the flare up because we were at four six and if we dropped at three points, we're sitting at basically one mission away from the end of the flare up. So this is a one and a half skull green blackout. We're choosing six pick 27. I wasn't paying too much attention and I got right back into it. So this should be kind of interesting. We, I guess we'll bring our, our Bunziel. Yeah. And instead of the defender, we're in the lowlands. I think we could probably get away with the Maxim instead. Although the defender wasn't wasn't horrible, it would just be nice to have something a little bit different. And here we go, blackout. We're bringing the Bunzeal instead. One and a half skull green blackout in the lowlands. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? This is probably going to be the last one in the flare up. 
and then hopefully hopefully we'll win it if we don't that's okay because their loot crates are probably not very good anyway yeah <laughs> The penalty has to be somewhere if you got the firepower of an inner... Inner... <laughs> I'm guessing you meant in... I'm guessing before Google Translate, it was Inner Sphere Heavy Mech. In this case, it's the heat. But I love Inernus Fairy Heavy Mech. <laughs> That's so good. Man, Google Translate is something else. Inernus Fairy Heavy Mech. Yeah. I think I, think I get what you're saying, uh, Panzer. You're just saying that with an Inner Sphere heavy mech versus let's say like a light fast high damage output clanner mech that's going to run a lot hotter uh as a price for the power is, is my guess i <laughs> i think dug in deep lee so we got blackout one and a half skull green so it's not the jungle Ideally, the one I'd really like would be the one with the crazy dog lady because she always has good stuff on the menu. But I don't think this is going to be crazy dog lady. If it is, I'll be very happy because usually crazy dog lady has like the best reinforcements coming in right next to you. You just got to kick them and blast them in the butt and it's all over and you get really good stuff. Yeah. Are there color tiers for mission difficulty? Yes. So green, I imagine is the easiest and one and a half skull within that. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. So I think it goes green up to purple i could be wrong there where red is like you know i think right below purple i don't remember what the other colors are though so but yes you're correct it's a five skull system within a color and then the colors themselves are in sequence to go higher and higher landing site secure let's do what we agreed bunnies scout out that data relay and take it from there good luck bunnies all right, so, oh, we've got the FRR with us again. They are never leaving us alone. That's awesome. And yeah, no worries. If you've got questions, I may not have answers, but I'm going to at least tell you I don't <laughs> and I'll try. And then, you know, it might pique my interest and expose that I don't know something. And I don't mean that in a bad way because I don't know a lot of things, but it might expose that I don't know something and I wasn't even aware that was a thing that I should probably know. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. We've got our Maxim. Yes, get out on the road. That's what we like to see. Getting out on the road is important for the Maxim because no way would we want to be in the trees. We really don't go anywhere at that point. Looks like we've got some useless tunnel rat and some inner sphere standard light mortars. And oh, the FRR decided to bring all battle armor and no way to get into the battlefield. Well, that's cool. Well, at least we've got a stiletto with us. That's very advanced. Yeah. Well, let's push forward with a Bunziel. Yep. And we are almost there. Maybe we'll let them establish themselves on the battlefield first, but we just need to get out of the tree so that we can move freely. Look at that difference. That's excellent. And we got the bun ping ping here. Yeah. Okay, so this is not the one with the crazy dog lady. We got to get up that hill on the next one. Yeah. The Donald Rumsfeld, we don't know what we don't know. Hey, or Bun Bun, that's right. After all, what is the Bunny League without understanding the levels of our ignorance, right? <laughs> Let's just be real. I mean, Bunny Man never said he knows everything. Bunny Man didn't ever even say that he knows a lot. <laughs> but at least because of it it means that i'm open to learn more things right <laughs> so i count that as a win all right let's go maxim hello and bun ping ping let's do this you know maybe we should do a bit of a drive-by actually i'm i if i were playing this solo i would let all the battle armor creep up to us and then i would initiate but i'm not gonna do that because ain't nobody got time for that we're just gonna sprint on past this place death and then we shall approach from the other side that way we're already on the way to the next site up here yeah so we'll go bun goose let's do it only the wise man knows that he knows nothing or whatever that old greek guy said yes that's right oh i love it i love it that is a fantastic quote i would probably remember it the exact same way i'm not saying that we have to be the same but i'm just saying that that don't worry don't worry you're not alone 
actually in all seriousness if there's one thing that i hope gets across even non-verbally in the bunny league and i don't even know how many people are here right now so if there's one thing i hope gets across it's just that if i can do something you can do Roger it too that, that's it that's it right so that's there's a reason why i don't play with a lot of mods or i don't have like bta and then i'll Advancing. cheat in a bunch of, bunch of stuff or something like that you know uh, the reason why I don't do that is because I want to show people that, A, we are... The idea of learning together or growing together... Oh, am I stuck here? Oh, or we're inside. I didn't even realize. The idea of that is just that you can see it happen. You could see it in your own game. If I do something, you can do it too. And, like, if I'm... If the bunnies are going through something, then... I like to think that I might be able to do it too, you know? So I'm just glad that I have the opportunity Good to up. be ignorant. Not and yet. thus, there are so many helpful bunnies out there who are willing to teach me. So I guess it goes both ways, okay. right? Let's go. All right. So obviously we kind of shot right by. You're probably thinking, my God, what are you doing? Well, we just got that guy to actually participate. That's excellent. Interesting that he kind of has those. Do you remember when you had the ravens in the urban biome when they first came out in vanilla? They had the little like stealth icons. I'm going to have to look this up on the rogue tech wiki, but because I don't remember what yep. those mean. So now we'll actually go and approach by coming on down again. And at least we're on this side of the engagement. And that way, if the enemy or just if they're just turrets, if they decide to engage us, it's actually not too horrible because maybe just maybe that means that they're going to be facing different directions if facing has any meaning at all. Right. So we'll just go super wide. Oh, my God, we can go so quickly. That's impressive. Very, very impressive indeed. I was about to ask that, too. He's got five electricity thingies. You know what? I, I that I don't know. I know that it looks like he's got stealth armor. We have taken down the Stiletto 4X before, and I actually have, I think we've taken down two of them so far, and we actually picked up stealth armor from it. So I know he's got stealth armor, but I don't think that necessarily has to do with stealth armor. So at this point, I'm just making assumptions and guessing. So I'll have to look it up first on that one. Confirmed. It does, it does. That has to do with the stealth. Oh, well, color me, color me right then. No, I mean what do you know what it has to do <laughs> oh there we go there we go no wonder the data steam cut off he's got comcast this place has been slagged maybe there's more we can find out in the main compound okay well that was that was uneventful and i love it i'm glad that we didn't get ambushed that's tre excellent uh, we'll just kind of follow along the road here and i'm so glad that we're so zippy tuned we can just go wherever we want hunkering down of course, the battle armor isn't going to be in near us anytime soon, but that's okay. All right. So, superior to hold. That leaves us for six. Seven. We just got to climb up the hill like Thomas the Tank Engine. Just get on up like the little bunny that could. And here we go. And I think, I think we should be seeing like turrets and stuff down here. Yeah, there's some turrets out here. I, ideally, we'd be up top. So I'm just going to wait till we can group up on the top and then we'll kind of send down the bait down below. <clears throat> Did I say bait? I didn't mean bait. <laughs> and, you know, maybe we might coax a certain stealthy somebody to kind of say hello. All right, Bradford. Who's Bradford anyway? He's coming on up and he's ready to fight in a vehicle. There we go. Bring it around. We're just kind of running circles until we all catch up. Yeah. Good luck to those guys way back at the spawn. It'd be great. I know they've got mortars and all, but I don't think their range is like tube artillery. All right, deaths. All right, we'll at least move into a spot where he's ready to go. And he's going to be like, oh, Susanna, just coming around the mountain. Understood. And we got Bun Goose. And we got Bun Fire. Ah, uh, 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 Bun Fire. 
There we go. And then we will cruise on over. And we are almost there. Hold. Uh, it's been a while since I played Rogue Tech, but I think it's a measure of your stealth bonus. Oh, that's excellent. I just remember with the, the Urban DLC, when you had the Raven, it had little, I don't know, like stealth charges, if that made sense. And then they would deplete almost like evasive pips. I think that's how that worked, but it's been a, so long since I had access to that specific mechanic. Because now Ravens and ECM, it's just like radius and interactions between them. The Bunny League, we weren't expecting to see you in one piece anyway. What a sight for sore eyes. Welcome to the front lines. Say what now? Front lines? Lucky us. We've been sent by Russell Hogg to aid and assist. How are y'all doing in there? What's the sit rep? We first noticed our data streams were being interrupted and then had the odd scout probe our defenses. You arrive right on time for the main event. We've got in contacts incoming. We're like who? And why is your name Alice? Are you from Resident Evil or something? Don't think it works that way anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Comcast still sucks in 31st century. Rebranded to Comstar. New leadership. Better, more reliable service. They said I'll eat my boots if any of us. <laughs> I hear you. You caught on to that one. You caught on to that one. So is it just okay? These are our turrets and oh, they're right here. Oh my God. They like to drop right on top of us. They got a swordsman. They've got a kudo. They've got a locust, an OP locust. That's right. And they've got two kudos. Okay. I don't think I've ever encountered a kudo before. That's kind of interesting. Well, tell you what, let's pull back so that we can pull in. Yeah. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. It is some kind of Wonderland, this blackout. It's always somewhat abstract in nature and structure, I feel. All right. Bunzeal. Oh, yes. I wish I could. I wish I could. It's not going to... Oh, it will. 12%. But obviously, we have to think about, you know, stuff like evasive pips and all. They're on eight. I will gladly wait. They're salty. I like how the stiletto's being driven by salty. I would not be salty for driving that. That yeah. thing's really advanced. All right, we could, in theory, EWS ping. Ping out. Hey there, Rhubarb. Good to see you. Welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently, I think, on the last, potentially, on the last mission of this flare-up, yeah? It has been quite a run. Hopefully, you're doing well, yeah? And high explosive. Why not? A little bit of splash there. Hey, yo. And we got tank. We're moving into active guardian ECM so that we can get aggressive. Get them in the circle, jam on up, and we'll just kind of shoot in the general vicinity. Hope for the best. They've got bolt on tandem rockets, double machine guns on that locust. It's all about those rockets, it seems. Kind of exploiting any breaches that its allies could get. And we're going active on the guardian ECM, and hopefully we'll be able to burn that guy. Full speed, no target. 16. Sure. We'll take it. Before they get to go. That'll be great. If it's possible. Alright, stack. And again, I forgot to change the order. There we go. What do we got? Stack. Large laser Trinell. Yeah, these are not super fancy mix. <laughs> All right, Bunzeal, active. We're just stacking everything that we can. Roger. Stack Kudo. I'll take it. Short range missiles are out. Looks a lot like a Centurion, but 45 tons on the Kudo. There's the swordsman. Ooh, hello. Oh, wait. Does, was that us? Or was that our allies? So that was a cute... Interesting. I think it was our allies shooting at him. Because I was like, they just hit their ally, yeah? Oh, my God. 
in Battletech Advance, it always seems to me like the tag shoots first, no matter where in the order you have it. Oh my God. MPG. <laughs> Holy crap. Welcome Raiders. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Hopefully you're all having a great day. Yeah. How are y'all doing? Holy crap. One of my favorite guys. High five, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hey, silly putty. Good to see you. If you're joining us right now. We might potentially be on the very last part of this flare up because we were at a score of four to six and now we're kind of on that single digit rim or edge and there we're we on go. the second part of this blackout and we are currently all standing in fast cam it's just kind of how we roll it's our party yeah hopefully you're doing well welcome good to see you and bunnies if you haven't checked out mpg absolutely right, love your stream looks like hell it does in fact we have so much heat out here my I might even say that we're turning it into hell. That's right. Here we go. Let's get that out there. He is a total freaking gem. All right, let's get in there. We actually have a Thunderbolt 15 infantry fighting vehicle that we are hoping to kind of share the love with all of the enemies. 57. We're looking at the backside of a baby little locust. Everyone loves it. There we go. Hey, Blue Devil Spawn. Thank you so much for the following. Welcome to the Bunny League. Yeah, high five. There. There are weapons that are fired one after the other, and even if you put them in a certain order, they always have a previous sequence that has something to do with how quickly the weapons fire, but that doesn't have a serious effect on a BTA because the order of the weapons is relevant. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know it's Rogue Tech, so I figure it wouldn't hurt because I don't fully understand Rogue Tech, so I'm still learning at the same time. The Commando Army, well, yes that's just it if you look right now way in the distance you're probably wondering why they have so many allies from the frr why oh my gosh they're so noisy well these little tunnel rats these little inner sphere standard and even though we actually have grenade launchers and mortars they decided they want to just chill at the spawn i don't know how useful they are so they're kind of leaving all the heavy lifting to us that's okay we could use practice yeah hey diddle diddle straight down the middle that's right rhubarb all right, so we are working it. They're just trying to charge on through towards to take down some kind of Alice in Wonderland lady. I don't quite fully understand it, but does it matter? We've got enemies to destroy. We've got loot to take, and I can't wait to see the loot crate at the end because if it's the end of this flare-up, that means we will get a beautiful loot crate. Does it mean it's going to be good? No. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> It really doesn't. I mean, last time I think we got an attachment for like a laser. I think that was it. Yeah, and an SRM2. I'm pretty sure we got an SRM2. It was a nice SRM2 though. And then we got a little bit of cash. Yeah, I think we broke six figures once. That was pretty good. Uh, let's get on over. We've got death. Nice thing is we do have our Scorpion. We've got the quad. We might as well get in with a nice swift kick. This is death we're talking about. There we go. This, ooh, a charge. Should we? Is that worth it? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's not worth it. In fact, let's just do this instead. We'll come it around. We've got the shot. We really don't enjoy this little locust, so we'll give him a little bit of burn there, yeah? Speaking of which, there's no point in shooting. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. I guess. It's not the not knowing that makes it good. Oh, that's true. That's true. It's very important for us. We are addicted to the loot crate gotcha. That's kind of a thing around here. Or at least for me, yeah? Uh, there's no point in shooting tank first. It only becomes active after the turn. Ah, well, I, I will. I'll try to keep that in mind, but I think it's like force a habit now. I try to order the tag up first just in case because I never know. Yeah, but that is good to know. There we go. We're swordsmen. I love it when we got turrets on our side. There's the baby 45 ton kudos that are basically like tiny baby centurions. They're pushing on forward with the swordsmen. They actually look very, very similar indeed. They're only five tons apart. And, oh, yep, that's that's probably our allies, I'm pretty sure. Because they've got mine dispensers. That would make sense. So maybe we don't even move and we just give them a little bit of Dante's Inferno from the rear. That's... I'm sure Pepto-Bismol's not going to take care of that, right? Turrets are the bestest of friends. Heck yes! Well, they are definitely... They like to tank for you. It's basically like a whole MMO party in one tiny group, right? Because you got one thing that's going to tank for you. You got one thing that's going to essentially mitigate any damage that you would have taken. So therefore, it's almost like it's healing. And that, that might be a bit of a stretch, but... <laughs> it's like an MMO party in a pocket. Here we go. Hello, Kudo. 
all right take a look at that it's like we have our own turrets we're not even going to move if there are if there's fire if there's a bunch of stuff in the way all you gotta do is not shoot apparently okay we're just gonna hold right here just sit in the fire i don't want to have to repair this armor let's be real i'm a little cheap like that and then i think we only have the two and they came out of the fire they went through they burst their legs that's excellent and look at that our friend the tank the healer the bard doing all the stuff for us we got a bung goose i guess we'll have to repair a little bit of armor this time and we got the shot oh we'll go hot on this one it's a mimic beacon that might shoot once oh heck yes oh tank thank you high five man welcome back and friend of hey. HP, thank you so much for the gifted sub to MPG. If we could show some love in chat for a friend, that'll be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for taking care of the bunnies, yeah? All right, what do we got? We got Maxim. All we need is a little pop in from the side. It's the very last two of this almost... How many missions has this been? <laughs> quite a few, quite a few. There's only two. We just got to chase them down. And if we are, you know what would be incredible? What would be incredible is if we somehow got ourselves a lamb XL engine so we could finish off our polka. That's right. We've got a lamb that's called the polka. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Probably not. But I kind of like picturing that it's playing polka music and flying through the sky. A jolly little thing. And the nice thing is these guys are now unable to move. Gotta love it. One of the first Cody Ten mech. Oh, really? Holy crap. Wow. Mac, thank you so much for the gifted sum. If we could show some love in chat for Mac, that'll be absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for taking care of the bunnies. And hello, hype train, high five. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, Commander? Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. All right, got our bonfire. We've got the heat. We've got the jump. Get on in. They got the green. And all we got to do... You know, we might as well go hot, too. We'll drop this out and send it. Yeah. He's panicking. Everyone's panicking. <laughs> yep. And HB in the Bunzil. Got the line. And stack. Okay. I'm on it. Come on. He's got that opening there. He's got that breach in the backside. We're not letting him get away. We got the Bung Goose and shot. Oh my gosh. They're all so stubborn. They're all so stubborn. Hold. Roger. 15 on deaths. You know what? Can we actually... No, I don't think we can. All right, we're going to just sprint it on it. We're looking for the green. There it is. We're all going hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mac, you got this? Not high explosive. Shot? Oh, yeah, we're missing. Hey, thank you so much. Acid first. Otherwise, I also always try to hit the punchers first to make a hole in the armor. And then fall. Oh, my God. I was going to charge with a Maxim. That's something. Let's not do that. Let's actually go over here. Follow up SRMs to crit seek. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's primitive. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. We're taking armor damage for primitive mix. Yeah. Is there anything besides acid that softens armor in the same turn? That's a great question. Uh, I don't... I can't think of any. I can't. There are... I don't know if I call it softening armor, but there is overheat damage percentages. So there are things like plasma rifles and stuff like that that have a built-in OH. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. They stack pulled. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen that. I think we now have a lot more to repair. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Great job, bunnies. Now they can reestablish their data relay. At least whatever's left. Wow, thanks, Darius. Good job, buddy. Okay, that's great. Okay, cool. Will the bunny league suffer a pilot loss? I actually don't know. Cross your fingers. I can't really answer that one. Let's uh, let's bring that high chance to see some stack pulls. That was an epic final middle finger. <laughs> thanks, Darius. It's almost like he planned that. We can see that explosion from orbit. Well, I mean, there were multiple primitive engines in there. So I would imagine that if you're going to see anything from orbit, it's going to be those guys. Yeah, 422. So cross your fingers. None of the bunnies are dead. We're... <laughs> All right. Well, the bunny leaks over by... No! Amazeballs. Holy crap. Wow. How did we not... You know what? Don't even ask. Don't ask. We got this one. That... 
That was a total win. I don't even know what happened. What is that? So cockpit small. Oh, we do not want the primitive stuff. Let's say sensor prim. Oh, wow. Okay. I think we're just going to get everything by accident. So we'll just grab these things and then we'll just make sure that we sell the things that we don't want to accidentally, you know, put on our mix. Yeah. So we'll just go and we can sell the Trinell. We'll sell the medium standard machine gun, the primitive fire control system, standard heat sinks, primitive, primitive. And I think we are good. Okay, great. <laughs> God, that's, that's a, that's a load off. Thought maybe, just maybe we might have had a little bit of a problem right now. Uh, any XCOM tonight? I've been loved. Oh, heck yes, Lucky. Well, I am, I cannot wait to get back to El Watsi. First time playing Long War, but we will be returning to it on Monday. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing more Rogue Tech. We're going to be picking up wherever we leave off tonight. And then I think next, so it'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we currently have it scheduled out until that week. And then we'll kind of touch base and see if people like it. Seems like they do. I know I'm enjoying myself a lot. So that's when we will be returning to it. Yeah. Uh, and if anybody's out there want to get on the list, we all you got to do is type exclamation list underscore XCOM. It'll give you a link to the form. You can type in your name and then you will appear right here. That's right. So you can actually be right here and it's the exact sheet that I'm using and you'll have access to it as well. Yeah. Wanted to ask you if you ever did PVP. I haven't. I haven't. No, I've been looking at some videos and it looked like fun. Oh, like skirmish. Is that what you're talking about in PG? Like, uh, I think in Battletech they had skirmish and then you had to sort of I actually don't know how it worked. If there was a lobby that you met at or something like that. Let's go in and take a look at the current score. Yeah. Enjoying the XCOM playthrough. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but I'm also very happy. Oh, we did it. Look at that. We won. Okay. That means we're going to get a useless loot crate. I cannot wait. Let's go in and take a look. All we got to do is advance a little bit. Free Russell Hog Republic drives the remaining forces the planetary government had on the surface of Chateau, leaving you to celebrate victory with your crew and with a bonus from your employer. Oh my god. Here it comes. Oh! Wow, that's actually... So, double heat sink kit. Awesome. We were just talking about King Leonidas, and I was making a joke that I don't think we have any parts, and they just gave us a full one. And if it's the tag version, does this come with a barrage? So this is engine core 305. Nice. Mortar ammunition. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. That was close. I thought maybe they gave us a chaparral, but they gave us a part of it. I'll take it. Last time we actually, now that I remember, we actually got a part of a long tom. So that was awesome. And then a bunch of heat sinks. That's great. Actually, this is very welcome. Indeed. We can use all the help that we can get. Yeah. Stripping armor helps the whole team. Ignoring armor only helps that shot. I don't remember what we were talking about. Was it for... Oh, acid versus other things. And I was talking about the overheat damage uh, multiplier. Yeah. Uh, what was the problem with it? Skirmish didn't work properly. And no one has dared to try and fix it. I think you can... I think matchmaking was like a very manual thing. I don't remember what the technical things because I've never done it before. Yeah. You know? So we actually have a lot of stuff to put together. That's really exciting because in theory, this has everything on it. It's not an empty suit that's damaged, right? So we've got the Leonidas tag. Leonidas battle armor was a product of Etna foundries and was intended to plug a capability gap in the armed forces of the Duchy of Orient, a gap created by scarcity of the older Achilles Achilles stealth suit. The Leonidas suit is highly configurable, capable of being reconfigured for various battlefield missions, including providing positional information, calling in artillery strikes, waging counterinsurgency warfare, and conducting ambushes. The various roles are made possible through the different weapons and equipment loadouts available via the modular weapon mount. So does that mean... Oh, okay. So maybe it is damaged. It comes with Angel ECM? No way. Wow. Battle armor light tag. I see. I see. So it seems like they're out there to kind of make things easier for everyone. Paint targets. Very interesting. I know we, I kind of like that better than the, uh, the tunnel rat. They have battle armor, angel ECM jams enemies by five. Holy crap. That is a lot. Reduces jamming on allies by four, 240 meter 
The Angel ECM on the mech is like 180 meter radius. That's crazy. Active ECM protects the carrier with ECM shield of two and reduces enemy jamming by two. And passive ECM provides the carrier with a massive five ECM shield and reduces enemy jamming. But that's... Can I get this for the mech? Why is this like one slot and zero tonnage? Can we please get... <laughs> what? What is this? Wow. Holy crap. How is this a thing? Emperor protect indeed. Jesus. Uh, well, I definitely want these. What can we put on this? We've got... That's a lot. Tag... Can we stick tag barrage on them? I know it's a full ton. I'm just curious if they can take it. No, they can't. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Battle armor plasma rifle. I mean, we don't have the tag, so... Oh, yeah. That might be a little too much. 0.3. <laughs> Maybe we have the single battle armor light tag and we just give them armor. At least for now. Then we can actually have a pseudo functional thing, right? But holy crap. That is a crap ton of defenses on these little light, tiny guys. I can see he's like King Leonidas and the 300 out in the open or something. They don't have the same sort of passage that they're trying to protect like a mountain pass or something. All right, we'll just hold like that. We do have the laser cutters actually, 0 0.005. These are 0 0.035, so we could use that. We've got rockets, 0.125. And then we've got light mortar. Yeah, no, that's not going to do it. And definitely that's not going to do it. So we'll just hang tight with this seven days and just kind of have it in the background. And my God, if we can get this close to someone, I'm curious if this emits from within the IFV, because that means if you get the IFV or you get better yet, get our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hovercraft. This one right here, the Maxim, if we've got them inside and it's emitting this 280 meter radius with a jamming protection of five. Holy crap. I would just have them in there just to run that thing. We don't even need a firing port. They've only got one light tag, right? Do you, you do realize you only have one unit in the squad with actual weapons? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I call the light tag a weapon at this point. It's just sort of like making things better. It's just a painter, right? I envision it sort of riding on a mech's back like the little droid piggyback. Yes! I'm down. This is so cool. They've got claws. Yeah, they could swarm. And oh my god, they're like a virus. You know those... So, if they can swarm, can we swarm on a light mech and then sort of have the light mech run scared back to its allies? And then it's kind of carrying this jamming package on it like does that work and then whoever's in the battle armor is someone we don't like and then we know exactly where they are so we can shell them with our artillery does that work too like because <laughs> they could keep tagging people while they're i mean like oh that i don't know that that could be kind of devious uh, that might be kind of fun I, I might play with that I mean, i'm not saying that i'll put a bunny in it i mean no no i wouldn't put a bunny in it but maybe it's someone that we don't like maybe if we find xo we can you know have darius Maybe do a thing. Have a little stint, you know? Well, we've got the Kudo. Let's go ahead and clear this. Hopefully, we'll keep our upkeep down a little bit. And on top of that, we'll be able to maybe, just maybe, get ourselves... Look at that, 2.5 million. We were trying to get that Scrapyard Leopard so we can get ourselves an extra deployment slot. That'll be fantastic, yeah? It could also be that, like in BTA, they don't have a field except the unit itself is protected, but not other things around it. Oh, oh, Really? Oh, that that would suck i'd be a little disappointed since it said 280 meter radius i was kind of hoping yeah gives toxic crew members a new meaning yes yes bring it home only rookies <laughs> it's a rite of passage everyone there are certain things that you gotta do before we shall accept you fully into no i'm kidding uh, we wouldn't do that to the bunnies would we i mean maybe maybe just a little bit okay so let's take a look we've got the command center we finished up the flare-up that's excellent so we can get into potentially one more. We've got Abducent Rifleman against the word of... Bl oh my god. That'll be like a two-hour mission, won't it? Blakist aligned merc... Well, it's mercenaries for the Blakist. It doesn't mean that they're wobbies, right? Right? Gotta get through the list somehow. Yes, yeah, true. Hey there, Superior. You're joining us right at the right time. Let's take a look at the store because it still belongs to the Free Rosselhog Republic. I don't know if it's switched over. And we do have access to the faction store as well. And they might have some battle armor things on there as well. So, so we got the Mantis AMS Battle Armor MRM. What the heck is this? 
High Precision Convergence System. Improves called shot location modifier by 15% for all weapons mounted in the equipment look. Okay, let's buy that. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what? 15%? No way. Wow. Oh my. Oh, now we can't do the Scrapyard Leopard. Thanks, FRR. Let's see. We got BA LMG 07512 Bolt on AMS. Handheld Flamer. Ooh, sticky. 30 heat. That's something. Let me tell you. We probably shouldn't buy any more things. Maybe, maybe we won't buy. What is this? Super heavy gyro. Heavy duty. Grants entrenched. Minus 20%. Oh, it's for super heavies, isn't it? Ah, yeah. It's for super heavy mechs. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow. 120 stability threshold provided. Plus 60 maximum stability provided. Negative 30 stability damage to self when firing large weapons. Stacks. Negative 20% stability damage taking grants entrenched. Oh my god. Weighs 3% of total mass, though. Could get heavy. You joined at just the right time. Let's go to the store. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, maybe. Well, I was excited. What can I say? Well, let's, let's, you know what? Let's move on. We can take these guys in the short period of time, I'm sure. Let's just see where our mechs are at. I'm sure it's going to be okay. Uh, we got a coyote. Yeah, absolutely. Let's just get them repaired. Make sure the bunnies are back online. We no longer have to, you know, be under the man's foot when it comes to, I don't know flare up timelines and stuff like that so we're gonna go in fresh and so ready you won't even believe it blood sport superior wait what superior daisy let's show these yokels how real warriors fight order them to back singling out no warn them not to get hurt okay great okay <laughs> look at superior out there to get some blood i understand all right, this is what we're going to do. Let's go in and take a look. Command center, 2.3 million. We need to make our money back, right? Abducent Rifleman. Sure. No time like the present, I say. 5 pick 23 against mercenaries of the Wabbies. I'm hoping that means it doesn't actually mean they're going to bring, like, full level 2s or something. I'm sure it's going to be fine. We've got deaths. We've got a bun goose. We've got the bonfire. I think the bonfire is going to be great. I would like to bring the we can try out the fire starter i don't know how good it's gonna be tank care you want to be in it that seems like a great idea all right let's go two skull let's do it two skull green assassination in the jungle is gonna be the last fight of the night against the wabi mercenaries that are totally not full levels well the bunny league suffer a pilot loss and we're also taking in a mech we've never tried before this is awesome yeah 15% precision strike accuracy. That's the Marauder in vanilla. All right. Well, maybe we just need to add a little extra, a little 3% extra mass to like a railgun. That sounds great. Precise shots to the head with a railgun. I think that'll take a cockpit right off. Let's go. All right. Sounds like something I would say. That is fair. Yes, that's right. Let's go fight. That's what you would say. I am feeling pretty good right now. I'm sure the Wobbies won't know what hit them. Because, in fact, they won't even be there. They won't even have a level. And they'll just have some low-grade mercenaries that they've given their fancy, fancy stuff to. Maybe every single person that we're fighting against has C3I that is just maybe battle damaged and doesn't communicate to each other, isn't fixed. And then we can sort of, like, tickle them. They sort of drop it because they've all panicked. They all leave, eject, and then they say sayonara. And next thing you know, we still have 12 minutes left on the stream. I think that could probably not... That probably won't happen. But I think that it's a possibility that it could. So we're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to try and get into maybe something a little bit harder. And I think this might fit the bill. And we get to also test our 45 ton fire starter Omni with double large laser and stealth armor. That's right. Stealth armor is a little bit hotter, but I think tank hair can manage. All right, here we go. Let's do it. All 25 of the Wobbies that deploy in the offer will not know what hit them for the next two hours. <laughs> We're only contracted for a single target here, but we both know it will not be that easy because the enemy will have 25... Darius, the war criminal you're hunting won't be alone. The company of Blakus mercenaries that he signed on with will attack you on sight. Good hunting, bunnies. Olivera out. And don't worry about the fact that he's on the other side of the continent. Okay, thanks. Well, oh, we have allies. That's all I ask. All right, great. There we go. So hopefully if he's over there, we can kind of deploy on this side. That's my hope. Oh, we have to just cross a mountain. Well, crossing a mountain, uh, actually, this could be pretty good. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just be right here. 
no problem. Wobbies are probably, they don't have reinforcements here. They wouldn't let us deploy too close to them, right? Uh, why a railgun and ER PPC solves it too. And if you have several in the same slot, you can also have multiple hit probabilities. This won't work on a railgun. I guess my only response to why a railgun is, well, why not? <laughs> like I said, I'm not saying that I'm... Time. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You know, when it came to nailing in a hammer, I would probably use a sledgehammer. So, I mean, that's just kind of just me, though. All right, let's go. Here we go. Single target, 16. No, it'll be fine. You'll see. It's going to work out in the end. I believe. You just got to believe, bunnies. And we're in the nighttime. We rule the night because we can actually kind of see in the night now. Actually, who are our allies? They're out here. We've got... That is a light LRM carrier? That's a lot of two. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we've got a light mortar. Oh my god, they've got all the indirect. Saracen, hover. Sa oh, wow. They came prepared. Go them. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got an Oscout up top. Tag barrage. We've got a Nexus, 25 tons. We've got an Oscout as well. We've got... Oh, I think they are the Wobbies. And a Hermes. So three Oscouts, a Hermes. they got a Mercury down below. We've got a Wasp and then an Oscout. That's a lot of Oscouts. Holy crap. Wow. Well, I don't think we can outscout them, but I will say that I think we have maybe more firepower than they might. So that's that's cool. That's an advantage, I think. All right, let's hold here. Do they have like six Oscouts? Wow, that's a lot of Oscouts. <laughs> that's a lot of Oscouts. They've got the 10 CS, the 11 J, the T that's like all the numbers of all scouts we've got actually how many all scouts we've got one all scout we've got we've got nexus one and the nexus two right next to each other it's like google decided to get in on the job we've got the all scout 7k the all scout 7j the all scout 10 cs the all scout 11j the yeah i think we've got like four or no we got five all scouts there we go that many Oscouts must be the Wobby basketball team. I've only had bad experience with a railgun and headshots. Standing by. I mean, I just think it's hilarious to try and headshot something with a railgun. That's all. I mean, not that I... I I'm honestly could probably hit him anywhere, but... <laughs> I think it would be great. I like seeing lethal damage, one salvageable part. Skipper. Or better yet, lethal damage, not salvageable. I think that is just hilarious. It's like one of my favorite things in the go. world. All right, we're going to sprint up to the edge here, hop our way up. There are certain things that we live for in life. For me, that's one of them. <laughs> it's so useless, but it's so awesome. I don't know why. I don't know why it gives me such a kick. I think this is the first turn, right? So I don't think any of us can attack each other. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we can probably switch over to active very, very soon. So we'll just kind of hold right here. That's a pass for Holy Superior God, Daisy with a battle armor support PPCs. I know we took a lot of salvage. I'm kind of kind of second guessing as to whether that was incredible, like really necessary yeah, with all of this. Well, not super exciting technology on the battlefield, but you never know. Actually, you know what? No, they might have some really, really cool tech. Yeah, like really cool tech, like ECM tech stuffs. Yeah, here we go. We're trying to burn them uphill. I don't know how well that's going to go. Maybe we'll accidentally burn their forest or something. That'll be great. And it's always easier to see them in the dark when you start a bonfire. So that's kind of part of the strategy, too. Uh, we got a Bradford. Yep, that's right. And we're going to head on over. Just kind of try and lob some giant things that are larger than all scouts towards them. We've got 10%. Uh, yeah, maybe a Hermes 0.9. No, I guess we'll we'll hold on that. We have kind of limited ammunition here. This reminds me where I hit a headshot, but I also the mech around it and completely destroyed it. And by complete, I really mean complete. Ch chapter 2, verse 13 of the prime book of Hey Diddle Diddle does in fact command us Come to on. never use a ball peen, a dead blow, roofing method. hammer, or even a baby sledge of a full sledge. Just available. <laughs> I like this book. I think we need to get that printed. That is hilarious. 
along with the war crimes coupon oh my god that guy's mobile i'm surprised he didn't break off his limbs order, that's very impressive his his movement there almost thought maybe he wouldn't be able to move after that one well we are now going active here we're jamming him up although i guess we're not really stealthy if we've got a freaking active guardian ecm on us but that's okay i mean tank care is a bit of a dichotomy are there more than this oh boy yep no that's fine that's fine that's fine you can peek all day buddy you can peek all day what do we got and we got 15 minutes left so let's see what we can do it's all up to the blankies anything could be a yeah that's right anything could be a hammer that's what we like to see never let it be said that you can't use something as a hammer we owe it to hammers everywhere to let them know that you know what oh my god i'm bringing the barrage with me that's cool let's uh <laughs> whoops well you know hey guys you might want to stay away from me i got cooties we just got to make sure that you know we can golly well that might be a mistake that's okay it's coming in two that's all yeah we got some time we got some time uh next turn we'll just all brace or something it, it'll be good we have jump jets and i can always run into the sea Actually, yeah, I can run into the sea. We still have LRMs on this boat. Oh my god, that's very impressive. That Mercury just shot all the way at our ally way out there. Holy crap, good for them. It's like they really worked and practiced hard. Well, I can admire that. Or well, we're heading on up, and eventually we'll be in a spot where we can get on out and electronic warfare sweet king everybody. Active ECM jammer you can't hear where the guy's coming from when he screams so loudly <laughs> your ears will burst. That's our tank here. That's our beautiful tank here. Look at those mortars kicking it. Our allies holding the attention of the Oh my god, they're like little gnats just flying around the screen there. Hold. Alright, Maxim. I think we really this is like the one way up. So we gotta kinda take it, you know? All right, shot. Okay. It's got nine. Man, this is a lot of hard work for a bunch of Oscouts. <laughs> Anytime I see an Oscout, I expect that there will be like one medium laser between the two of them. Yeah. Actually, is that Mercury the target or no? They would have said something. Oh, the target's way out here. He's not even there. I thought he looked like a bushwhacker, if I'm perfectly honest. So he decided to bring... He went to the Wobbies and said, how important am I to you? And the Wobbies said, we'll dedicate two full levels. And he said, wow, that's incredible. Well, when do I get to see him? They're right behind you right now. What are you talking about? I don't see him. Oh, no, they're there. Trust me. It's that whole legion of Oscouts. So <laughs> then he knew he wasn't that important, right? Uh, I mean, those are his bodyguards. Those are his bodyguards. I mean, they can be still, they can be annoying. Don't get me wrong. They can. I copy. All scouts. One even a spider outguns you. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes sometimes it just takes a it takes a will. It takes a will. And this is sort of the test. This is the battle right of the Wobbies. They want to make sure that all their pilots are ready to go to battle no matter what they're driving, right? Or piloting. There's that Nexus that looks super advanced. We're just gonna get on up and unadvance it back to the Dark Ages. We'll kind of give it a little bit of a yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe we'll hang on to this one. It's a little too valuable for that guy. Give him a little breach there. Gotta love it. Poor guy. There was a Nexus one, his buddy over there, and then there was Nexus two, and he kind of got all the girls. Let's see. We'll pull HB's gonna protect the bunnies by running towards the sea, pulling the barrage with him. It's like one of those really dramatic movies. I'm gonna give this guy a ping here. All right, Gothic, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest. We'll catch you on the next one, man. High five. Speaking of which, that's also the principle where these giant flying reconnaissance aircraft work. You can't target them with rockets because they turn up the radar system so hard, the rocket doesn't even begin to know where it's going. This also applies to radio control as this is also disturbed by the counteracting radio. Oh, right. Man, we were ahead of our time. Look at that tank hair. These guys are trying to run away from Tank Air, and he's like, I'm Big Brother. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, nurse. You're the old school Hermes here. Wow. Not only does Tank get in their faces, but he also shoots large lasers. Doesn't even bother with small ones. 
even though we could do that from far away i mean like he's like you can't see him you know he's there and then you just because you're actively being bombarded with pings but then you're also getting pinged with giant large lasers right from under your nose it's quite something to behold let's get right in on this guy hopefully we'll be able to see him from this distance i don't think so so maybe we'll just ews ping i don't know if it's gonna work that way but maybe it's gonna jam him who knows barrage incoming does that mean triple it well it'll mean that hb gets tr triple f if that's even possible so there you go heck yes crunch there we go give him a little bit of indirect we got lrms we got mortars we've got all of the above yeah unfortunately this is one of those one way in one way out scenarios we gotta go up the road and comstar knows that or the wobbies know that so they brought all of the lightest most nimble nimble mechs possible but then they forgot to bring weapons oh my god those mortars are devastating holy crap stream of eight yet yeah, death to the one well these are the mercenaries that the wobbies hired so i think they're like their fifth stringers or something like that yeah obviously very very staunch opponents I hope this barrage isn't too devastating. And I'd like it if we could all move together because we just stack massive sets of gardening ECM just right on top of everybody that we meet. And we're on 10 and it's coming down to nine. Are those mortars or is it the hellfire? Uh, there's one mortar carrier. It's called, a, I think, light mortar carrier. There's the light LRM carrier, the light mortar carrier, and then there's the Saracen HCB, and the there was one other one as well. So the ones that it's shooting is this one here, the mortar 12, and then we've also got the light LRM and LRM 30, and then this one has LRM 10, and then this one has LRM 10. So. If we have a ship in orbit, all this sensor stuff is silly anyways. Lit like how 100 ton mechs could stand on. Uh, yes, yes. Well, let's see. We got our Maxim. If we get on around, do we have a shot? Kind of. Sort of. I mean, I'll take it. SRMs all day long. Stack the right side. He's damaged. There we go. Bleeding out. Excellent. And he's only a recruit and they gave him a Nexus 2. Well, good for them. Good for him. And on 8. Ooh, and they whiff it. Wow, they went in on tank hair. Holy crap, they tried to kick tank hair. That's a little scary. Man, they're like suicidal. Oh, HB just got bombed. Wow, okay, that actually did quite a lot. I was at 1100, now I'm at 950. So that was pretty significant. Let's get rid of these guys. Holy crap, shot. Little sensor impair, great. This guy's on 12, so at least our Maxim's going to be able to go first. Oh, boy. Okay, we're on 16. Yeah, we need to get moving again. All right, bun fire. I mean, we could come around and just burn this guy out. So we got it. We're on 8. There we go. Give him the burn. Oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> The Hellfire artillery is an artillery that works similar to a rotating auto cannon and is loaded with primitive ammunition, rifle ammunition or something, but can shoot indirectly. But that was a few patches ago. Oh, I have. Do they think they can hurt me? I want to say that that sounds familiar, but I, I don't know much about it. So I, it would just be more like it sounds familiar. That's that's all. Yeah. All right, we're just going to brace here. We need to clear stability damage, keep ourselves cool anyway. And we're just going to pop, hop up the side of the mountain and then get right in their faces. I doubt they're going to want to tag barrage themselves. So hopefully that's a plus for us. Now we got the high ground on some of these guys. Looking pretty good. Thunderbolt, let's come in with a standard shot 75 on a wasp. <laughs> All right, now we're in a good position. We have the high ground. All right, Maxim. Can we make that guy leave? That'll be fantastic if we could, but we kind of have to stay. I guess it's probably worth it. We'll send it. Stack the right. Hop off the right side. Guardian ECM gone. Stealth armor gone. The Hellfire sounds like a borrow from 40k. There's a Hellstorm. It's mounted on Titans. Ooh, excellent. 
like incendiary rounds or something explosive rockets well that guy is no longer difficult to hit oh and they just punched out i'm surprised he got that far on one wow that's impressive good for him and then i'd like to finish some targets if possible we got that guy in the back that's the one who was trying to kick tank hair so we'll hit that guy in the butt yep that sucks there we go all right now it's rolling downhill there's our avalanche when all enemies are laying to your feet in shambles you will truly have the high ground that's right well we shall truly aspire to have that situation oh wow yeah he's like backing out into the darkness here oh there we go that's our target right there it is a bushy that's a cool looking bushy all right we got our fire starter we're getting in we've got that hermes we want him to leave us alone so we'll give him a nice swift kick Good morning. oh we whiff it unfortunately but we should be able to connect with at least one large laser hopefully hey, oh both oh my god that just breached the heck out of that guy that's awesome He's on 16, so we already went. That's excellent. And we should be able to follow it up with... I think... Is it the Maxim? No, no, no. Actually... Oh, actually, we don't have any more turns on this one. It's all allies. So we'll see what they do. That Wasp has a little bit scared. <laughs> Just swat that out of the sky. Tried to send something. There we go. It was like such a... Such a denial. All right, all scout. All right, so actually has a little teeth, that one. Double light PPC and a tag. That is definitely more teethy than a single medium laser. And then ally. So it's where all the mortars, LRMs, things like that come. And he gave him the back too. If we can get close to him, it's going to help out our allies, I think, because we should be able to jam him, make it easier to see him, increase the the uh, the view, the sensor range, all that. Not too bad. That was the first hit that our Firestarter Omni has taken. Lost 20 there. So 925 out of 945. So close to 950 armor. Yeah, that's got to be the mortar. I am so curious what they're shooting to jam sensors. Isn't there like a suppressive round? I think there's like a suppressant, like mortar suppressant. And doesn't it affect... It affects something, whether it's movement or whether it's... He's up. Wow! The Wobbies are suicidal today. They're all going for tank. Trying to take care of the thing that they can't see. They can't stand the fact that they can't see something. That's crazy. Well, I mean, I understand, but this is what you get for your hubris. Give him a burn. There we go. <laughs> Dude, this, this is going better than I thought. My <laughs> oh, this is excellent. All right, here we go. Stack that. We're going to tune up this tracer around, send it, hope for the best. There we go. Crit that. Oh, he's got like one structure on the right side living on a prayer Ooh. all right well we should probably go i don't like seeing orange on our ifv you forgot you're dealing with religious fanatics of course they're suicide yes i did forget you're right you're right all right we're coming on in we could ping this guy but it's 26 this is 10 16 18 12 8 to i mean at this point i guess i'll just send what's in front of me little guns oh he's bleeding out already excellent and then we got those on 15 so this guy's on 11 don't have to worry about him running away this guy doesn't get to go before us the wasp has already been hit by a thunderbolt 15 doesn't want any more of that and then we've got another all scout out here and he gets to go hopping and then we also have this all scout right there and he's out and that puts us on 14 we're right in the right place here's the bun ping ping we're gonna get those shots uh we'll try and do we have anyone that gets to go before 11 yes we do which is excellent because we should be able to pop that hermes before he does anything untoward 
especially because he's standing right above HP in the bun pump. So that allows this guy to move. And then last but not least, I think the Mercury. Yep, Mercury. He's actually climbing to assist. Wow, all right. Trying to help his buddies. Fair enough. Well, we've got the green. And hope for the best. Unsettled, that's it. He actually may get to go. I thought we might be able to make him stop. But I think I was wrong. Interestingly enough, he only has one structure on the right side. Yep, there he is. Oh, no. And he... Oh, my God, he misses. Wow. Wow, that sucks for that guy. Oh, my God, he's in so much trouble. Wow. Well, we don't even have to turn around. We can just kind of do this. There we go. All right, great. Sucks to be them. Holy crap. That worked out great. There go the mortars. Okay, so right now they've got one third of a force left what are your orders, before the support lance. And as soon as we are able to clear that, we can just basically roll down the hill. And we should be able to just clean up because as we do that, we're going to be jamming all the rest of them and basically allowing our allies to hit more effectively. Oh, they're actually nailing him on the backside. Look at this. Everyone's jamming everyone. It's bloody fantastic. Yeah, if we can just rush over the Mercury, I think that guy's going to fall so quickly. All right, bonfire, bonfire. Here we go. Okay, so we see a little bit more. We see another Oscout. scout We see... <laughs> you know what? Why do I even... They're all Oscouts scouts at this point. We'll just kind of burn anything and everything. It's a jamming session. Yes, it... <laughs> it is. It very much is a jamming session. You are correct. Understood. Targeting for Oh, he's the one with the tag barrage. Oh, it's vengeance time. They're the ones that did it to us, bunnies. There we go. Yes, Commander. And we got the Bradford. Yep, there it is. That's a go. <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap! Wow, that that must have hurt. Lethal damage with a Thunderbolt 15. Holy crap! Max on fire. Did the Wobbies knock over an Oscar? I mean, apparently. That guy knocked over some kind of different hell, though. I mean, that must have hurt. He probably didn't even notice, though. Oh, that's not good. Do they have tandem? Oh, boy. Okay, that's that's fancy. Maybe we got to get rid of that guy. That's a wasp? Serious? All right. Well, that's cool. We should send someone to charge down there. I think Max pissed about the tech. No kidding. Holy crap. I just kind of sent it. He had a 60% chance, and he said goodbye. Like on a whole different level. All right. Well, we've got dead. We can at least mark up. We've got the line. We'll try to hit this guy from back here. All right. Got a little damage there. Got a breach. Excellent. On that wasp. Apparently has the ability to strike it. Or maybe it wasn't him. Okay. Now I'm... Maybe I've been attacking the wrong guy. I just had Ask Jesus plug my book and I clipped it. Oh, what? Is that a service? That's awesome, HMOT. All right, we're, we're coming around. Quick and send it. Oof. Of and we're coming to 10. It's an A. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Didn't think Thunderbolts were that accurate. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's three All Scouts that have missed tank hair. They can't kick them. They try. They even tried to DFA them. And all of them have missed. In the stealth armor. Here. Oh, well. Yeah, that was close. Didn't quite tag it. Yep. People screw with it all the time. Well, that's cool. I think... I actually don't even know where the... Where's the... Oh, there's the bushwhacker. Okay. I was like, I hope it didn't try to run away. Because I haven't even been paying attention to it. Which is kind of what you got to do with assassination missions anyway. Because he'll try to run. 
and we're having too much fun popping off scouts off the face of the this mountain who's panicked oh the off scouts panicked i guess that makes sense If you ever have to ask what it is that we're attacking, the answer is probably Oscout. And okay, so here's Tank. Tank can actually connect with these guys. We'll come around the backside, give him a nice swift kick, and then hopefully connect with the large lasers. Here we go. Oscout. And he connects. Beautiful. And guns. Guns. Only two. Okay, well, we whiff it. That's fine. That's fine. This is yeah, we're we're just kicking everybody. I mean, I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what they expected, honestly. All right, kick this guy too. <laughs> it's like it's like it kind of feels like bullying though, if I'm perfectly honest. Ah, that's fine. It's the wobbies. There we go. There we go. It's just a little bit of a burn. I guess we should be a little more lethal though. Okay oh that's the guy okay that's a problem actually because he will blow this thing up who was that this it's a mech and then oh is it the bushwhacker it's the bushwhacker all right we need to deal with that let's do it here we go so what's this guy have i mean i guess we'll just tune this down and shot I don't even know what he's got on him. Well, Mac can definitely back on up and hopefully hit that guy as 2% though. That guy is 21. This guy is, well, a lot better. Hopefully we don't accidentally hit our own. Oh, well, he's panicked. I'll take it. Got our Maxim. Like to remove them from the field. And shot. Yay. Wow. For an Oscout? Kind of durable. All right, that guy's out. So we clear one supporting level. Are these really... Are these really mercenaries? This feels like they're actually the Wobbies. They said the mercenaries are the Wobbies hired. Come on. Interesting. Unless it's just the Mech Warrior because the Wobbies couldn't figure out how to get tandem... I don't know, missiles or something. Or mortar rounds. Actually, it does have ballistic. Could be mortars. I can't tell at the moment, though. So we're on 12. That's the Mercury. Oof. We've been hit by a tag barrage. We've been shot in the butt. But I think Death should be able to hopefully hit that Wasp some. That looks pretty good. He currently has, well, less than full. And we're on nine. Off scout. And then on seven is the, the wasp. Oh, wow. How did it get down that low? I thought for sure it'd be the bushwhacker, but I guess the bushwhacker already went. I mean, that guy's supposedly... Is he on one leg? I think he's just opening. He actually has two legs. Yeah, he's got two legs still. Odd. That's the bushy, right? Is it? Oops. It is. Yes, it is. Chances are low to connect. Try and work the mercury. Sure. Give him the burn got an ER medium, ER small. Oh, that's not good at all. Wow, what is that? Holy crap, that's impressive. Ready for orders. Can we get behind that guy? Uh, we are on the side here, and we can EWS ping, so let's, move. let's get the speed. We'll ping out. What is that? That's terrifying. It's called the Gorilla? Is that right? Is that a special bushy? Gorilla, yeah. Bushwhacker Gorilla. What the heck? Uh-oh. Yeah, we might be going down. Yeah, I think HP's gonna fall. 
Yep. And I don't think we have any special... Oh, injury resist? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Who's left? Who's left? Well... Come out wide. Right now, you can get a shot on Oscout 12, shot on 18, 38, 51. Oh, well, this guy was asking for it. Let's... <laughs> Oh, should have done high explosive. There we go. And he's still hanging it. What a trooper. What a trooper. There's the bushy. There's the bushy. Here, come here, guy. And shot. So he's actually being jammed now. So this is excellent for us. Oh, wow. Getting aggressive with the off scout, double ER medium. Hey. And HP gets back on up. I'm up. Let's go. I mean, going to be hard to hit, so I might just jump back, Confirm. embrace, and then we got Amiel, who can hopefully help us to clear the top, right? Oh boy. Here we go. And stack. An eight. It is the Mercury in the fire. Kind of cool that we can actually see the stuff inside now. And he's coming on down. And then our allies. And then last but not least, probably the wasp. Yeah. It'll be interesting to make the bushwhacker run. Like where he goes, wherever the escape zone is. I would laugh if it's where our allies are. <laughs> that would be great. All right, let's see what we got. Bun fire. I mean, I know we were close to him before. There's the Aw Scout. There's the Bushy, right? Aw Scout and the Bushy. The Bushwhacker Gorilla. Oh, Clan UAC 10, MML 10, Thunderbolt 10, and a Clan Laser. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh my God. Wow. That explains a lot. Okay, well, let's try and get in with it. Given the burn. On. Looking a lot better now. Oh, he's got a radical double heat sink kit. Prototype double heat sink kit. Wow. Ready With coolant order. flush. Oh my god. We might want his stuff. Shot. That. that wasp is a stubborn guy. And then it's going to be this little guy. Oh, heck yes. Yeah, we, we've seen better days. I wonder if he's got Thermobolt, actually. Can we come in from behind? Radical kits have a fail chance after first activation. Oh, so if you keep heating it up, it may just completely pop. Is that, like, the, the general idea? Standing by. We'll get Mac. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So we're on 15 right now. So that's passed. This is not passed. So we got high explosive shot. Oh, that works. It was not that guy, but we got the guy next to him. God, yeah, that clan UAC 10 is kind of terrifying. That Don't be uh, that guy. Yeah. Seriously. So we can kick the bushwhacker, but I'd, I'd really want to drop this guy out because he could take out HB right here and that will just be expensive. Position confirmed. And sin. 
got two structure, two structure. But he can still engage. And here he goes. HP's got a bunch of breaches. Shot to death. He flips it. I'm showing minor damage. God, that clan UAC 10 is putting in work. And he doesn't really have to aim too hard because like we're right on him, but still. I mean he's being jammed now and it's probably all visual. Who knows? We just gotta keep burning him. We don't have any other burners. It's just the fire starter. Oh, he tried to kick us? Again? And they miss. That was right here. They tried to kick. Oh, the Mercury tried to kick the Maxim. Oh. Well, that's. Okay, let's come around. There's the green. And shot. Bun ping ping. Not a lot. But a four for four for superior. What's up, boss? We'll take it. And we can actually just hold position. Just high percentage burn this guy. Stack that in. He's over threshold. Coolant flush engaged. And can we kick him through the fire? We can punch him through the fire. But that's 43. We can also step back past the fire and send this to large. Hit the leg. And Mercury is pulling back. And the other one on 15 is going to be whom? Oh, it's the, the Bushwhacker. Okay, excellent. We can get the green. Let's do it. We're going through the fire specifically to screw that guy vigilance and stack it it increases stress yeah well it you're right he did he did say he's stressed wow which will reduce his accuracy as well so that's kind of nice I'm here. He's right on threshold still. So we are on 13. I feel like HB should probably not get blown up because that would just be expensive. We'll hop back Copy that. and try to survive this. 13 on the push. Nine. Five. We can try. I mean, I don't know how much we'll actually hit, though. An Amiel. I mean, we could definitely knock this guy down. I don't think we can get in a spot where we can actually hit the Bushwhacker. So hit that. Excellent. At the minimum, a fall. Before he got to go. And Mac. Probably pretty good at hitting this guy. You have HE. Uh, I don't. I wish I did. I wish I did. But I only have standard ATM ammo. HE would be devastating. Uh, in close range, they do so much damage. <laughs> so much damage. If, if I can get some, though, I will definitely include them. If there's one thing on ATMs, like if I do have ATMs, I always have HE if I have it available. Uh, this is Rogue Tech, Lornalt. This is the last fight of the night, but we are fighting against the Wobbies, so <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer, yeah? But we're almost at the end of it. A bunch of tiny Oscout and a really vicious Bushwhacker. 20 shot oh not good all right we're alive we're alive we're alive okay bun pop 
see we're on 18 he's on nine he's on 18 and we got the mercury all right let's let's dash over so the mercury can't get us Confirmed. and we're gonna go ahead and 28 15 all right we'll, we'll try and work this guy Ready for dead well that'll definitely hurt and then we got the bushwhacker and that will hurt as well this might knock him out here we go dead it's on the gorilla bushwhacker oh there goes the leg and here come the guns down he goes and he's bleeding out oh my god mac you're okay you're okay all right bun fire i mean we could just burn him out although yeah we can burn him out we can burn him out sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head <laughs> coolant flush triggered and we got mac i mean mac could always try and hit that guy but we should probably deal with some of the other ones right so we're coming on down we that guy's on nine we could definitely hit him 29 coordinates Vigilance, stacking the guns, shot. It makes sense to shoot the bushwhacker from behind with a lot of weapons that cause critical hits. Just make him go out. Ooh, who fell? Oh, the Oscout. Oh man, he, he tried to be a little bit ambitious with that one. I oh, got the large lasers. I'm at this point there everyone's lying down sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head no that's not it oh yeah <laughs> high five tank all right bushwhacker out bushwhacker out just take care of the mercury and the two off scouts we're done here oh my god all right let's go maxim stack to core enemy down all right let's go 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 we've got mercury and the last off scout Yeah, Oscout and then wow, Mercury. So everyone on the Oscout, he can still go on nine. So he could cause us a problem still. The Bushwhacker should be taken with us. Oh, as in like that's what we should pick on the loot table. I mean, if I choose between an Oscout and a Bushwhacker, I'm probably gonna choose the Bushwhacker, but this is a really nice Bushwhacker for sure. Hopefully we can have some of it. I don't know if we'll get four though, because we blew off the leg. All right, all right, Mac. Commander. 14. We'll try this. Last high explosive. Uh, long range missile. All, all right, out. tank. Can we kick him? We can punch him. 17. All right, we're just going to walk it around. There we go. There it is. I got you. Shot. I'm on him. It's got two structure back there. Two structure. You gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. <laughs> Jump it. Give him the burn. I mean, he's like standing in fire right now. Do our allies even have ammo anymore? I guess we're too far off, aren't we? You agree with yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, thank God. The bun pop could have popped. Standing by. Roger. And shot. The beam even crossed for you. <laughs> there we go. We got a leg. We got a leg. We got a leg. Come on. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. You're second at last. Oh, my gosh. Why are the Wobbies so tenacious? What? No. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. All right. Walk it. I mean, I guess there we go. There we go. If you select enough salvage, you can also take it with you as whole. Yep, that's the idea. Oh, uh, I think we took six picks something. 
And Bon Ping hold. The Mercury is using a SAR model. Oh, yes, yes. It, it did look familiar. All right, they're finally in range. Come on, guy. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You've got light PPCs. You're too close to be accurate. Oh, you dick, you jerk. No, don't do it. Don't do it. He's got one armor left. Yeah, Mac has one armor left. Okay, that's that's we got to get rid of this guy. Get rid of this guy. What's up with him? Shot. Oh my god. Wow, impunity. All right, Kintu. Moving out. Give him the burn. Oh my god. Wow, is he is he still No, he's down. Okay, great. Great, great. Just the one. All right. On the move. Straight a core. No, we miss. <laughs> we had to try. Receiving. Stabilizing and bracing. All right, tank. Hold. I'm here. And shot. There we go. Oh, there's one more. Where? Where is there one more? Don't tell me there's Wobby battle armor. Oh, no, no, no. There is a... There is Wobby ba Oh, my God. Okay, that's... That's cool. Let's just... Uh, oh, jeez. All right. That's cool. We'll just... It, I know it's an offensive push. I just... Oh, my God. All right. This is... That's cool. Yeah, we got everything but that. Ready for orders. All right, dead. It's, they were there the whole time. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can at least. We'll ping out. They should have a better time killing him. That's true. That actually, that's very true. We do have a full dedicated flamer fire starter, so that will change things a lot. The bun fire, right? So he's on eight. I'm actually gonna hold because I'd rather they go first if they're on eight. And we'll just kind of stay away from the fire here with Mac. Just kind of take pot shots. Might get lucky. You never know. Man, they've got six. They even have six on their battle armor. Holy crap. Wow. That's like six railgun shots that they can eat. <laughs> like... All right. Good job, Tank. Because reasons? Oh, man. I want to wait till 8. I don't want to get swarmed at this stage. All right. Yeah, you better be unsettled. Got it. Hold. Okay, so they just decided to stay. That's cool. All right. Shot. All right. So this, this might... <laughs> I think they're out of ammo, which means you just have to make sure they don't climb. Okay, gotcha. Don't don't swarm. Don't let them swarm. I love it. That that sounds like a plan. All right, we just we just take our 1.9% chance on indirect. That's cool. They've got a claw. Okay. Well, hopefully the claw hasn't chosen the bunnies. You know, that's that's the key, right? All right, dead. It's shot. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. What's up, boss? Yeah, Commander. Akin to with the burn. I actually, that might be too close. That makes me scared. Okay, here we go. Just run it. Got it. All right. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. They had jump jets and everything. There we go. There we go. We got a line. Oh, we hit one. Uh, Mac hit one. That's not Achilles at all. Oh, the Achilles versus Achilles. Well, Mac hit one with a Thunderbolt, so that helped. Wow, okay, all of a sudden we're hitting. This is great. When he's teaming up, trying to end this.
they had something. Hey. No direct line shot. Oh, there we go. And shot. Wow. Tank getting the smallest chances to hit and landing them. There's only one left. That was a lot faster than I expected. Good job. Shot. And that's it. Wow. Good job, bunnies. High five. Oh my gosh. That had me scared there for a second. Bunnies, the area has been cleared. Darts can be the green light to land immediately. Hold position. All right. Total win. Total win. Will the Bunny League suffer a pilot loss? I think that's a no, but we're just going to go ahead and hold for a second and make sure because after all, you never know. You never know. Something weird could happen, but I'm pretty sure we got it all. It would be great to get a Gorilla Bushwhacker with that crazy clan you whack 10 double mml five and of course a freaking thunderbolt 10 on it that's nuts and it also seemed to have some kind of special ammunition with tandem or something i don't know it seemed like it was going straight to structure on our poor poor mac but mac survived it superior was inside he survived it and the bunnies came through so we've got 383,000 in the positive right now we've got yeah bun pops seen better days but no injuries and we've got there's the bushy i will definitely grab that even though i don't know anything else got the mercury so many aw scouts got s oh my god hang on hang on radical wow that's completely intact wow that's completely intact okay oh my gosh well we get one more. It would be nice to get a stack of C3 improved from the Wobbies, which can be used right away. Actually, that could be a game changer. Does this have C3 on it? That could be a serious game changer. Oh, why is this so hard? It came with Predator, Slick Sweet, AR, Sheath Beacon, which we have backups of. Okay. Three, two... One. All right. Yeah. Well, that is cool. That is cool. That is very, very cool. I will take it. My God. It's not a bad thing. Tandem's awesome. Hey, Bone Dog. Absolutely. My ride needs a fix. I think we all need a fix after that. Holy crap. Well, that is impressive. Bunnies, thanks so much for hanging in there. I know we went kind of long. Uh, we wiped out the Wobbies. We were able to clean up the flare up. We defended the planet. We got a brand new like wobby top of the line gorilla bushwhacker that was almost entirely intact except for like hip actuators in the cockpit so overall that's been huge uh tomorrow we'll be streaming again we'll be back with rogue tank at 12 p.m pacific standard time same bun time same bun channel and uh i i definitely definitely want to see what we could do with this because that's really really crazy if we want to hang out until the end of the music we'll go and give someone a nice rate i had a total blast i hope you did as well and i can't wait to get into the next one with you have a great night.